God, Peter! You scared the hell out of me. What are you doing here? I think you know. Did you have sex with my daughter? What? <laughs> Come on, Peter! Did you have sex with my daughter? Peter, trust me, it's not happening. <sighs> All right, good. Yeah, she's really making me work for it. Maybe you could talk to her. Well, I'll try. But sometimes she can be as stubborn as a mule. I tell you, you, you tell her to do something once, she does the opposite. Well, listen, it was wrong of you to steal my customer away from me. And I want him back. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Griffin got his ass kicked. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> I have that shirt at home. Hmm. You, you pushed me. Boys, boys, we can settle this like reasonable and sexy teenagers. Whoever can swallow the most Tylenol PM wins. Jail, punk! Don't worry, he won't get far. Stop! Police! What the? I'm Carter Pewterschmidt! This is my company! Throw that guy out! Sorry, Mr. Pewterschmidt, but we work for Mr. Griffin now. You can't do this to me! Do you know who I am? I'm Carter Pewterschmidt! I'm not getting in that elevator! Don't you dare throw me out of this lobby! Don't you... Damn it! Hey, what are you doing out here? I can't get in the building. Uh, Peggy? Yes, Mr. Griffin? That fart, I have at three. Can you push that up to now? Very good, sir. Hey, where's... It? Where... You know what? Where's all the poop go? When a cat, when a, in a, in a cat dog, when a cat poops, do, what, does it come out of the dog's mouth? And, and vice versa? Oh, God. Oh, that's, that's some kind of living hell. That's some, that's some kind of living hell, Brian. Okay, I gotta go. You gotta have a good time with Jenny. Thicker. Thanks for showing me how to do it and being so nice to me, Mr. Gutentag. Call me Franz. Okay. Franz? You know, Chris, seeing a young person like you enjoy puppetry makes me so happy. I feel like we could become good friends. That sounds like fun! Wow, I think you're just about my most favorite guy who's gonna die soon. That's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. Oh, no! Look, a bow tie! Ah! Hey, I'm David Bowie! Wow, Bo Derek! Oh, very funny! Now tell the one that doesn't suck! <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you! Yes, yes, and what's the deal with airline food? Hey, Chris, this field trip is your chance, man. Alyssa is all alone. She's so pretty that if your hacky sack were my private parts, I'd let her do that to him. What? Kick him around? Um, wait. Yes. We now return to Woody Allen's Bananas Over Broadway. I hate it when Woody casts another actor in a role he's supposed to play, because they always act like him. What are you talking about? I thought Patrick Stewart was great as Melvin Chivalman. Hi, Glenn. Uh, hey, will you sign a petition to overturn Mayor West's ban on gay marriage? Gay marriage? Ah, oh, come on. Two halves can't make a hole without a hole. Giggity, 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 giggity. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. My Luna Bar for women! Please call the DWP. I'm stuck in here. <laughs> what a wonderful novelty photo this will make. Thanks so much, buddy. Hey, how'd you make that awesome mask? It's not a mask. I have the mumps. What? You came to a Star Trek convention with the mumps? You could be infecting people with a disease. Yeah, like that old gypsy did to Britney Spears in that Stephen King book. You could get a hair transplant. Oh, yeah, like one of those guys pretending to get out of the pool? That looks all right. Yeah, come on, Quagmire. Get the hair transplant. Come back to us. You're right. 
This isn't me. Baldness is for women's crotches, not men's heads. There you go. That's pretty great. Uh, what does Xerxes eat? Rodents. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ah, ah, what the hell? Ah, 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 Peter, make him stop! <laughs> hey, what do you got going on down there, Quagmire? You, you, got, a, you got a rodent situation? Uh, no! Well, Xerxes seems to think there is. Get him off, Peter! Admit you got a rodent in there. Peter! Admit it! Oh, you scared him out the front! Tony, come... What? What are you talking about? Yeah, something must have gone down. The cops were poking around. What do you mean? Like, like Joe? No, Stadies, man. Stadies. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something in the paper about it. Oh, my God. I tell you, boys, this is a victory not just for my anus, but for anuses... Oh, hang on, I gotta go pee. That's a lot better. So anyway, this is... A... Oh, I gotta take a leak. There we go. Oh, pee time. Peter, you're urinating unusually frequently. Yeah, what gives? If it's gale force peeing you be doing, it could mean you've got barnacles on your prostate. Best have sick bay checked below your dicks. This sucks. Now the only thing anybody's gonna remember me for after I die is being that blind guy. Don't give up yet, Peter. I mean, many blind people lead rich, fulfilling lives. Oh, I don't know, Brian. I mean, I guess I can give it a shot. <laughs> Oh my god! I almost didn't do it! I almost didn't do it! I thought, is this in bad taste? But you know what? I went for it! I went for it, and I am so glad I did! Oh, worth it! Totally worth it! Let's go! Oh, guys, we'll never make it on foot! We gotta steal that kid's jet ski! Fear the boat's right there! We'll totally make it! It's the only <laughs> way, guys! Peter, we're now literally standing on the boat. That's how close the boat is. <laughs> Mate! You wanted to ride again. I wanted to ride again. What do you want, Griffin? Angela, look out your window. You see that Anheuser Busch billboard next to the Children's Hospital? Well, watch this. Oh God. Oh my God, this is horrible. Oh God. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good Lord, save them. Bless their. Li oh, okay, okay, yeah. Here we go. All right, everything worked out. Meg. Jeff. Wow, hey, what are you doing here? They had a sale on Super Soakers. Check it out. <laughs> ah, what the heck? Nudist! My dad's a tailor, you jerk! Oh, gosh, that's awful. Ah, oh, that's all right. I'm used to it. Well, I better go. So, um, would you want to do something sometime? Sure, that'd be great. Cool. I'll call you later. Oh, Brian's a complete dick, we all know that. But I think we're losing sight of the point that Bonnie's a weird slut who's always letting you know she's open for business. What? When am I doing that? Oh, come on, when are you not doing that? With that boo-boo baby voice and that still breastfeeding rack? Ugh, give me some of that! Well, citizen, that's an excellent question, and I thank you for it. I think it's great we live in a town where you can ask questions. Because without questions, we just have answers. And an answer without a question is a statement. Oh, I like him. He looks me in the eye. <laughs> I'd like to have a beer with him. I'm voting for him. Must, because it's attracting my buns of steel. Peter, knock it off. You knock it off. You're the one with the magnet. I'm serious. Knock it off. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Peter, for God's sakes. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't fight this anymore. I missed you so much. Lois, I smell whipped cream. Are you making strawberry shortcake? Ah! Ah! Oh, Babs, I don't wish to overwhelm you with my passions, but I must say this. I'm ever so content. Oh, I am too, Reginald. Do you think perhaps one day, if we should marry, that I could sit beside you? Yes, I think that would be fine. Get away from my wife, you rascal! Oh, such language in the presence of a lady! Well, I know the signs, because the same thing happened to me. An older neighbor. Her name was Elaine. I was 18, and my body was firm from push-ups and sit-ups. I was stunning. But while my body was mature, I had the mind of a 12-year-old. Elaine invited me over with the promise of pie. Little did I know this would lead to an eight-year-long psychosexual entanglement. She's probably dead now. <laughs> like the movie The Ring. Awesome. Come back here, you. Ah! Giggity, giggity, crabbity, giggity. We're going to New Orleans, the party capital of America. Home of the all-you-can-pay straight. i tell you one thing. It's all about the beads down there.
We all know what's going on here. It's just implied, but we all know what's going on in this thought bubble. The kids don't know, but we do. Maybe you should just go. Well, well, now wait a second. What do you mean? This isn't working. It was a nice thought, but I think we should go our separate ways. No, Ryan, it, I get it now. I, I can be what you want. We can... Peter, don't embarrass yourself. You need to just let this go. Tickle fight! No, Tickle Peter, fight. no! Tickle Peter, fight. no! No! Tickle no! Fight. Tickle fight. <laughs> Hey, there's a lot of good-looking people here. Of course. This is the Quahog Beautiful People's Club, and you're our newest member. Here's your introductory basket. It's got some scented lotions, Ferrari sunglasses, and, of course, some pills to make your bowel movements smell like bakery-fresh cinnamon rolls. Congratulations, Lois. For what? Winning a trophy at the expense of my husband's health? Oh, God knows how many of his brain cells I killed pouring all that alcohol down his throat. Lois, you don't get it. The lesson here is that abusing alcohol has absolutely no negative con- This place is depressing. I want to go home. Oh, hey, I know this isn't the trip you were hoping for, but our flight back isn't for a week, so we may as well try to have fun. Uh, fine. I'll give it a shot. You won't be disappointed. Remember, you didn't think you'd like it when I had big giant traps, either. Hey, babe, did you wash my singlet? I got a tournament up in Great Neck. Peter, I can't wash your singlet and make you a hundred egg whites. Hey, Dad. <laughs> oh, left yourself open to a near side cradle. I am not a part of this. Well, then tap out. I tap out. Wait, wait but, but I'm the hot grandma. <gasps> You're a grandma? You look amazing. Oh, you, come on. Could a grandma wear this to a spin class? I mean, yes, she could because I did. So that happened. Thank you, Meg. You've completed our family. We have our baby, and we have you. Well, I guess that means I can get rid of all my hot grandma merch. I'll just donate it to Goodwill. You know what guilt means, right? Yeah. God, I love fentanyl. You said it, pal. Just give me the rope. Nobody has to get hurt, Brian. <laughs> Only one person has to get hurt, Brian. <laughs> all right, I warned you. Well, I'm off to buy imaginary groceries. Oh, look at my little cowboy. Come on, Stewie, up in your high chair. Boy, he must be starving. <laughs> yep, he's really chowing down. Hey, how's the food, Stewie? Oi, blimey, it's the right thing. This is how I do declare waka waka. Damn it, I'll teach Joe to ogle my wife. Oh, hey, Peter. What are you clenching in that fist there? <laughs> Well, that was sadder than what I was going for. Well, at least it's over. Oh, God, those are all final notice wheelchair bills. Not a good day for Joe. Not a good day for Joe. Yeah, this is awesome! I know, right? Oh, my God! It's okay, Chris. I'm sure that was the only one. Dolphins swim alone. Okay, maybe we should turn back. No. Kill every last one of them. Chris and I never spoke of that day, but whenever somebody talks about how smart dolphins are, Chris and I look at each other like, no. Hear me? Bad. Bad dog. So we understand each other? Yeah, I'll be good. Trust me. I saw what you did to that black belt. Give me that. Stop, stop. Come on. Right, You're not leaving. You're not being shot. I'm trying to do the decent thing. I put that bullet in your arm, Peter. Ah, son of a bitch. It's over. We're all friends again. What the hell, Joe? I'm just trying to settle this nonsense. Nothing got settled. You shot him. I'm the one who has to shoot him. Wait, wait a second. All right, then I get to shoot Joe. All right, he shot me. I mean, if we're doing things fair here, then... All right, we're good. I'm so glad you patched things up with your friends. Have I told you? That we're all friends again?
Nice job, man. Wow. That was really brilliant. Thanks. Just glad this nightmare is over. And I'm really glad I didn't kill the wrong Stewie. Yeah, me too. Hey, come on, I'll take you home. <laughs> Dumb do you have to be to walk into a gorilla pit, eh, Brian? Brian? So you've all read my book? They had read my book, they just didn't like it. Okay, tip, I'll do cash. Good, you heard me. Would you like to donate a cup of coffee to a soldier overseas? Yeah, that seems like a good cause. Hey, here's your free cup of coffee from a lady in Rhode Island. What? And look at this. It's a Bolivian airplane. Now, it says it's worth eight cents, but really, it's worth 12. See that? Already ahead. Came right out of the blocks with a winner here, Chris. Now, we'll just paste this very carefully into the book. And that's where it belongs. Now, this is a loaded handgun. And what we're going to do now is kill ourselves because this is horrible. Couldn't we just stop philatelling? Too late. I'm still hungry, said the very hungry caterpillar. But you've already... <laughs> you run like a girl. Still on those meds, huh? Uh, yeah. They, uh, they helped me to, um, uh, think. Okay, time for an eyes-open nap. God, look what those pills are doing to you. Putting you on that stuff was a huge mistake. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Asher Kiddishanu Bimitzvatov can we just eat? And now I shall continue the prayer. Kalima! 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 Hamnam Shivai! Hamnam Shivai! Hamnam Shivai! Hamnam Shivai! Hamnam Shivai! Yeah, and I can't believe how you stood up to Connie D'Amico for me. Hey, Meg. Uh, hi, Connie. I can't fit all my books in my locker. Can I put the rest of them on your ginormous ass? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Connie. Hi, Peter Griffin, Meg's father. Say, uh, can you do me a favor? Uh, you see that fire extinguisher there? <laughs> Dad, that's enough! Dad, that's enough! That's enough, Dad! <laughs> What's going on in here? Ever since Dad became a mobster, he's been giving me a ton of Italian children's books. Green Eggs and Pancetta. Horton Hears a Yo. Good Night Mooks. And Where the Wild Things Is. Stewie, this is ridiculous. That's not all bad. I like having those Stelladoro breakfast cookies. Oh, I ate those. Sorry. Ah, oh, no problem, Brian. No problem at all. Hey, what do you say you and I do a little fishing? Run like a man, you get a suit. Oh, my God, Peter, what the hell? Peter, what are you doing? Oh, surely, Jerome, you don't want to stay in the same house as a ghost who carries a torch around. Ooh, fire ghost. Oh, you scared yet? Didn't know this place was haunted, did you? <laughs> I don't care what color your belt is. You're a child, and I am stronger than you. Hey, happy birthday, Brian. Bonnie and I got you a big stick. Uh, Joe, isn't that the same stick we gave you for your wedding? You told me it was a magic wand. I pointed it at a bus, the bus crashed, that's all I'm saying. Well, fellas, I'm up. Old Joe's got a big stakeout this week, so I'm gonna practice by watching the party from across the street. <clears throat> Those who doubt the wand's power suffer the wand's wrath. Hey, what are you doing? Brian, have you seen... Whoa, what the hell happened to you? Oh, easy, easy, man, easy. What the hell is your problem? This sucks. 
Now the only thing anybody's gonna remember me for after I die is being that blind guy. Don't give up yet, Peter. I mean, many blind people lead rich, fulfilling lives. Oh, I don't know, Brian. I mean, I guess I can give it a shot. <laughs> oh my god! I almost didn't do it. I almost didn't do it. I thought, is this in bad taste? But you know what? I went for it. I went for it, and I am so glad I did. Oh, worth it. Totally worth it. Let's go! No, oh, guys, we'll never make it on foot. We gotta steal that kid's jet ski. Peter, the boat's right there. We'll totally make it. It's the only way, guys. Peter, we're now literally standing on the boat. That's how close the boat is. Made it. You wanted to ride the jet ski. I wanted ski. to ride the jet ski. What do you want, Griffin? Angela, look out your window. You see that Anheuser-Busch billboard next to the children's hospital? Well, watch this. Oh, God. Oh, my God, this is horrible. Oh, God. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, good Lord, save them. Bless their li Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Here we go. All right, everything worked out. No, you can't make me. I'll get hit with a coconut so I lose my memory of this. Ah, I remember everything. I was abused by my dad. Turns out being a mobster isn't for me. Well, I'm just happy you're home safe. Me too, Dad. Has anyone seen the rest of my white wine? Sorry, Lois, I drank that. Oh, that's fine, Brian. Hey, what do you say you and me go for a walk in the woods? You know what? This is kind of nice. I thought you were going to do some kind of godfather murder on me. Oh, Brian, I don't watch mafia movies, but I did see Fargo. Huh? <laughs> It's just so horrible. I'm sorry, Lois. I thought if I shook him enough, he'd stop crying. I was kind of right. Oh, a message from Joe. Hey, Cleveland, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Peter has a whip because, well, you know, given your racial heritage, it seems like something you might want to keep an eye out for. Grape soda, Graham. I know this is very risky, but the upside is so good, I'm taking it. That truck's coming up on us awful fast. Holy crap! Do you see what I see? I'm afraid I do. We're being chased by ghosts! How many fourth graders do you think you could take at once? What? I mean, obviously, if you had to fight against a million fourth graders, you'd lose. So, like, what's, what's the real number? Like, what's the legitimate number of fourth graders that you could successfully take on? Let's say a hundred. That sounds reasonable. Oh, no way. A hundred and you're dead. Why are we fighting them? Because they're idiots. Did they say something about my mother? What? Yes. I'm going to whip that cigarette out of your mouth. And maybe not slice your face in half. Dad, I don't want to do this. Stay still. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool, too. Hey, Dad, that's a cool whip. Ah, I thought you couldn't understand me. Let's go. No, oh, guys, we'll never make it on foot. We gotta steal that kid's jet ski. Peter, the boat's right there. We'll totally make it. It's the only way, guys. Peter, we're now literally standing on the boat. That's how close the boat is. Made it. You wanted to ride the jet ski. I wanted ski. to ride the jet ski. Stewie, the doctor gave me this so you can get some exercise. Boy, Stewie's more wound up than Dad was that time he took steroids. Peter, could you please pass the potatoes? <laughs> ah, damn it, Meg! Whoa, Stewie, you're getting to be a big boy. I think somebody's going to be a football star. Oh, you. Oh, forgot your chart. Be right back. Whoa, Jason, you're getting to be a big boy. I think somebody's going to be a football star. I can't believe I fell for that line. I actually let myself believe I could be a doctor's wife. You're just fat, Stewie. Silly and fat. I gotta say, some days I wish I didn't have a sister. <sighs> what? Nothing. Oh, I thought you asked me what was going on with my sister. I did not. Hey, look, Tom Tucker. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Huh. Names are a little deceiving. Oh. 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 
What's wrong with you? Oh, it's my back. It's killing me. Yeah, I'm not falling for that hot oil massage bit again. No, this time it's not a bit. I'm really hurt. I'm... Good afternoon and welcome to today's auction. I'm Al Harrington of Al Harrington's Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flailing Tube Man Warehouse and Emporium. Due to the presence of black mold, discarded half-eaten turkey legs, and an undulating rat king that no one dares approach, I have been advised to move these proceedings along as quickly as possible. Do I hear an opening bid? Anyone? Do I hear an opening bid for this majestic fiberglass? Do I hear a much higher bid followed by shocked murmuring? Ten thousand dollars! <laughs> shocked. shocked. We're all shocked. We can't afford that. Peter, do something. I can't. There's only $9,000 in the mystery bag. Due to my 12 noon court appointment as part of a crippling child custody battle with my horrific ex-wife, I am saying going once, going twice. I'm saying the four of us should storm that castle and take it for ourselves. Should we do it with careful planning or have another couple beers and then just go for it? Well, let's make that decision after another couple beers. I checked with my mom, and she said it was cool with her if we wanted to sleep here tonight. I... Selling the lamp store and going to travel. We need this after losing both our children. Good day, sir. All right, plan B. We'll shoot flaming arrows like in Robin Hood. So should I be aiming for an open window or just arcing it over the wall? I don't know. I've never seen the movie, just the Brian Adams video. Dr. Hartman, were you able to tell anything from Stewie's x-rays? Oh, yeah. Little guy's got scoliosis. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Am I going to be a big shoe, small shoe guy? But don't worry. He'll be fine. He just needs to wear this brace for a while to correct it. Oh, dear. Now, does he have any school pictures coming up? Yeah, he actually does. Well, then, this will not be a refrigerator door year. Or it's getting laid? Yeah, thanks to Tinder, he's had a different girl every night this week. What's Tinder? It's an app for your phone where two strangers can hook up for a dirty liaison. What, like hookers? No, nope, just two horny people with phones. Wait, I don't get it. So, so you hit them on the head with your phone and knock them out? No, you just swipe someone's picture, they come over and you... Choice of wine, couple of inspirational quotes, things I've learned from my cats. No, 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 none of that. You want a naked bathroom selfie covering your stuff with a fistful of hundred-dollar bills. That shows you like sex, and you got money. Well, that seems a bit crude. Oh, she's cute. And wearing a yin-yang necklace. That's interesting. Wonder what beach that is. Oh, no, no. Give me that. Send her an eggplant and the erupting volcano. All right, take a gander. Gawk at the elephant man. Let's get it all out. There's our brave guy. Brave? And just for being such a trooper, I thought maybe you could be the first in line for snack today. Hi, are you Courtney from Tinder? You must be Glenn. I got you these. A lovely bouquet for a lovely... Yeah, take off your pants and sit on the coffee table. Okay. That was great. And we could still make our reservation. What? Why? We already had sex. Wait, so I don't have to make... What? No, I can't give this thing up. Wait, what do you mean? You, you want to keep wearing the brace? Of course I do. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. When I wear this brace, I get pampered like the Queen of England. So, I have the most money in the world, right? Yes, Your Majesty. Great. Can you make sure my hair looks like anyone in a nursing home? Quagmire, come on. It's time for golf. I swipe no on golf. Smells kind of gamey in here. Swipe yes on Betsy, swipe yes on Jennifer, swipe yes on Andrea, swipe yes on all the lady faces. Swipe, 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 swipe. Hey, let's, uh, let's get a little light in here, huh, buddy? Ah, the yellow face! Get some fresh air? Oh, for God's sake. You're gonna have a baby in your butt, man. Can't leave. Heather within five miles is coming. Are you Glenn within five miles? I can take my glass eye out if you want to try something different. I got a good feeling about her. Maybe she's the one. Let's do it in the garage. It's kind of... <laughs> Sorry I was late. You're still wearing that back brace? That can't be good for you. Dr. Hartman said you were done with that thing. I'm not gonna listen to that bozo. Of course I'm still wearing it. Watch me jump this line. Excuse me, I have scoliosis. Excuse me, scoliosis coming through. Hey, pal. Polio. A thousand apologies. Oh, that's the tender. A lot of sad, lonely gals who want babies. 300-pounders infested with scabies. 
Leather gimps who do nothing but moan. These are the weirdos you'll find on your phone. You know, a surprising number of them live near the airport. Gonorrhea, you're not even close. A filthy degenerate seeking a thrill. Your spirits and genitals run through the mill. With plenty of holes and prescriptions to fill. Cause Tinder makes you so gross. Like two hours to see if I like it. Ryan! <laughs> what is this? What's happening to me? Oh my God, Stewie. It's got to be from wearing that damn brace all the time. Your neck must have atrophied so much it can no longer support your head. You've got to take me to the hospital. Absolutely. Let me just watch Jennifer's body and we'll go right there. Right. Sir, is everything all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. It, oh, oh, hey, uh, you on Tinder? What? That gross dating thing? No. Look, I'm not trying to pick you up. It just seemed like you were upset about something. And I know when I'm upset, it's nice to let someone else in. Giggity. What did you just say? I, I, I don't know. I think I said... I, ah, damn, I think I was too wordy. I'm still an artist. What was that? I was just saying, I am upset about something. I thought you were. Do you want to talk about it? I do. I buried my twin brother today. We were very close. We used to finish each other's... Um... Your friend? Oh, boy. Well, deal's off. He's dead. But perhaps we can make other arrangements. Hey, do you think I could try to kick one? No, you're all time go. We now return to the Terminator. I've been sent here from the future. I have to have sex with your housekeeper to save humanity. What? Bring me your housekeeper. I have to have sex with her now. I'm the Terminator. I don't have a housekeeper, and I think you're just present-day Arnold Schwarzenegger. A special cheese for a gerbil? Yeah, after he outranks me. Jeez, Joe, what the hell happened? You used to be this badass cop out there on the street, busting heads and keeping us safe. Well, it may not sound exciting, but I play an important role. I go through all the body cam footage and take out all the parts where the cops go pee-pee. So you're just erasing cop wieners all day? Yeah, not erasing, sort of. Ugh, she just put her tampons on top of the bread. Take the groceries out, we gotta start over. Mom, can I go bare hand raisins from the bulk aisle? Okay, but if you get caught, just say oopsie poopsie like a simpleton. Hey, watch your fat arms! Excuse me, ma'am, your little girl dropped her teddy bear. What? Little girl? Yes. Thanks for giving me a ride, Joe. Hey, since we're in a cop car, let's talk about our hunches and how something doesn't add up. All right. I have a hunch Medea's not really a girl. Yeah, something doesn't add up about that. All units, reports of a drug deal in progress at 5th and Maple. Shots fired. Suspect possibly armed. Hold on, Peter. We can't go in there. We gotta wait for backup. The hell we do! Peter! Yeah, reach for the stars! What? I think he's telling us to follow our dreams. Where are the drugs? What are you doing? You are violating all kinds of procedures. There's no drugs here, pig. Uh, that's why I wanted to talk to you before the show. What's up, dudes? Stewie, what the hell is all this? Uh, only the most manly thing ever. A little something called American football. Is that a Michael Sam jersey? Yep, two boy names. Doubly masculine. I'm afraid you only have three months to live. <laughs> Swanson, I need to see you right now. Captain? Lieutenant? You had no business participating in that raid at 5th and Maple. Sir? Thank you, sir. Hey, Peter. You know, I was just thinking about how much fun we had the other day and wondered if you'd want to join me for another ride-along. Well, yeah, but I, I thought you said I couldn't do that because you'd get in trouble. Wow, so these are the wife beaters of tomorrow. Which team is Stewie going to be on? He's not going to be on any team. He's just overcompensating because he was called a girl. But once he sees how big the other kids are, he'll back out. Ooh, 
my shoes have 12 little heels. They're cleats. Okay, kids, let's start practice. Yeah, football, boy stuff. Hip Sir Joe Swanson, who single-handedly cut crime in Quahog by 75%. What? Single-handedly? Officer Swanson, as thanks from a grateful city, please accept the Certificate of Merit. And with that, I hereby declare this hero cop open. Herrera, it's Herrera. Okay, well, that's a lot of R's, but listen, I, I noticed you're not starting Stewie. Oh, I can't put him in. I mean, he can come out for limp handshakes at the end of the game, but I can't play him. He's too little. Little? Oh, like that car you drive over there? Let's see if it looks bigger when I throw a Sprite at it. Well, it's not my car, but I don't care. I'm just a volunteer. Officer Swanson, as you requested, here's a big stack of all the cases you cracked. Oh, great. Now I'm going to go ahead and brood over a photo of the girl whose case was the one I couldn't solve. Your 70s sweater and feathered hair let people know this is a cold case. Well, hello, Officer Swanson. Peter, what are you doing? You're not supposed to... You wouldn't do that, would you? You bet I would. And one more thing. Peter asked me to do this. He, he said it's something from before. I, I, I don't know. I, I hope it's funny. All right, I'm here, but why did you want me to bring this? I'll tell you why. You're getting... Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Get out of Susie's room! Your stuff sucks. I didn't need the full minute. Hey, Stewie. How's our little concussion guy? Oh, my God. Can you... begging to nobody? Phone's still ringing. Crap, Chris. He's worse off than I thought. We have to do something. Well, on TV, if somebody gets hit on the head, you hit him a second time, and that gets him back to normal. No, no, Chris. This is very serious. You see, what a concussion is, is the impact of brain matter on the inside of the skull. That's why you sometimes hear this nonsense about, oh, let's just give him better helmets. I didn't hear you crying in the shower this morning. I'm just dealing with some stuff at work. But everything's going so well. You've been getting all those commendations, and my online handmade lip balm business is really taking off. I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, I'm proud of you, and you should be proud of yourself. This mess! Where is the housekeeper? Well, you already look better. The doctor should be in any minute. Chris, what the hell? There is a room where you can go in and just get free people. Yeah, you should give that back. Look, I told you, Stewie. You're a big, tough boy. Yes, I guess I am. That may be, Stewie, but if I were you, I'd stay off the field. Concussions are the number one problem in football today. Recent brain scan studies have shown... Buddy, guys! Ah! My already irritated eyes! Oh, damn it, Peter. This is Officer Swanson. I need backup. And... Ow! They're beating me with vaping accessories. Forget it. There's no time. Freeze, police! Too late. Maybe you had it in you all along. Wow. I guess I just got ground down by years of people treating me like an errand boy, and I just let them walk all over me. You know, you were a real pain in the butt as a partner, but you helped me find myself again. Thanks, Peter. You're welcome, Joe. Uh, excuse me, do you have any tab soda I can bring back to this? Take him by surprise. Shouldn't be too hard. After all, I used to be a Pete in the box. <laughs> Just the weasel. And Brian, the vet said... <laughs> Wow, where did that come from? God, that was so intense. I feel more powerful than a lesbian's crotch. The cheeseburger meal. Would you like to make it an extra large meal? Uh... N no. Yes. No. You sure? It's only 29 cents more. Yes. No. So what the hell happened to him? We used to be so close, but now we seem so different. Like a whale and his developmentally disabled brother. Oh! Hi, guys! Oh! Get in my mouth, you hundreds of fish!
Chris, you're getting older, so it's time for you to learn the classic pool party game, talk to somebody's wife in a bikini until they cover up uncomfortably. Seconds. Hey, Peter. Hey, what have you been watching on TV lately? Oh, you know, this and that. There's a show called Shipping Wars. It's actually kind of... Okay, bye. The temp. I wonder if this temp is the same on my other foot. Oh, yeah. Sure is a good day for it. Good day for these wet paintbrushes, too. Is the pool too warm for paintbrushes? Ooh, sorry, ma'am. We don't valet motorcycles. <laughs> don't need to. Hey, fine. I guess it's just something I gotta deal with. Like the flush of a high-powered toilet. Listen, why don't we head back to my place, grab a bite to eat, and watch the big curling match on TV? Canada's in the world final against Mexico. No, 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 no! I used to be a celebrity baby photographer. Okay, Apple? Apple, smile for Peter. Smile for... No? No? Okay, okay, look over there. Who's that? Who's that? Who loves you over there? That's right. Can you smile for nanny number two? <laughs> That's it. There you go. And your mommy said that she'll be able to Skype at 8.30 if drinks don't turn into dinner. Hey, you live in a house with all this junk. Rather stay in a house with small kids. So you can sleep on the couch. Uh, please take the potty seat off the toilet. Don't try to pee through it. There's juice boxes in the fridge, and if you get hungry, there's plenty of goldfish in the couch. Um, feel free to watch TV with the sound off, and the kids will be down here first thing in the morning to antagonize the dogs. Oh, and everyone here has pink eye. Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, Peter, do you mind if I hang out here a while? I accidentally made eye contact with a transvestite at a bar, and he followed me home. You knew what you were staring at! Get out of here, you mess! You were far away! I didn't know what you were! You know you want me! Shut up! Now go home! Nobody saw me come here! I said shut up! Sneak around back. Don't waste your time. I'm not gonna change my mind. I don't know, Bri. I can make things happen when I want to. Just ask my twin brother. And here's baby boy number one. I understand you've decided to name him Stewie. One more to go. And here he... Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Did Dave not make it? I did it. He's gone. Just as easy as the creation of techno music. Wait a minute. What key are we in? No, 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 no. None of that. Good morning, boys. What's in store for today? Well, I thought we'd start with a vigorous power walk around the neighborhood. Whoa, 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 why? I was thinking we would just watch Dr. Oz and eat cold cuts off our stomach. Those people ain't taking good care of themselves. Okay, but I gotta be home by seven. I'm supposed to talk to the police about that shooting I witnessed. Good Lord, are you all right? If I die, leave two dollars worth of flowers right here. Here's my... So our family could use a trip like this. Plus, it might be good for you and me, too. It's the most romantic country in the whole world. And God knows we could use a little romance in our marriage. What are you talking about? Just the other night, we did that role-playing. Did you like that game of mysterious intruder, Lois? I told you. I don't know who you are. And my name isn't Lois. Mine is. Let's do it again. Stewie, everyone is going to die at some point. Everyone. So, like, even me? Yes, even you. You are going to die someday, Stewie. Wow. I guess you learn something new every day. Like the Black Eyed Peas. Hey, what's that? This is a guitar. Wow. Lois, take it easy. No, you know what? This is my own fault for listening to you. I forgot you don't even know your ass from a hole in the ground. Is that... Is that my ass? Peter, I know you love it here, but riding your bike around town isn't paying the bills, and the kids aren't learning anything at that Italian school. Look at these uh, big ones. Ah! Uh, ra -ta 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 -ta, ra -ta 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 -ta, ra -ta 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 -ta. Is this calculus? I don't know. Ra -ta 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 -ta. Peter, you want another waffle? Uh, I can't, Lois. I promised Janice I'd take a shift. Can I get two eggs scrambled on toast? Sure thing, honey. Adam and Eve on a raft, wreck them. I'd like a hot dog with ketchup and some jello, please. Paint a bow wow red and a side of nervous pudding. Can I have a well done burger with lettuce and tomato? Burn one, drag it through the garden, pin a rose on it. Can I use your bathroom? Got a telephone pole heading to the swimming hole, spray it with sunshine. Guys, you gotta let us out of here. The real criminal's getting away. Yeah, the bastard's making a break for it, just like South America. Hmm, a lot of black guys over there.
Hey, man, where you going? Oh, I'll be back. I'm coming back. I'll be right back. How come every time I'm feeling happy, somebody's got to come along and ruin it? Are you enjoying your coffee, sir? Yeah, it's very smooth. Good flavor. What if we told you that we secretly replaced your coffee with Folgers Crystals? Wouldn't you feel like a dumbass? Because of how you just raved about it just now, you stupid son of a bitch. Folgers, drink us when you've been tricked into it. Come on, Stewie, we're going. Just a moment, Brian. I'm pretending I'm a fireman. I love playing pretend. My name's Peter, and I work in the brewery. Now I'm going to put on my pants and go talk to my co-workers that these pants have stool in them. So I'm going to have herpes for the rest of my life, huh? Yeah, but most of the time it won't even be an issue. It only really flares up during periods of great stress, like your wedding day or a big job interview. So what would you say some of your weaknesses are? That, that, that's probably one of them. Hey, I'm not doing this. You have to, Chris. Siblings have to look out for each other, like the Mannings. Eli, you threw for three touchdowns today, which isn't bad, except Peyton had four. Well, Cooper got pre-approved for a Visa card today. Come on, guys, we all had a good day. Why are you acting like this? Look, I've been trying to get into Reginald Barrington's inner circle for years. They've been the most elite family in this country ever since it was founded. They were the ones who invented the buckle on the hat. Hey, I like your zipper hat. I like your zipper hat. Morning, fellas. Oh, that's gonna be a game changer. It's true, Dad? Yeah, truth is, I don't know nothing about this place. I don't even know why it's called Nepal. The mountains look like nipples. Well, you can't just call a country nipples. What about Nepal? Ooh, I like that. Ha, shocker. God gets it right. Mayor West is crazy. He should have been locked up a long time ago. Yeah, there's definitely something off of him. I'm his physician. Okay, now we'll just test those reflexes. Hey, did you hear that? There's someone out there! Hello? We're in here! There are six of us! You bastards! I don't know why you're surprised by this. <laughs> Let's not be hasty, Your Majesty. W won't you please join me as my personal guest in the Barrington Room? The Barrington Room? Peter, that's the most exclusive room in all of New England. Yeah, I hear it's even harder to get in there than the University of Arizona. Well, it's beating. Welcome to the Wildcats. You're all gonna ditch me when I need you most? Yeah, Meg, it's natural selection. This is how it works in the wild. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hey there. Hey. Nice spot, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great, especially because of that thing over there. You know what's in there? Corn. Really? Wow, I could go for some corn. <laughs> You're dark, Raj. I don't care. We need it to eat, the same way birds need to fly. What do you mean you don't have our names on there? My wife and I absolutely have to be on this flight. I'm doing the best I can, sir. Do you have your confirmation number? I think you'll find all the information you need on here. Sir, this is just a piece of paper with the word South written on it. Can I speak to your supervisor? We swapped blood! Look at my lip! It's a disgusting herpes sore! And now I have some very uncomfortable phone calls to make! Hola, Handy Manny's Repair Shop. You break it, we fix it! Manny, Manny, I'm gonna need you to take me off speakerphone for this. Hey, you guys noticed how many Asians there are at this school? I mean, how'd they all get so smart? I don't know. Guess that's just the way God made them. Gentlemen, I give you the Asian. Ooh! Compact, hairless, and fiercely intelligent. The penises, while tiny, are extremely efficient. We're projecting 10 billion within five years. Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. Do they eat just, like, regular food? <laughs> no, 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 the opposite. Hey, Megan! Oh, hey, guys. Wait, did you just call me Megan? That's your name, isn't it? Well, actually, Meg is short for something else. Peter, would you give this to the nurse? Uh-huh. <laughs> Robots in disguise. The NFL experience. That sounds cool. Kid, you're the best. Sign with me and you're gonna make millions. Griffin, get out there! Ow! It's his knee. Doc! You'll never play football again. Too bad, kid. You was gonna buy me a house! Now I have headaches. I'm gonna save my brain for science. All right, Chris, here they come. Now, remember what we practiced. Now, what are you gonna call the one in the middle? Isosceles triangle. What? Come on, Chris. We worked on this all night. I know. I also had a geometry test. Well, how'd that go? Why are you doing laundry in the dishwasher? Oh, I can't use the washing machine. It's really been acting up lately. What the hell? What's going on down here? This is washing machine stuff. Go back upstairs, suckbag. You don't have the nerve. Like hell I don't. 
Getting to the top ahead of you is gonna be one of the greatest moments of my life. Might even beat graduating from chiropractic school. Robert Baker. Brad O'Bannon. Anyone. We now return to Superman. <laughs> Lois, what's wrong? Clark, we all have breast cancer. The doctor says it's as if our breasts have been x-rayed five hours a day, every day for the last three years. Oh my God, that's terrible. First every woman I've ever known, and now you guys. My God, poor Chris. He's a social outcast like Scarface. Okay, we have a deal. You bring the money, I get you the coke. You got it, Scarface. Oh my God, you can see that? The doctor said you wouldn't be able to. Yes, everyone can see that. That's why we call you Scarface. Whoa, 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 we? I'm your brother, Chris. We're a team and we've got to look out for each other, like Owl and Costello. I mean, a fella's name on first base. Who? The fella playing first base. Who? The guy on first base. Who? I'm asking you who's on first. Who? That's what I'm asking you. Nothing will ever be funnier than misunderstandings. Are you sure? Yes, we're done! I just hope we can handle it better than Blue and Yellow did when they split up. You were supposed to have the kids here by 5. We have plans. It's 5.15. Stop busting my hump, Alicia. Okay, you know what? Let's not, let's not do this in front of the kids. God, you're right. Whatever happened to us? Hey, baby, you ready for dinner? What's up, Scott? We gonna get some barbecue. This portion of the Channel 5 News at 6 is brought to you by condoms. Put us on backwards a little bit, then put us on the right way. Fourth grade class photo. Lean it against a cheap candle. Well, should I call an ambulance? No. Call Channel 9 and have a gap-toothed woman say, quote, he never bothered nobody. I don't know, Peter. That'd be pretty tough to pull off. We just gotta be bold, like those backwards knee birds. Oh, what, what, oh, what, what, what are you looking at? Oh, you coming for me? Nope, nope, I'll just take a big backward knee step in the opposite direction. Yeah, yeah, you think I'm afraid of you? I slept on your back last night, you Now let's wrap this up. I got the director's cut of Raiders of the Lost Ark waiting for me at home. Don't look, Marion! Okay! By the way, I'm pregnant! Maybe just one quick peek. Miss Brian, big corporations never tell the truth. Look at the Kleenex industry. Well, we had another good quarter. I guess a lot of people are sneezing out there. Jerry, I'm going to let you in on something, and it can't leave this room. Our research shows the primary use of our product is sperm. What? Yeah, and brace yourself for this. The second biggest use is women crying about nonsense. But I thought sneezing Jerry, was... Jerry, Jerry, it's sperm and nonsense. Hey, Lois, wh where'd you say you wanted to go? Marshalls. Oh, really? Because di didn't we pass Marshalls down there? No, no, wait, the Marshalls is down there. No, that's the Ross Dress for Less. The Marshalls is down here. Unless this is one of them two Marshalls malls. Peter, I know what you're doing. Knock it off. Fine, but you can't stop the girls in my head. You rock, Mr. G. Great wine coolers, Mr. G. You sure we don't have to wear clothes in here, Mr. G? Hey, you girls ain't cops, right? I'm sure he'll be over it in no time. Besides, how much trouble can he cause? He's a baby. Hey, what the hell? What? What's happening? Who's doing that? Stop! I can't swim without these things! Then maybe you shouldn't have built a hot tub, Joseph. Buddy! Buddy, help! She wants this to happen, Joe. Look at her. Anyone wearing a nightgown at two in the afternoon is not a happy person. The best use of your time now is to release yourself into death's warm embrace. I'm ready to go. Ah! Who did that? Not on my watch, pal. Well, you have your work cut out for you, Peter. My father's always hated Christmas. He was even hired by the Grinch. How do you feel about the Who's down in Whoville? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome aboard. If, uh, if, if you can't tell, I'm pleased. So, uh, what do we do now? Well, it's only July, so to the end of the summer we just do jet ski rentals. I'm, I'm not getting the holiday spirit, so you can stop trying. Well, what about Stewie? The doctors say he may not have too many Christmases left. He's not dying, is he? He might be! Is that what the doctors say? Yeah, I've never taken him to a doctor. <sighs>
Where are you going? Well, if all else fails, the truly great thing about Christmas is that at any moment you can slip out back and smoke weed. And when you come back in, everyone will just think you're in the Christmas spirit. Let's just do that. Are you okay, Dad? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking great, Chris. Oh, you know what? Well, we should we should start a uh, internet business that that does stuff. Yeah, it's you know it's got to sound fast like Zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or zip, or zip. Say that. Zip. Zoom, zip. Zoom. No, no. Zip, zoom. Oh, I'm in. Can we have the Christmas carnival back? Sure. What do we care? We're we're internet millionaires. Wait, what? Wait, we were. What were we talking about before the carnival? Before the carnival. There's, that's our one-act play. Oh, get that down. I don't have to write it down. We're not going to forget that. Uh, what do I want for Christmas? What do I want for Christmas? Give me my hat back. I'll tell you what I don't want. I don't want anything from this plastic garbage factory. I even rented one of those Prius cars to be like Brian. I tried to impress a lady at a stoplight by stepping on the gas, but it was like a gay guy's fart. Silent. Yeah, one end is silent, and the other end can't read an Us magazine in silence. There you go. <laughs> hey, did you fart, Stewie? Because I didn't hear nothing. Okay, okay, watch it. We're not that close yet. Griffin, you're fired! Hey, how come I wasn't invited to this meeting? <laughs> All right, listen up, fat man. I like my breakfast at 7.30 sharp. And it better be on time this week because I'm shooting my episode of Catfish. So, you say you've been corresponding for a year with a baby. Are you aware that it could be an adult? Yeah, but I'm really hoping it's a baby and he's up for all the stuff he said he was because, man, that would just be awesome. Those are for man troubles? I've been giving them to little kids who can't focus in school. Okay, who would like to stand up and give the first book report? Not me! Maybe later! Can I do it from my seat? Come on down to Vito's Pizzeria on Route 2 in Quahog. The pizzeria for when you're ready to fight your dad. Hey, you wait till I serve myself. Why? My house, my rules. We're not in your house! I don't really like Vito's. Who cares what you like? Hey, you're not my dad. Angela, I really need a job. Look, I will prove I'm responsible by sitting on an egg that has been abandoned by a bad bird mother. <coughs> oh, yeah, before my mage ween probs, I had sex with an old bird. Okay, Griffin. Very impressive. You can have your job back. Ah, oh, thanks, Angela! <coughs> oh, right, and is there also a job for my handicapable bird son, Charles? Oh, hang on. I almost forgot wolf repellent. Ah, oh, darn it. There's no room. Well, then take the Astroglide out of there. No, she needs that. If there's anything in there she needs, it's that. Don't judge me, you little weirdo. You're wearing a cape. It's not a cape. It's a hood. A riding hood. Well, if it's a riding hood, where's your horse? Okay, it's a little bit of a cape. And so, the handsome and thin prince, who scored over a million points in pinball on the Adams Family machine this afternoon, searched all over his kingdom for the foot that fit the glass slipper. And all over the kingdom, he was disappointed. And then, he had a wicked smart idea. And then, he skipped a rock like six times, which is pretty much a new world's record, but no one was there to see it. Oh, there's my slipper! Oh, I've been looking all over for it! Oh, well, no need to try it on. You know, I can't wait till we're married. I'll stick my fist in there, I don't care. Really? I'm talking about the wedding cake, you dirty birdie. Oh, damn it, I took Bonnie's purse again. I wonder what bag she's carrying around. Okay, that'll be $78.15. Oh, dear. Do you have change for a pile of shit? Hey, I need you to burp me. 
Lois went out for Indian food with one of her lesbo friends, and guess who's paying the price? Ugh, fine. If you hit it just right, I'll poop and burp at the same time. It's called a boop. That's how Betty Boop got her name. Boop, 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 boop. <coughs> Oops. Guys, can we try something? Let's sandwich our critiques between compliments. Nice chair, you freak. Nice chair. He's kind of getting it. Yeah, don't worry about Quagmire. He's just in a mood. You know, he's been having trouble fitting into his jeans. I told you that in cut! Ah, cool! Somebody put Billy Joel on a jukebox. Billy Joel? This is Daft Punk. Daft Punk? I, what, what is that? What, what, that? That's not even words. What are you saying? This is Billy Joel. It's Anthony's song, parentheses, moving out. It's are exhausting. Hey, Cleveland, how'd you do that with your phone? I'm not an idiot. I use Shazam. It recognizes songs and tells you their names. Yeah? Hey, what if I fired it into it? I don't know. Be my guest. It says Lana Del Rey. Wow, how do I get this on my phone? You just download it. It's an app. What's an app? Their little program. Just drive me to the racket club. Since when do you belong to a racket club? You know, I do have a life outside this house. For example, I also write restaurant reviews for the newspaper under the name Hugh Cornwallis. Hugh Cornwallis? He's like... Super bitchy, I know. Now, come on, let's go. So what, you're gonna play tennis all day? No, I might also hit the treadmill and watch Kelly and Michael on mute with closed captioning. Off. I'm already caught, Lois. I'm gonna finish. Peter, I'm... I'm gonna finish! Just go over there. We're gonna be fine, Lois, you and me. Well, there you are, Dad. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in days. Ugh, I went out of town for a little while, but I made the mistake of using this app called Bear B&B. &B. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my Grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. and Meg the Bounty Hunter. Holy moly, Marcy Miller. She bought feminine products at my dad's pharmacy, so you know she's up and running. Yeah, I wish I had the guts to talk to her. Talk to her. At club, where frail old men come to weigh themselves in the nude. Does that say 84 or 85? It says 63. Oh, dear. How'd you get all those cuts on your butt? Wow, they allow drinking here at 10.30 in the morning? Oh, yes, half the bathroom trash is thrown up scrambled eggs. Okay, so... Name of Rizzoli and Isles. You don't know what part I play, do you? Hey, look, you didn't marry me because of my brains. You married me because I play one of the main bad guys in Blue Bloods. Now let's just stop talking and have idiot actor sex. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Mr. and Mrs. Griffin. We've got a bit of a situation, which is why I've asked officers... Who made a bad choice? I don't know what to say, but the laws just haven't caught up to how cool kids are now. I'm sorry, but this makes Chris a sex offender. Oh, my God! Huh. Well, I'm not about to make a Batman exit right now, but has that thing always been over there? Over where? What are you doing, Peter? Ah, you look back too fast. You should just whip it out on the bus. Can't I just go on the news and tell everyone I'm sorry? Oh, I wish you could, sweetie, but the law says that as a sex offender, you have to complete a rehabilitation course. Oh, that sounds awful. It can't be any worse than our trip to Hawaii. Okay, before you do anything else, I'm deathly allergic to pineapple, pork, rum, macadamia nuts. All right, before we begin, whoever's driving a windowless van painted like an ice cream truck, your lights are on. Okay, next, let's take a few minutes to talk about our new fake interests. Here's a clay pot I made. I've started following girls' field hockey. No, come on, you're supposed to pick from the list. M Mr. Quagmire, this is terrible, and... Oh, thanks, Dimitri. And, uh, your testicles hanging out of your shorts again. I am cooling it. But where is this partner of yours? I don't know, he was supposed to be here 15 minutes ago. <laughs> you're right. So anyway, my ex said, if you bring home one more tennis trophy, I am out of here. Well, she was gone in two days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. 
There he is, Mr. Former Sex Offender. But, Mom, it's not that big a deal. All I did was finish those creepy classes. I know, but now your record is clear. You can go back to being a normal boy and put all this behind you. Hey, Chris, wait till you see the funny thing I had him put on your cake. Happy sixth birthday, Timmy? Uh-oh, they must have mixed him up. Well, I'm glad we're finally getting some practice in. Yeah, nothing like running around after eating a seafood tower. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at the baseline. Yeah, baseline, baseline, right, right. He's serving to you. Get back there. <laughs> you can't. I'm sorry, Chris, but you're just gonna have to accept that from now on, people are gonna see you as a sex-crazed pervert. And there's nothing you can do to change that. Wait a minute. Maybe there is. Thanks, Mr. Quagmire. No problem, Chris. You keep that chin up, huh? I will. Hey, can I ring your doorbell? No, I'd rather you... <coughs> That's why no, Chris. Has anyone seen my sandals? Yeah, no. Nobody's seen your sandals. Well, I'll just have to make another pair. Look, Chris, I know you think chemical castration is gonna solve your problems, but you have to stop taking those pills. I don't have to do anything besides get to the wind chime store before it closes. There can't be a whole store. I don't, I don't need to hear your process. Look, I'm just happy you pushed me, because now I can't wait for that tournament. I know, it's gonna be great. And I already know exactly where I'm gonna put that trophy. So the baby died? Yeah, the baby died. But look, first place. <laughs> Chris, your mother and I want you to stop taking them pills. Have time before he shaves one side of his head and swoops the rest of the hair over. Why, is that... is that bad? Good early evening, everyone. I have celebratory news. With all the free time, I'm no longer devoting to onanism. That's spanking it? Yes, Peter. I have managed to redirect that energy into my studies. In fact, today I received the Kaplan... Please take a plastic bag from the bagging area. Please put the bag over your head and tighten. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. I told you I could make him do it. That's hardcore, man. You're hardcore. Warning, Mr. Griffin. Oh, you're warning me? I'm warning you! I'm gonna go to your house and f*** your wife! You proud of yourself? Tennis club security guard? Your kids look up to you? Big man throwing out a baby and a dog. Tough guy. Maybe I'll see you later when you don't have that name tag on. I thought your shot was in. Oh, hey, pound it, dude. Yeah, he took my phone to look at pictures of my friends, and he found the one you sent. I bet that caught him by surprise. Definitely. Well, I hope you know that's not who I am anymore. I do, and I hope I didn't cause you too much trouble. This is not a dr- 54 years. Well, at least she saw a little wang before taking that dirt nap. Thanks, you guys. I guess chemical castration isn't for everyone. Is, is that... is that the lesson for this week? Uh, I guess it's that or be kinder on the tennis court. We now return to Star Trek Creep Space Nine. She saw us! Warp speed! Uh, hey, you guys, you know that song, Jimmy Crack Corn? Yeah, it's me and Lois's wedding song. Oliver Platt climbing a flight of stairs. Hey, that's a low blow. I'm gonna call the network and complain. Where's the phone? It's upstairs, Oliver. Yeah, they know what they did. Tell you what, Peter, I'll give you ten bucks if you drink an entire shot glass of that hot sauce. Let me see the money. Y you don't believe I have ten dollars? I think he's afraid. Am not. Prove it. Um. But now there is. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin, creator of The Yankin'. If you're anything like me, the number one problem in your life is that you can't masturbate just anywhere. But now you can. Introducing The Yankin', the only blanket with built-in decoy arms. Our patented process makes it look like you're holding the remote or sipping a beer. Meanwhile, your real hand owe me 20. Ew, here's 50. Go change your underwear. It won't come off. Hey, Peter, you want to earn another ten bucks? Of course I do. Great, I got a hilarious one. I'll give you ten dollars for your L4 vertebrae. So, uh... Adrian, and you're gonna drink as much water from it as you can. Chris has Crohn's disease. Get down there. Don't, don't, don't tell us that now. 
I think this is how Anna Nicole Smith died. Don't make light of that. Oh, hey, Bri. Still sitting in chairs, huh? What'd your back ever do to you? I'm trying to watch. Know what I'm watching? My core. Your body and mind are supposed to be on the same team. <laughs> sitting on the hard floor is good for your back, too. Coming up, female high school teacher sleeps with her students. Is she hot? Anyway, these types of immature, drunken hijinks are destroying our town. And if we can't trust a 42-year-old man to drink responsibly, then I have no choice but to take action. So as mayor of Quahog, I hereby raise the town's legal drinking age to 50. What? I can't drink anymore? What am I going to do? What Students are feeling the effects of the city's new drinking law. I was going to bone my girlfriend, but she told me that if there wasn't vanilla vodka involved, there was no way. Well, I think we just have to trust our elected officials. And Goldman's Pharmacy is fully stocked on cough syrup, which goes great with ginger ale. Well, I do miss... There's no beer here. Let, 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 let's, let, let's, just, let's just go. Peter, why'd you want me to get us into this prison? Because, Joe, everyone knows that all prisoners make bootleg wine in their toilet. We are gonna get so wasted. Oh, look, right here. This one's full of Chardonnay. Peter, I don't think that's... But it was Chardonnay. Rhode Island's a mess from top to bottom. I tell you guys, getting alcohol when you're underage isn't as easy as Obama's daughters make it look. What? Is that true? I don't know. Hey. Is that your dog at the bar? Hey, Jerome, one more. Neat. What the hell? Why's Jerome's... Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God, it's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Peter, what's going on in there? Making dinner, ba... Hey, hey, Brian, Brian, how would you like to build, build a deck right now with your buddy? Because we got hammers, the whole deal. I don't know, man. It's pretty dark out. That's okay. I'll just pull my car around and point the headlights at it. Do you know that my dad once called me a mistake? Yeah, I was just hanging out with my main man, Peter. Main man? Hanging out? Brian, he's only using you to buy alcohol. What? What is, what, is that? what are you What are you talking about? It hasn't dawned on you that he only started spending time with you when the drinking age was raised? Come on, that's, that's not true. <laughs> ah, sure, I puked in the clean dishes shag. Drink. To drink? It's against the law for him to do that. Was Stewie in here? Was, was he in here? I, I smell his cologne. Listen to me, Brian. No more booze in this house. You're gonna get us all in trouble. Peter, we, maybe we should find someplace else to get, to drink. Yeah, I think you're right. Hi, we're here from the 80s FBI. Hey, did they move the bagels? Yeah, they're right there. Oh, my God, what the hell is that? This? This is a pointing bird. All right, I just saw a sprinkler come on, so I'm going to go bite at the water a little bit. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, some butthorns shining a flashlight on me? I meant prior to me coming up and investigating this. Oh, well, you gotta be clearer, man. I'm waiting. What are you in for? I bought some alcohol for someone I thought was my friend. How about you? I threw a bottle of rum through the window of the Apple Store. I couldn't remember me password. <sighs> this sucks. Oh, it's not so bad. Sometimes they let you take the good trash home if you ask nice. Last week, I got an old greeting card. You too, pig. Well, I'm not the smartest man in the world, but I can always look back on my life and say I went for it. Ugh, this seems like a weird place to even use a condom. Just shut up, Peter. I'm done with you. All right, you completely lied about why you were hanging out with me. What? I never lie. Well, except for that one time. I've been in this fight. Yeah, but what difference does it make? It's the law. Nothing we can do about it. The hell is not. I bet if we work together, we could find a way to change it back. I, I don't know, Peter. Come on, I know it seems hard, but we can't just give up. I mean, what if Thomas Edison had given up? Uh, what's that? W what's that thing you're working on? Well, it's a light bulb and... A light bulb! Light bulb! Yeah, I... Get 4,000 signatures. Eh, screw that. We're going with plan B. Threaten to kill the mayor's nephew. I love you, Dad! Peter, that's your son. Shut up, Brian! He's hugging me! <laughs>
So, what exactly is your plan here? You'll see. Just follow my lead. Ooh, trick or treat. Chip with one of the best guys I know. Adam, who's at the door? Oh, hi, Brian. Hi, Peter. Wait a minute. Is that... Is that wine? Yeah, Adam just poured me a little before dinner. Wow, you guys eat late. No, Peter, don't you see? Carol's underage, too. The mayor just broke his own law. Mmm, that's a good point. Oh, all right, I'll repeal it. But only if you send me and Carol a copy of that picture. We don't have a lot of the two of us together. Brian, we did it! We got him to change the law! Just goes to show, if anybody wants a law changed, they should just go to their mayor's house. Hey, I, uh... I, I appreciate what you said there about our friendship. Well, to be honest, Brian, at first... Just happy that you and Brian managed to get that law repealed and that you're finally friends again. Me too, Lois. Good to have my drinking buddy back. <laughs> Yay! Everybody's happy! I love this family! I draped that over him. He was just doing it out in the... Come on, take your body back into that conga. You know you can't control yourself any longer. <laughs> Chris is still in there! Somebody save Chris! You know what? He's earned that. Now that one seemed less earned. What? We just talked to the guy who got us into this. He'll know what to do. Whoa, 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 all right, look. Everybody but Chris, just keep your pants on and let's figure a way out of this. It's the end of the world. Holy crap! Seems like I've run out of waiting time. So what'd you end up doing with those old robots anyway? Well, I just left them out on the curb for the trash man. How can this not be a trap? The government wants to tell you how many children you can have. What? No! Yeah, maybe Herbert can watch the kids. He seems like a responsible guy. So it would only be till Monday, and we could pay you for it. Yeah, and it's real easy, I promise. I mean, you, you've spent time watching children, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, I have. You don't even have any friends! Hi. I ran away from home. Do you mind if I live with you? Live with me? My goodness, I feel like I'm gonna pinch myself to see if I'm dreaming. Hot dog, it's real! Most of the surviving American pilots were taken to POW camps, but for some reason, they thought I was gay. So I was taken to a concentration camp. Hey there, little fella. I'm 48. This whole place is a giant mindfuck. All right, children. Your mammy and pappy asked me to look after you for the next couple days. So I want to lay down a few ground rules. No cussing, clean your plates, and only a half hour of radio and then it's off to bed. Well, that sucks. And don't you mouth off to me or I'm going to slap you right in your penis. Y'all know what day it is? No. It's bath day. Oh, I don't want to take a bath. <laughs> Not for you, silly. It's bath day for me. But I can't wash myself. Know anybody with a pair of strong young hands to help me in and out of the tub? Oh, rats! Hi, Mr. Herbert. Oh, my God. Children, run! It's that pervert! Everybody into my safety basement! <laughs> oh! Oh, that was a bad snap. I'm hurt, kids. Don't eat those popsicles till I get down there. Help me what? Clean your pool with my shirt off? Or wash your car in jean shorts? Bend over in front of you to get little bits of lint out of the rug? I know what you're about, Mr. Herbert. Free labor, and I'm not into it. He replaced my Cialis with methamphetamines. Pedal faster! 
I can't go any faster. Where are you going, kids? Hey, I just want to talk to you. Why don't you come over to my place for a glass of wine and a couple of fruit pies, and then we can go in the back room and play Crazy Snakes. Hmm. Seems like reverse time did that kid a favor. I'm not so sure about that. Stand up! You're gonna break that thermometer! What part of stay 50 yards away at all times don't you understand? Uh-oh. Your powers are weak, old man. Obi-Wan! Boy, you got here just in time. All right, let's split up and search the house. I'll go with Lois. Chris, you check the basement with Herbert. Oh, hey there, young fella. Bringing me good news today? What? Come on over here, son. Hand me the paper so I don't need to use my grabber. Mmm. That's a nice, muscly throwing arm you got there. Uh, thanks. Got a nice tip for you right here in my pocket for my arthritis. Why don't you reach in there and fish it out for yourself? Go away, Mr. Herbert. It's not me. I'm in your closet. Hey, muscly arm. Why the long face? Oh, it's this girl. I can't talk to her. It's like girls are a different species or something. Oh, uh, who needs them? You like popsicles? Well, sure. Then you need to come on down to the cellar. I got a whole freezer full of popsicles. Mmm. No, thanks. I gotta get going. Oh, don't make me beg now. Ha <laughs> ha You're funny. Bye. Get your fat ass back here. You have 113 new messages. Oh, my. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, uh, mm, well, where the newspaper boy was. <coughs> Haven't seen a newspaper in a couple days. Wondering if you ever gonna come back. <coughs> Guess who? Trick or treat! Take two. Take three. Take four. That's enough! Happy Halloween! <laughs> Sorry to leave you so many messages. Just lonely here, thinking about the muscle on paper boy. Wishing he'd come by and bring me some good news. Lighting his cigar right about... Stewie, oh. help! It hurts! Reverse the pill! Let me die! Ooh, I wish I could, but the pills were in the house, so, yeah. Stewie! 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 How fast you were going, sir? Peter? Hey, Cleveland, this is just so we can talk without getting spotted by Lois or Donna. I need you to step out of the car, sir. Peter, there's got to be a better way. He's got a knife! Ah! 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 Sorry, Cleveland, it's got to be authentic. Stay down! Oh. Stay down! Ah! Cleveland, try to grab my gun. Oh, trying to grab my gun, are you? Ah! Oh! Hey, rookie, save some for me. Wow, the whole gang's back together. Just shut up. We don't need you in this town. Ow, ow. <gasps> Holy crap, what happened? Well, I think we simply found your true height. Before years of poor posture and wear and tear crushed your spirit and your spine. Wow. Mr. Griffin, let's discuss risk factors. Do you lead a lifestyle that's sedentary? Pet sedentary? I'm saying you need to strengthen your core. It's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back in and out a few times? I was born nine times that day. It was gonna be harmless 80s fun. You killed the gopher! He's all right? No, he's not all right. We're all gonna get laid? Damn it, Pete, ah, stop! <gasps> Evelyn? Evelyn?
I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Well, hey, oh, listen, I was really sorry to hear about your dad. Oh, that means a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the wake. I was out of town. It's okay. Thanks for the flowers. Oh, it's the least I could do. Hey, Chris, get over here. You gotta meet my buddy, Bob Hanley. Hi, Mr. Hanley. I'm Chris. I heard a lot about you, sir. Escalate me. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Stop! Wait! I want Mrs. Padbury Wilkerson back! Sorry, Mrs. Padbury Wilkerson is in the loo! Oh, bring back that southern guy! Sorry, I'm busy watching Mrs. Padbury Wilkerson use the john. Can I talk to someone else? Literally anyone? I'm Gilbert Gottfried, and I was fired by Aflac for no reason! Well, there, there was some reason. Way to kill two birds with one stone. Like this. The key to that, Lois, is big rock, small birds. Oh, and I also figured out how to achieve two goals with one action. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, but I gotta be home by seven. I'm supposed to talk to the police about that shooting I witnessed. Good Lord, are you all right? If I die, leave two dollars worth of flowers right here. Here's my fourth grade class photo. Lean it against a cheap candle. Well, should I call an ambulance? No. Call Channel 9 and have a gap-toothed woman say, quote, he never bothered nobody. Woo! To my last night as a free man! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Unfortunate timing. Now, which one of these scumbag firemen will go after his fiance? Already happened. We're very happy. Peter Griffin, you are an idiot. You can't even walk and chew gum at the same time. Peter, come on. Walk over here. I'm doing something. One thing at a time. I actually can't believe they let me into heaven. They won't even let me umpire Little League games anymore. Strike two! And Ricky, you have got the best ass on this field. Hey, Chris, hey, you remember that kid you said was bullying you at school? Well, here's his head. Ah! That's not even him! That's the deaf kid! Oh, that was sign language. I thought he was trying to defend himself with terrible karate. I can't believe it. You've become a wild animal. You're like that tiger from Siegfried and Roy. Um, I think we all know the answer to this, but should I get tested? What the hell? Where's all the decorations? And a big Christmas tree. Oh, look, there's Santa. Peter, no. That's a hell's angel. What do you want? Meth? Okay. Right here in Italy. Peter, those were our passports. We don't need them anymore. Kids, I got an announcement. He's wearing a rubber. We're staying in Italy. We're Italian now. What? Are you kidding? Well, if we're gonna be Italian, I guess we should stop murdering our brothers. Where are you at? You break my heart, Chris. You break my heart. What's Dad doing over there with Chris? Oh, he's telling him that he's no longer his favorite son. No! I didn't even tell him. He just does not like to be touched. Wow. I haven't felt this powerful since I got to decide which ant lives and which ant dies. You shall battle to the death, and the winner will be given his freedom. Why are you looking at me like that? Peter, would you like a glass of... Oh, my God! I told you not to play God with those ants! For years now, I've been planning on retiring at 45 so I can work on finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Peter, are those testicles? Where did you get those? I don't remember! How the hell am I gonna quit smoking? I wish smoking could just quit me instead. Thank you for meeting me here. I have something very important to tell you. I have something important to tell you, too. Peter, I think we should see other people. Okay. Uh, good. That's what I was going to say, too. Peter, that was a private conversation. That doesn't change the fact that you want to steal my wife. Hey, get your hands off me.
Goodbye, terrible women. <laughs> can't fire a writer in the middle of a show. That'd be like a doctor leaving in the middle of a surgery. Help! I'm supposed to have surgery, but my doctor disappeared. Okay, Josh. This is the shot you've been waiting for. Okay, Derek. This is the shot you've been waiting for. Trust me. I bought the absolute latest issue of Archie Comics, and this is what the kids are wearing. Oh, hey, fellow teens. Wait a minute. Teenagers don't have wheelchairs. No! <laughs> no! Wait, matters of the heart? What are you talking about? Well, Lois found my old teddy bear, Oscar, in the attic, and, and I'm just not sure how to handle it, what with Rupert and all. Who cares? Just play with them both. I can't do that. Oh, it'd be so awkward. Um, okay. Oscar was my... Well, he was my first, you know, and that's always exciting, but, but I've been with Rupert for so long now. Uh-huh. Most of our finances are intertwined. We've built a life together. Ryan, look out! What the hell? You're alive, my friend! What? Of course I'm alive. What the hell's going on here? Ryan, that car killed you. And when it did... A little part of me died as well. I couldn't live without you, so I came back from the future. Ugh, what a night. Whew, what a night. Crazy. Uh, yes, telegram for hungover. <laughs> yes, I, I'll sign for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> How was your night, Stewie? Ugh, get your own life, bro. Get off my sack. But I can't look at this for three months, so I've come up with a solution. Put these on. Stewie, Hold I... Hold still. There you go. You look good. You look really good. To win this game. Wait for someone else to win and steal his card. G27. Bingo! It's go time. What do we do, sneak up behind him? No, nope. he's got cataracts. Follow my lead. Bingo, bitches! Bingo. Hi, Glenn. Uh, hey, will you sign a petition to overturn Mayor West's ban on gay marriage? Gay marriage? Ah, oh, come on. Two halves can't make a hole without a hole. Giggity, 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 giggity. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Oh, no, my Luna bar for women. Please call the DWP. I'm stuck in here. Oh, Brian's a complete dick. We all know that. But I think we're losing sight of the point that Bonnie's a weird slut who's always letting you know she's open for business. What? When am I doing that? Oh, come on. When are you not doing that? With that boo-boo baby voice and that still breastfeeding rack? Ugh, give me some of that! All right, bullies, let's keep it simple out there. Race, weight, complexion. We've got an ugly girl with braces and an Indian boy with a turban. Let's get on the board right away. I nominate Principal Shepard. Shut up, Neil, you shameless kiss-ass. Oh, hey, Stewie. Ready to go to school? Chris, my man, I have good news for you. I feel like I've taught you everything you need to know to fend for yourself. So today, you're going off on your own, and I am taking a spa day. Seaweed wrap, paraffin dip, and if I'm lucky, maybe someone squashes my bits around. Not gonna ask for it, but if it comes, I'm not gonna refuse. Ah, uh, give me one of those. You smoke too? How do you think I got to be deaf? Wasn't by eating celery. I can't quit now, Lois. I'm an inspiration to people. You know, like, like that fly who gave that commencement address. Class of 2013, as I look out at you, seeing 18 to 20 times more of you than there really are because of my thousand facet fly eyes, I encourage you to rub your front spindly hand legs together, to fly from dung pile to garbage pile, to land and tap at stuff with that weird tube thing that comes out of your mouth, 
and to enjoy every moment until a day or so later when a chubby woman hits you with a magazine. Who the hell got this guy to speak? Hey guys, keep it down. Day five of my imprisonment inside Chris's backpack. Isolation has proven to be my biggest enemy. If not for the birds I raise, I would be completely alone. Oh, is that right? You want to play backpack soccer again? Or backpack in the oven? You like that one? You'd kill me to be student body president? You realize you have no power. You can't override the teachers or the principal. Chris Griffin, we'll start with your candidate statement. <laughs> Come on, Stewie. Forget it. Damn it, that's enough! You've treated me horribly! What's our position on extended library hours? The library can suck my dick! <laughs> that was good! What else you got? I don't see your names on it. Well, actually, they're carved right there on the table. I don't spell so good. Just shut up! Just shut up! You should be ashamed of yourself! I mean, look at me! And on the same day, I'm supposed to coach those at-risk teens! Hey, nice lip! Who you been smooching, Mr. G? Your mom! Okay, who else wants to take a shot? Huh? Alright, let's get back out there! Hey, Luis, hang back. You know why I'm harder on you than everyone else? Because you can take it. I see a lot of potential in you. And I have been having sex with your mom, and she's not very good at sex. Alright, good talk. Now get back out there! Come on, Wildcats! Listen, Tiffany, you seem really great, and I need to come clean with you about something, because well, if I don't, there's two guys who are going to tell you anyway. I have herpes. Really? Yeah. Well, that's okay. I mean, if we're careful about it, it shouldn't be an issue. And the truth is, I like you so much, I'd do anything to make this work. Oh, my God, I'm so happy to hear that. I, I, I feel the same way. Oh, Tiffany, you know, you know, I know this is crazy and, like, super sudden, but... Will you- You're gonna die alone, you dick! Oh, thank God she didn't catch the kid I hired to replace Chris. Thank you for wearing the baseball cap forward. I, I know it's uncomfortable for you, but it, it, it really sold it. Peter, you're wearing two different shoes. It's hard to argue against her. You think I'm an idiot too? Peter, you're the same guy who once thought he lost a fart. Hey Chris, have you seen my fart? I left one in the hallway about an hour ago, and I think I left my keys in it. Oh, is that it? Ah, yes. And the mystery of the missing keys has been solved. Quagmire's right about traveling. Bonnie and I went to the Virgin Islands. Did you know that not everyone there is a virgin? That's the kind of conversation starter you can pick up overseas. Yeah, you know, I was just saying, I need to broaden my horizons. You see, my wife thinks I'm an idiot. She's always making me feel small and insignificant. You know, like, like one of those British servants who's always apologizing with his cap to his chest. My sincerest apologies, my lord. I want to assure you this in no way will ever happen again. It's been an honor to serve you, and I'm hoping you'll accept my deep contrition. Griffin, you shat in my bedchamber. Again, your grace, I want to express my deep regret. While it was extremely convenient, I feel nothing but sorrow, remorse, and failure at having disappointed your trust in me. That excrement is still there. Stop apologizing and do something about it. To be sure, sir, but by way of explaining, the stool was a very dark hue, and I was advised by medical experts to save me fecal matter of such complexions as to warrant further study. But again, a thousand times, pardon. Griffin, are you defecating right now in the hall? Guilty as charged, sir, but at the same time, I'm filled with compunction. You know, we have been Cohogians low these many years, and yet this was our first foray into the local art house cinema. What thinks you, Lois? As soon as that black guy started speaking French, I was out of it. Oh, well, maybe a silent film is more your speed. What, you mean like that internet video where that monkey goes nuts with the frog? You know, it's possible cinema is not our shared avocation. Perhaps sitting by a lake would be more to your liking. Ah, oh, Peter, that sounds wonderful. Swan Lake, that is. Ha 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 ha. Peter, I understood when we parked the car on level three. Just wake me when the black swan's going to town on the white one. Uh, what? What's going on? 
I want the old PETA back, and I'm gonna get the old PETA back. That idiot, he's dead. We'll see about that. Hmm, that's three-part harmony. I heard that at the Philadelphia Opera. Walden, what was your cell phone doing in my bed? If I know you, it was vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> cell phones do give you that option, but I think he was implying something more risque. So, I heard you took your ex-wife to the zoo. Yeah, I wanted to give her a family reunion. <laughs> <clears throat> he holds her family in very low esteem. Almost there. Ellen, I have a boner. <laughs> oh, oh my God, Lois! Now that is funny. Peter, you're back. Ellen, I have a boner. <laughs> I missed you, Peter. Oh, I missed you too, Lois. I'm sorry, I called you an idiot. I missed you too, Lois. Hey, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Mmm, feisty. I like a toilet with a little fight in it. Please be seated. <laughs> ah, we go! And now, the HBO original series, Boys. Hey, sorry I slept with that girl you liked. That's cool. Did you walk around naked after you had sex? What? No. No one wants to see that. Isn't this time in our lives so interesting? No. See, there you go. Absolutely you should. You know, I've always had success fighting for what I believe in, starting back when I was Roe's boyfriend. In the case of Roe v. Wade, the Supreme Court has ruled 7-2 to two in favor of Roe. Yes! All right, get that thing out of there. And by the way, we're breaking up. Dear Daddy, I ran away with Chris. You're not fully clean unless you're zestfully clean. Oh, it's a sponsored note. I hate that. Geez, Dad, this is the first time we've ever gone on a road trip together. I thought we could at least try to have some fun. All right, you're right, you're right. I I'm sorry, Meg. All right, let's play a game. It's called Slug Meg. Every time you see a car, you slug Meg. Slug Meg! Ow! Dad, there's not even any other cars on the road. Yeah, there's a lot of rules to Slug Meg, Meg. Hey, are you the lady who just dumped in the bathroom? No. So y you didn't just lose your purse? Yes. <laughs> there you two are. Where have you been? Dinner's getting cold. Ooh, sorry, Mom. We ate at the movie theater. Dad took me to see Fast and Furious 7. Did you know Vin Diesel's tank top was a producer on the movie? What about school? Skipped it. Again? I bet Diesel's not even his real name. Trust me, Mom. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, that's what the founder of Texas Instruments said. Gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the future of Texas Instruments, our crowning achievement, the solar-powered calculator. Don't people use calculators inside? Get out. Quagmire? Don't judge me. Just, just, uh, very carefully cut me down. <coughs> Thanks for getting me off. That. Hey, Stewie. Hey, why are you wearing a cloak? You should go inside the house, Brian. Winter is coming. What? It's true. The dead have emerged from the Garden of Bones, and the White Walkers have been spotted in these woods. Don't the White Walkers eat babies? Wait, what? Ah! Hey, where the hell's Peter been? I haven't seen him all week. I know. Oh, wow, he's right over there. So I ordered a small soda, but they only had large cups. So they charged me for a small soda, but they gave me a big one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Meg. You are like a magnet for this stuff. I could listen to your stories all day. Hey, Peter, where you been all week? Yeah, come sit with us. Ah, sorry, guys. Meg and I have a big day ahead of us. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's weird. Oh, it's nice to hang around with family. In fact, I asked Kevin to join us here today. There's my big guy. Oh, <laughs> someone found his birthday present. Wipe that smile off your face. People left Family Guy to work on your show. When your credits scroll across the screen, each name represents a life that is now destroyed. People lost homes, spouses left, kids can't go to college, and, and it's a big joke to you? Grow up! <clears throat> My show was terrible. Well, that was nice of you to help the Browns get settled. Oh, I'm not done yet, Lois. I'm gonna give my old buddy Cleveland a hand and take this moving truck back for him.
Peter, you don't know how to drive a stick shift. Oh, yeah, truck drivers are so smart. It's easy, Lois. You just find them and grind them. No, 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 no! Oh, a lawn rock went in my crack. We're done! Cleveland, slam the door! Now lock all our city black person locks. Our house is also a liquor store. But Cleveland, you're my best friend. I mean, Quagmire's always so busy with sex, and Joe... Joe's just so needy. Really? Am I in a good way? Lois, know you're here? No clue. I brought beer. I brought pot. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought pot. I brought acid. Oh, well, now I feel stupid. I brought crystal meth. I brought ten rounds of chemotherapy. I think we may have gone too far. Now I feel bad for laughing at my dad when he went through this. We now return to Someone's Aunt Thinks Everything That Happens To Her Is An Incredible Coincidence. And so we get in the cab, and you'll never guess what the cab driver's name is. Michael! And my son's name is Michael! Oh my god! My son's name is Michael! Well, I gotta do something. She's madder than the groom was when I made that wedding toast. You know, when Turk first asked me to be his best man, I said, You're marrying her? Are you nuts? We've all done her! It's not supposed to be serious. This is Suzanne! Or, as we used to call her, Gargamel, Pigface, The Beast, Down Syndrome Jenny McCarthy, Penis Flytrap, The Final Option, Betty Kruger, or, as she will be known from today on, Mrs. Turk Mendelssohn. Ladies and gentlemen, to the Mendelssohns. You know, you're right, Bri. You're so much smarter than me. What would I do without you? Well, you know, one day when you're older, you'll realize the difference between intelligence and wisdom. Stupid dog, thinking he could change my mind. He's dumber than a Netflix customer. Want to watch something on Netflix? No, they never have anything good. We should cancel it. But I've had it since college. Netflix. It sucks, but who cares? Hey, Chris, Meg, who wants to throw the bee around with me? Brian? Whoa, who are you? Never mind who I am. Why are you so upbeat? Shouldn't you be about four bourbons into your day at this point? Bourbon? What's that? You mean liquor? In this temple? Oh, <laughs> I don't think so. Well, too bad. This stuff is loaded with antioxidants. Lance Armstrong swears by it. Lance Armstrong? He's the best guy of all time. Give me that. The hell with Frisbee. I'll play with words and let my readers do the soaring. We now return to Lincoln 2, even higher-voiced Lincoln. Mr. President, I feel the time has come to seek emancipation for the Negro race. I concur with the good secretary. History has given us this moment, and we must seize it. Ha-ha! Well, I'm with you guys! Lois, we need to talk. What is it, Peter? Did you or did you not fill in my Mad Libs with very literal, unfunny versions of the story? I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> the man took his bike to the park. This is literally off the top of my head. The man took his rectum to the park. It's nice to be held by a guy who doesn't interrupt wedding toast to smell his belly button finger. I guess I've known Bob about, uh, 25 years? Coward! I have found you! Ah! Oh my god, Stewie, are you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance! This could need stitches! We don't want this to leave a scar! No, there's no time for an ambulance! We gotta take him to the hospital right away! Guys, I'm alright. I, I think Meg... Oh my god, he's delirious! He's talking nonsense! Quick, everybody in the car! Uh, Stewie should probably never use this pacifier again. Okay, so I'll talk to him tomorrow? Mmm, <laughs> Glenn, honey, I have a question for you. What do you do for a living? <laughs> hey, I have a question for you, too. Why are you still here? Glenn, would you feed Mittens? Mittens has food in his bowl! That's old food! Mittens, shut up! Mittens, shut up! Don't you talk to Mittens that way! Mittens is a member of this family! Mom, you want this three-way to happen, you're gonna have to change your tone. Hey, Peter. I've just been, uh, 
Checking out some of that internet porn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just gonna go, go and check my mail over there. You been lifting weights? Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't think... No. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Peter, I, I, gotta, I gotta get back. Oh, my God! Well, now, now hang on, Quagmire. There's no guarantee it's your baby. Kickity? Oh, I say that. Oh, wow, I can't even imagine what twisted, deviant act you've thought of this time. I want you to have sex with your father. What? Yep, and I'm gonna watch. Hi, Glenn. Are you crazy? No! No way! Glenn, remember, the thing we love most about each other is that we push each other way beyond our normal boundaries. Did you enjoy your stay at the Marriott? No, I did not. Everyone sees me as a woman! Oh, no! This is the universe giving me what I deserve for being such a pig all the time! From now on, I'm gonna do things differently. Men are jerks! Let's swear off of them and find comfort in each other. Come here, you guys! Hmm. Yeah. Peter, are you having trouble getting... ready? Yes, obviously I'm having trouble! Well, somebody's gotta have sex with me. Lois, don't say that. Quagmire will show up like the Roadrunner. It's okay, your vagina's just a painted on hole. Here's your costume from the year you went as a condom. What the hell are you supposed to be? And then there was Quag Chambers. He was the leader of our gang. He had sex when he was five and committed his first rape when he was ten. Rape, of course, being legal in the 50s. Ha-ha! <laughs> Beat those cards, fellas! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> giggity giggity! Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain, Glenn Quagmire. Uh, we're looking about a four and a half hour flight time today. Uh, we got clear skies, good visibility. The temperature in Atlanta is 64 degrees. Uh, the flight's gonna be a little longer than we've expected. Uh, we've got some very strong headwinds. Giggity. Uh, flight attendants, please prepare for takeoff. Can't believe Lois would cheat on me. Look, Peter, I know this is a very difficult time for you, but I, I want you to know I'm, I'm here for you if you need anything. You want me to drag my sack across your face? What? Uh, see, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, it's, I, when, when one of my lady friends is upset, that's how I, that's how I cheer her. L listen, Peter, I, I, this is all I know. I'm, I'm not very good in these types of situations. Joe, hold your handcuffs over my lap. What the hell is that? Swiss Army penis. Well, Quagmire, that's incredible. Peter? Well, yours are made of a stronger metal. We're gonna have to go with the acetylene torch penis. Don't don't look right at it. My STDs help it burn brighter. Should have just stuck to the plan. Well, I figured you might get soft on me, so I hired an old friend to scar them for life. Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? Sixteen. Eighteen? You're first. Mom! I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, giggity. What do you say we hit another bar? Keep it going. I can't. There's a girl tied up in my basement who needs some food. That's funny. You funny, pointy man. Yeah, I, I joke around a lot. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. <laughs> hey, you must be a parking ticket, because you got fine written all over you. <laughs> hey there, I don't want to come between you, or do I? <laughs> oh, that's awful. There's a naked lady squatting over a cake in your kitchen. She'll wait. She, she knows to wait. She's your baby. She's beautiful. <laughs> Isn't she, sweetheart? She sure is, Joe. It's hard to believe she's already 18. Hey, you ever accidentally masturbate to young pictures of your mom? Who the f starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. <laughs> what can I say? I really like watching her box. That means two things. Well, that doesn't totally surprise me. A friend of mine staying in my house got... Um, injured, and my homeowner's insurance wouldn't pay her doctor bills. Said the policy didn't cover an active rod. Thanks, honey. Say hi to your husband. Oh, I got AIDS again. Better take my NyQuil cold flu and AIDS. All gone. Oh my god, this is worse. I feel amazing. Like a bride on his wedding day. At last, my love has come along. Don't test me, Starling. 
A census taker did that once, and I ate his liver with dry Cheerios and a mashed up banana. You can't go through here. It's only for people who work for Miss Ryan. You have to let me through. I'm Ed Sheeran. You're not Ed Sheeran. You're a weird looking baby with an English accent. <gasps> oh my god. Right this way, Mr. Sheeran. I can't believe Peter's lost his voice. How's he gonna insult Meg now? Well, I don't know if it's gonna work, but he brought a whiteboard. <laughs> Meg's got the ball. Peter, quick, write something mean. You're doing to this game what R. Kelly did to all the... Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying the rest of that. Ain't that the punchline to an anecdote? <laughs> <laughs> that stall is for the differently abled, you know. How do you know it's not a handicapped person in there? Look, no chair, no crutches. Whoever's in there definitely shouldn't be. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry. Yeah, sure you are. Hey, you mind flush it for me, pal? No arms over here. Well, I suppose it's the least I could do. Oh my god, it's bigger than you! <laughs> well, there's two things you can do from here. Break it off or go full scumbag. If you're interested in going scumbag, I sell a starter kit. It includes a second phone, fake addresses, and some golf shirts. I don't golf. Nobody does. Golf was invented purely so husbands can cheat on their wives. A six-hour game in a completely different town where you need special shirts? I, I don't think so. Having a little trouble this morning? No, no, I'm doing great. Look, I already got Stewie and Brian changed. Ow. Daddy, I saw a lost Tatum. You what? I swear it was an accident. Don't worry, Lois. We'll split up and look for her. On it. <laughs> Damn it, Chris. Now that's going to be in our Fox promo. Sorry, Sorry Dad. Dad. Tonight on Fox, Chris Griffin meets Chris Griffin? Ah, there it goes. <laughs> Sorry. I swallowed my retainer, but I'll do a little stool fishing later. Stewie, everyone is going to die at some point. Everyone. So, like, even me? Yes, even you. You are going to die someday, Stewie. Wow. I guess you learn something new every day. Like the black-eyed peas. Hey, what's that? This is a guitar. Wow. Hey, Brian, check it out. <clears throat> <clears throat> this might be my biggest candy score ever. Probably thanks to my killer costume. What are you dressed as? I'm the oh my god reaction gif. And people get that? Yeah, everyone's dressed as gifs. Ain't that right, Pop? I'm your mother. I can feel your lies in my ovaries. The doctor said those were cysts. From your lies? They're not gonna talk, Lois. I say we hook them up to the lie detector. Peter, that's not a lie detector. That's a ride-on sex machine. It is? Well, it got me to sing like a bird. Stop rolling it into rooms! Hey, Bon, you busy? Should I get the pump? Oh, no need. Let's do this! Lois Griffin, you are adding spice to that marriage. Wow, look at me, making a difference for those in need. Would you like to add a dollar to your bill to fight cancer? No, I gave a disabled guy an erection. Straight flush. You got a strip. What about tonight? What? Oh, did you say I'm never gonna get out of here? No, I was telling my horse to get naked. Oh. Ah! Ah! This is what babies think happens at haircuts! So that's how I became Quahog's first ninja cop. Questions? Yes. Mr. Officer Hiya. Did you park in the handicap spot? Ninjas don't have cars. Well, it's getting towed. Oh no! My Chevy Cruze! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pumpkin spice. Sounds like a reject from a female British pop band. Quit tossing your scarf over your shoulder to punctuate your jokes. You know what, Peter? I like me. Look, guess your weight. With a line that long, I'll guess my own weight. 30 minutes. Oh, see you in a few. Got scarfed up. My mama always said life was like a box of good and plenty. Most people just throw it away. We paid a lot of money for that house, and taking the ass end of a shampoo bottle barely makes a dent into their hall. There, definitive proof that your mother always describes big things as being smaller than they are. Did you hear that, Chris? We've all seen it, Dad. Sorry I put you in a dress, Stewie. We needed a damsel. 
Hey, do I look upset? Barrel! 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 What is all this noise? I'm trying to buy everything on Amazon in here. Barrel! Ah, my foot! Oh, I think it's broken. Uh-oh, next level. I can put that whole detention experience behind me and just live. Whoa. Yep, so that's how your granddad got his back tattoo and hepatitis. Never share a needle with Ben Affleck. How did you and other granddaddy meet? That's a story for when you're older. The kids at school were asking if you're a bottom or a top. They should not be asking that. They said if that was your answer, then you were a bottom. Who are these f kids you're talking to? I would like to have a word with their attractive fathers. Can you come upstairs and tell me if this great chicken smells funny? Be right up, babe. Oh man, this is worse than... Hey, where's Dad? He said he was gonna help me with my science fair project. Up here, kids. Thoughts? We're gonna call you Mr. Skin. Uh, what? Oh, really? Oh, well, we'll call you something else. Not only did I not give away your book, I'm launching an investigation, and I'm gonna nail the guy who did it. Uh-huh. And maybe it's more than one guy. Maybe it's a ring. A deep ring I can only penetrate by nailing a bunch of guys. Wait, are you, are you still talking about my book? Oh, yeah. Maybe it's too many guys for me, and I have to bring in a private dick. Close the door on your way out, Brian. I need privacy to think about dicks for hire. We never know what you're gonna do. It's usually silly or dangerous, but it's also kind of awesome. Yeah. Remember when he had tiny arms for like three months? Or when you brought home that horse. Or that falcon. Or that parrot. A lot of illegal animals. Or when that little guy lived in his neck. What the hell was that? Every few years, he fights a giant chicken and destroys a city. No one's named a good thing yet. So now it's 2 a.m., the bars are closed, and we are all still quite divorced. Can you provide us with more alcohol? Uh, I don't know. Let me check the rules. Oh. Ah. I don't know why they wrote the card that way. Are you sure you can't let us in? I'll show you a picture of a naked student. That's my son. Oh, well, I have others. Uh, no, that's him again. Oh, oh, that's also him. Okay, these are all crisp. This. It had Nemo on it. Oh boy, that, that is that is some dream. And he was wearing giant sunglasses. Oh, and we had cats for some reason. Uh huh. Yep, I backed up all the way into the show before us. Wife talking about her dream. Homer, you've got company. Why are there two sets of prices? One's the Emmy winner discount. Ah. Black coffee and toast, please. Man, Meg being pregnant is almost as bad as when that other lady was pregnant. Remember? The lady with the loose baked eggs rack? Remember her? Peter, that was me. And no way was I worse than this. Well, maybe this will turn out better than you think. Like eating edible underwear in non-sexual situations. I can't believe you chose this for your last meal. Well, I guess we're both shocked today. Hey, you ever check Joe's Facebook? Oh, I know. Awful. Hidden Cheesecake Factory again. So amped. And then the symbol that means wink. Really? I mean, like, why, why the wink? I mean, is, is, there, is there something that we're supposed to be in on? Is, is, is he not going there? Is, is, he, is he not amped? And, and, and who cares if he is? You know? Dick. Coming up. I hey, you sons of bitches! This is Chad. He's my boyfriend. We love each other. We said it and everything. <laughs> A little help. <laughs> okay, now to loudly watch this Aaron Sorkin masterclass. Hi, I'm Aaron Sorkin, and I've been paid a lot of money to give you false hope about your ridiculous dream. Trump! 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 Trump!
Peter, what are you doing? Well, you know how you told me to give up the 80s and find a whole different decade to be into? No, that's not what well, I... Well, I'm doing the 1920s. Not because of legal cocaine, but mostly because of legal cocaine. Time to design a very stupid flying contraption. Cocaine plane! Happy Halloween, kids! Happy Halloween! Look, it's Matt Foley from Saturday Night Live! I don't know who that is. I just came from a meeting at work. Oh, good, Peter, you're home. You can help me pass out candy. Sorry, Lois, I have to go do a dangerous speedball and become the least surprising death in Hollywood history. Mm -hmm. Oh, they sure do grow up fast, don't they? Chris, have you masturbated today? No, ma'am. Well, get up there! And don't come back till What's you... for dinner? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Fuck you. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Eat shit. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Dumb cunt. Can't believe we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> oh, wow. That was super loud. Oh, man, this toothpick is the best. I'm not going anywhere without it. Like Batman and his futility belt. I can't get these locks open. Don't you have something in your belt? Oh, yeah, maybe. Let's see. I have some hockey trading cards, a post-it with some hair stuck to the edge, something that might be a roll-aid. I don't know, it's just loose. Hurry, it's getting closer! I have some stamps. Oh, you know what? It's a sir. Now, I've been trying to figure out something we can do together, and I think I've found it. We're gonna sing a song. Now, I'll start, and when I point to you, you'll sing your part. Ready? War! Uh. Yeah! What is it good for? Absolutely nothing! Okay, all right, good job. Now, let's try something else. I wanna get you home and uh. double up. Uh. Uh. Okay, I like where this is going. Let's take it from the top. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. Ah, I was aiming for the church. God angry now! Ay, 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 ay! Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, a boom shadow from the sound guy we can't fire because his wife died. There it is. But first, Quahog says goodbye to an old friend. Oh my god, I just got four more matches! This is amazing! This is the greatest invention since the firecracker! Gentlemen, after many years of research, we finally did it. We've solved the problem of too many fingers in Florida. Okay, kids, we're going to start practice as soon as I get that guy out of here. I'm 60 yards away! <sighs> All right, I, I guess if a loose ball goes over there, just don't go. That was amazing! I can drive! Now I can do a slow cruise past my ex-girlfriend's apartment. 11.45 and the lights are on. Doing it with the lights on now, whore! Don't mind looking at his body! I love you so much, though. Congratulations, you're caller number five. You're going to see Justin Bieber. Oh, sweet Jesus. Yes, Jesse, I won. Never say never. Oh, that was awkward. Like a stranger trying to make conversation. Long line, huh? There's two of us. Reminds me of that Steinfeld episode. No sauce for you, <laughs> right? We missed both of them. I can't believe that show's still on. It's not. I really like that Julia Richard Dreyfus, though. Ugh. Mr. Sanders, thank you for waiting. Here's the medicine for your brain injury. Oh, now I feel bad. I know, it's great. And with all the time Brian is saving me, I've been able to spend more time working with my foundation that gives impoverished nations things they don't want or need. All right, let's get this stuff out fast, guys. These people have nothing. All right, everybody gets a hot dog toaster and a special zigzag brownie pan so that every brownie you bake has a chewy edge. We got 300,000 Harlequin costumes and 500,000 sets of stairs that a dog can use to get up on a bed. Well, looking around, I can see everybody looks kind of thirsty, so each of you gets a Crash Bandicoot video game. All right, I'll see you guys next month, because I got a shipment coming in of those realistic testicles you hang off the back of your truck. Also, you can have my penis enlarging machine. It's in my closet. Ah, did you look? Will you, will you text me if you looked? Lewis! 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 
Mom! 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 Mommy! 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 Mama! 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 Ma! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> to do something different and creative. Really? What about being a pilot? It's just not a challenge anymore. These days, the autopilot does everything. Can I get you anything, Captain? You can get me some of this, toots. <gasps> okay, I guess I'll just sit here and read a fucking magazine. Well, hang on, Lois. You promised me we were all eating my Play-Doh pasta tonight. Oh, Stewie, did you make something? Mmm. Oh, it's so yummy. Mmm. Nom, 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 nom. You better mean those nums. Yeah, whatever you're doing, it's working. You should see the way I have to pick up chicks. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Chris. There's my big, smart son, my special guy, my Chrissy. Sounds like someone got her vibrator working again. What's going on over there? Looks like a student rally. They probably forgot to study for an exam, so they organized a protest. In the 90s, you just pull a fire alarm. Now you hold a protest. That is, when they're not looking down at their phones. Well, Lois, I happen to be a Muslim now, which means I'll be spending a lot of my time in mostly empty cafes watching soccer on an 8-inch black and white TV. Peter, this is my friend Omar. He can teach you many things about our faith, including how to ululate. What's that? It's this. Oh, my God, that's terrifying. I, I don't know if I'm ready for that. No, Peter, it's okay. Just sing the beginning of La Bamba, but don't say the La Bamba part. Oh, okay. La, 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 yes, good job. You're doing it. Bamba. Ooh, so close. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Mahmood. You know, I actually feel really bad for him. Do you know he knew 19 guys who died on 9-11? I mean, what are the odds? Peter, I think you joined a terrorist sleeper cell. I'm going to call Mahmood right now on this cell phone he gave me. He'll tell you. Damn phone's busted. I'll drive! <laughs> Okay, you're good to go. We'll go celebrate at the clam. That's a great idea. Yeah, I think we could all use a drink. Tell you what, let me call Horace and tell him to get our table ready. Peter, did you just... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Stupid name. And nobody likes you at school. You're going to be ugly when you grow up. And everything in your house is cheap. And it smells in here. Oh, hey, Brian. Bye. As a mom, I want my kids to start their day right. And there's no better way than with a glass of fresh squeezed Sunnydale orange juice. Isn't that right, sweetie? Shut your hole, bitch. I'll tell you what I want fresh squeezed. These. Ah! <laughs> oh, here's what I think of this orange juice. <clears throat> I, can't, I, can't, I can't go right now with everybody watching. But, but I presume you understand the disrespect I intended. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, cool shell. Hey, I was thinking of heading down the river. You want to go halvesies on a raft? Sure, but can you spot me? I've never been paid, ever. Yeah, I got it.
Okay, it says Armin is arriving with our raft right now. You, Huckleberry? All right, Lenny, this looks good. Now, the trick to getting off a moving train is waiting for the exact right... Ow! Phew. Well, I know why that railroad was called the B&O. It stands for Baltimore and Ohio! Whoa, calm down. No, mental defectives know a lot about trains! So glad you're here. I really need to pee. Go ahead, I'll handle the kids. No, you need to come with me. The toilets are all like one foot off the ground, so I need to hold on to your arm while I lower myself down. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Boy, you guys sure packed a lot of stuff. Yeah, well, we're gonna be gone a week. Me, I travel light. Just two shirts, two pairs of pants, and the machine that does the work of my large intestine. We brought a machine that gives Lois orgasms. What is in here? The soap, the little tray the soap was on, and the sink. We now return to CNN's continuing coverage of the rescue of Guy Fieri's toilet. What you're looking at is live footage from Guy Fieri's house, where this toilet's 12-year ordeal has just come to an end. Toilet, what was it like after he ate those dragon chili cheese fries? Look, I can't talk right now. I just need to get something solid in me for once. Whoa, Stewie, you're getting to be a big boy. I think somebody's going to be a football star. Oh, you. Oh, forgot your chart. Be right back. Whoa, Jason, you're getting to be a big boy. I think somebody's going to be a football star. Can't believe I fell for that line. I actually let myself believe I could be a doctor's wife. You're just fat, Stewie. Silly and fat. I'm not going to no Jewish school. Sitting around all day with a bunch of short, hairy guys, I'll feel like I'm on the forest moon of Endor. Didn't you... Didn't you make that joke the other day? Oh, yeah. No, I, I just... I wasn't sure if everybody had, um... Had heard. That truck's coming up on us awful fast. Holy crap! Do you see what I see? I'm afraid I do. We're being chased by ghosts! Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Your life could be worse. You could be a black... A black... Go ahead. A blanket. I'm just a stupid old blanket. What a lousy life this is. All right, you saved it. I had our wedding. Oh, you look beautiful. And he's a handsome fella, ain't he? Well, I am ready for my evening. Oh, my God, Peter, what the hell? Peter, what are you doing? Oh, surely, Jerome, you don't want to stay in the same house as a ghost who carries a torch around. Ooh, fire ghost. Oh, you scared yet? Didn't know this place was haunted, did you? Okay, nobody move. Oh, my God, those guys in first class have guns. Cleveland, just be happy with what you have. Don't envy people. Died not 30 minutes ago in the carriage on the way here. <laughs> Well, we all know how this goes. I'm doing it! Hey, Lois, I'd like you to meet our new friend... Jerome? Loose Lois? What? You guys know each other? Know each other? Peter, Jerome is an old boyfriend of mine. What? Oh, sorry I was out of it. Wait, are we being robbed? <laughs> My ass! Man, this trip is dangerous. Couldn't we have just taken a bus? <laughs> Black guy. Oh, a message from Joe. Hey, Cleveland, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Peter has a whip because, well, you know, given your racial heritage, it seems like something you might want to keep an eye out for. Grape soda, Graham. I know this is very risky, but the upside is so good, I'm taking it. Lois, to show I'm in touch with what it's like to be African-American, I am going to go to the middle of the town square, get naked, and paint myself brown. No, no, that's offensive. You can't pretend to be black. That's a stupid idea. What? It's a stupid idea! You're a stupid man! A stupid, stupid man! Oh, you're hurting me! Stop it! Stop it, Lois! No! I'm so sick of your crap! Why you always do these stupid things? And why do you always announce them to me before you do them? Are you trying to get a rise out of me? 9-11 changed everything, Brian. 9-11 changed everything. Peter, you didn't even know what 9-11 was until 2004. That's not true, Brian. I remember 9-11.
<laughs> Must have been a woman pilot, eh? Oh, damn. I say, I seem to have sewn a shoe to my hand. May I go to the nurse? Replace him! Ah! The pathway to enlightenment starts with an unfettered, focused mind. Look out! What are you doing? Oh. oh, I thought that dot on your head was from a sniper rifle. Do you think all those chickens had to buy tickets? I don't know, but I'm starving. What I wouldn't give right now for a big, juicy steak. How dare you? To us, cows are sacred. That's right. You are disrespecting our entire culture. And why did Wes Anderson come here to make his worst movie? Stewie, what do we do? Quick, hit the red buttons. <sighs> wow, that came in handy. Yeah. Now let's, let's get see out of here. Wieners look like. Yeah, yeah, no, let's get out of here. Peter, this spot is a sacred adornment. It's a portal. An opening through which all light, goodness, rejuvenation, joy, and ecstasy may enter the human form. A vagina? Get out! You know, it actually looks like the Native Americans have done all right for themselves. They do seem to have a lot of shops. And it looks like they have medical care as well. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I've done this several times today, and your husband just isn't responding. Well, have you tried this? Ma'am, this is a place of medicine. And their popular music is interesting. And here it is, the number one song for the 10,000th week in a row. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Hiya, 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 hiya. Ireland was a much different place before the discovery of alcohol. Most experts believe it was something like this. Gentlemen, today we Ireland's top scientists have found a way to convert our entire population to pure energy. Oh, oh, a glorious day. Oh, absolutely. Hey, Michael McLeod's just invented a new kind of beverage in his basement. Hmm, whiskey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> All right, here's one. So a horse walks into a bar, and the bartender says. Why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, screw you. Whoa! What the hell's your problem? You're my problem, dude. That joke is offensive. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm sorry that not everyone conforms to your preconceived notions of attractiveness. It's a joke, man. Oh, oh, yeah? Oh, it's a joke? How about this? Why are there so few black baseball players? Why? Because they're always stealing bases. Ha 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 ha! Whoa! Hey, now that is offensive. Yeah, what the hell, man? Hey, it's a joke, man. Yeah, but it's racist. Oh, the horse with a long face just told a racist joke, huh? Yeah, that's different. Oh, yeah? How's it different? Hey, why do you have so many drinks and you haven't touched any of them? Uh, hello, Einstein. Hooves. No freaking thumbs. Can't pick up a glass. Well, then why are you in a bar? Bite me, that's why, douchebag. Look, look, I think we all got off on the wrong foot here. Yeah, well, you got that right. We're sorry, okay? All right, me too. Look. I'm Mike, and this is Harry. Sarah Jessica Parker. This van has the latest in law enforcement technology. Watch. Suspect! Suspect! You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, let me try. Cleveland, don't! Minority suspect! Minority suspect! Danger! He's got a gun! Ah, dang it! Do you have any idea how fast you were going, sir? Peter? Hey, Cleveland, this is just so we can talk without getting spotted by Lois and Donna. I need you to step out of the car, sir. Peter, there's got to be a better way. He's got a knife! Ow, 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 ow. Sorry, Cleveland, it's got to be authentic. Stay down! Ow. Stay down! Ow. Cleveland, try to grab my gun. Oh, trying to grab my gun, are you? Ow. Ow. Hey, rookie, save some for me. Wow, the whole gang's back together. Just shut up! We don't need you in this town. Tell you what, let me call Horace and tell him to get our table ready. Peter, did you just... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, God, there's four. Please don't free the slaves. It's a bad idea. They'll try to get back at us, and that's our biggest fear. Allahu Akbar! Ugh, my allergies. And everything else. Just terrible. Choo, choo. All right, let's go. What should we leave for a tip?
The food and service were both great. Give him the full 3%. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Choo, cheep, choo. This is why I hate going outside. <laughs> that was hilarious. And again, the global community's inaction during the Holocaust was unforgivable. Hey, Dale. I noticed your lawn's getting a little high. Yeah, I used to have a guy for that. Dick. Okay, now, you have a good one. And this much tension when the slaves were freed. Uh, okay, so, uh, you're free to go. But we're cool, right? What? Say the word? Right now? Yeah, together. Ready? You bet. <gasps> you could have just quit the show. We're not the first people to be dragged off against our will. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? Damn it, I swear to God, I will turn this ship around. That works. Okay. Can we teach us a lesson? Yeah, that's even better. All right, if that's what you... Wait a minute! Now return to Damn Nature, You Scary on BET. Damn, that motherfucker run fast. You see that shit? That thing come by my house, I kill it. Was anybody gonna wake me up for the party? It's 6.30, I went down at noon. Now I'm gonna be up all night watching bad reality TV. We now return to Uber driver Ninja Warrior. First, he's got to swing on the gold chains across the cologne bath without dropping his e-cigarette. Next, he's got to pick up a rideshare customer. Now he's going to be late, but he's going to make it seem like the passenger's fault and not his. Where the hell have you been? I've been here, man. Maybe you press wrong button. I don't know. Now don't talk to me. I'm on four different phone calls. What's wrong with you? Why are you acting like such a bully? Because there are two kinds of people in this world, Chris. There are bullies and there are nerds. And there are hot Asian chicks. They'll do what you want. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You better believe it, buddy. They will do what you want. Because they know. They know what you want. Oh, 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 don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you. Me, big American man. My point being that I'm a bully, not a nerd. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Dad, get away from me! Uh -oh. Dad, Peter's fire, they're coming to get you! Peter's fire, they're coming to get you! Here comes Peter's fire, they're coming to get you! Oh, in the kitchen, Meg! Hey. Meg! What the hell are you doing in here? Shower time. Yeah, for me! Not, not for... What are you doing with that loofah? Don't worry about it. You told me not to worry about it! I should have been worried the whole time! Uh, 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 hold it, hold it. What, what, what's going on here? I'm pregnant. You, you're what? Yeah. We're in the middle of a thing here. Well, you didn't return any of my texts. So, what, what, so what's going on? You, you, you want like a, a ride to the place? Peter, what's going on? What's going on, Lois, is that this girl is obviously not well. And I have just learned that she's been stealing from the show and she should probably be escorted out of the building. Yeah, yeah, family guy! Yes, well, if they want to make me into a monster like those people, we'll give them a monster. Like when Godzilla attacked Haiti. Oh, my God. You're right, Lois. I shouldn't be bullying the people I care about. I should be bullying Randy Fulcher. He's the jerk in all this. Like Dick Cheney when he was a Walmart greeter. Go f*** yourself. Go f*** yourself. Go f*** yourself. You see, if our guests insist on bringing prostitutes into our B&B, we might as well provide the women, too. What? Stewie, we're not going to become pimps. Are you sure? I'm sure. The answer is no, so don't bother flashing a wad of money because there's no way I'm going to change my answer in the middle of this sentence. Okay, maybe we could try it out and see how it goes. Hey, what are you girls doing standing around? Get to work! <laughs> I'm telling you, that dog is very easily persuaded. Now let's see what's going on at the old high school. <laughs> Is that true, Dad? Yeah, truth is, I don't know nothing about this place. I don't even know why it's called Nepal. The mountains look like nipples. Well, you can't just call a country nipples. What about 
Nepal. Ooh, I like that. Ha, shocker. God gets it right. Ah, oh, I did it. I'm back. Oh, damn it. I left my chapstick in the past. Chapstick. With smooth lips, I will finally be able to be a mayor who kisses babies with confidence. Hey, cracked lips! You'll see! You'll all see! This is the worst day of my life. Oh, now there are plenty of people who have had worse days. Oh! A parking ticket! I was gone five minutes! Oh! How could this day get any worse? Oh. My. God. See, I told you, Stewie. You're a big, tough boy. Yes, I guess I am. That may be, Stewie, but if I were you, I'd stay off the field. Concussions are the number one problem in football today. Recent brain scan studies have shown... That brain injuries are directly linked to dementia and suicides in former players. Yet the league... You can play the music louder, but you can't silence the truth! I don't know, Joe. That's it. We're out of known diseases. Unless... Alright, what this is has no name, so you can't have it. <laughs> we got him. Halloween is fun. Anyway, they even want me to do one of Tina Fey's Look How Quirky and Busy I Am credit card commercials. Wow, really? Yeah. Oh, wait, I think it's starting. I hear a piano shuffle and a clarinet. Taxi! Where to? Any pet shop that sells snakes. Somebody puke in here? Yeah, last night some guy... Hey, it's you! Gotta go! Hi, can I help you? Can I press the button that moves to close? Sir, that's reserved for dry cleaners only. It's like a roller coaster ride for pants! Any calls? Your mistress called. She said she's waiting at the hotel for you. Now I'll be there as soon as I can. She said she's pregnant. Do you know if that Mexican doctor takes credit cards? He does. If you're scummy and on the go, try the new Visa Gold Card. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Ah, uh, Joe, thank you so much for inviting us to your barbecue. Well, it's my pleasure, Lois. Hey, can one of you other men come over here and comment on the meat while I'm cooking it? Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are looking good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, don't flip them too often now. You don't want to lose the juices. Yeah, yeah, coming along nicely. Oh, those are cooking just fine. Scoop that one up and put it back down in the exact same spot. All right, they're done. Time to eat. What the hell was that? I know, Cleveland, you ruined the whole podcast. Yeah, if I wanted to hear a black guy ramble like a lunatic, I'd watch Family Feud. Yeah, I mean, that was worse than an Italian guy describing someone's sexuality. Anyway, my brother Louie, he's, uh, he's a little off to the side, you know? Uh, foofy. Uh, up to the knuckle. He's a, he's a backwards mechanic. He likes to play in the dirt. You mean gay? No, oh, Mama! What on, Peter? Mama, Louie's not gay. He's, he's creative. What are you talking about? I'm a great driver. <laughs> Remember your trip to the Southwest? Beep, beep. Ah, oh, jeez, did I just hit that ostrich? No. Are you sure? Yeah, he's fine. Keep going. Okay, let's pick teams. I'll be a captain, and, uh, Mayor West, you can be a captain. All right, I pick you. You can't pick me. I'm a captain. No one had ever stood up to me like that before. I respected him from there on out. That's a great story, Grandpa. I didn't like it. None of my grandchildren had ever disliked one of my stories before. From then on, he was my favorite. Well, I don't like that story, Great Grandpa. Ah! Future old people are wizards. Yeah, we could really turn this place around. Play our cards right, it could be bigger than the Apollo Theater. 
All right, now, next up, we got the comedy stylings of Kim Lee Sung. Give it up. How you doing tonight? So you ever notice when two black guys come in your convenience store and one go one way and one go the other way? What they doing? What they stealing? Who with me? <laughs> you stay out my store. All you stay out my store. I remember you face. So it's weird being Japanese. Last night, my husband wanted 69. I said, why do you want beef and broccoli now? Hey, that's chai. They've got to be here somewhere. Where's my first lieutenant? Here I am, sir. Yes, sir. Right indeed. Here indeed. Yes, I am, sir. I want you to turn this settlement upside down until you find Lady Redbush and Griffin Peterson. That fat bastard thinks he can steal my bride and get away with it? I wouldn't bet a corn farthing on him escaping. No, I wouldn't. Not a corn farthing would I bet. No, sir. What's wrong with you? Little wrong in the head I am from eating some bad sausages. Yes, sir, bad sausages that I eat indeed, sir. Yes, I did some bad sausages, ain't I? Hello, Your Majesty. I have recovered the crown jewels. Mum, may I say it's been a pleasure serving you, but I've decided to retire. We are losing interest in this conversation. It would be a wonderful cap on my career to have a knighthood. Come, come now, Holmes. You're not... Sometimes the bigger ladies take a little longer, you see. What? you got to be kidding me. Well, that's all right, Brian. We can go to my writing spot. Brian, look at my jump! Look at my jump! Look at my jump! Whoa! This place has the best pizza and Pepsi, Brian. Did you hear me? The best pizza and Pepsi. Whoa! And now my pizza and Pepsi. Oh, hey, Peter. Come on in. Thanks for coming by. Oh, no problem, buddy. Here, I brought you something. I figured anyone living alone with 73 cats needs to have a double XL Minnie Mouse sweatshirt. Thank you so much. This won't fit at all. It's perfect. So how's it going? Well, not bad. Got plenty of company. Well, that's good. I haven't seen you at the clam. Well, I've been pretty busy. So can I get you something to drink? Sure. What do you got? Well, I've got water with cat hair in it. Eh, anything else? I've got lemonade with cat hair in it. Eh, kind of a summer drink. Anything else? Oh, sure. Cat hair ginger ale? Mm, nope. Cat hair iced tea? Eh, again, summer. You want to just take a look in the fridge, see what I got? Sure. Someone just had kittens in my mouth. Welcome, American Johnny. We give our only best room for you. Would you like smoking or chain smoking? Uh, smoking, I guess? Yes, and how many ridiculous things would you like your toilet to do? Do you have one that goes yum, 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 yum? Ah, presidential suite. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Sorry, Mort, I, I hate to do this. What? What's happening? They want me in the line. Well, where do I go? Oh. Okay, but I still get paid for today, right? I, I wouldn't know. You need to talk to Marla. Sorry. Ooh! You okay? What do you care? Laugh and cry. Please. That's exactly the point. My child. He's my child, and nothing matters more than his well-being. Oh, God, this is going to be a Lewis story, isn't it? Game of Thrones is on, just a reminder. Hey, dude, can you pass me a speck of spaz? Sorry, bruh, all out. You want a cube of fruish? No, I'm not into fruish. I got to tear a laser dragon. Can I handle that? I don't know. Can you? Gum, what the hell is going on? Well, it's a long shot, but so is the shouting Arab gram business. From Joan and Keith. Lois, I need $28,000. For what? I've decided I want to open a sushi restaurant. What do you know about sushi? I don't care about the sushi. I just want to yell at customers when they walk in the door. Irashaimase! Hajime Mashte! Here comes a black guy! This is everything about this clam. I love it. Ugh. I was just gonna, that's exactly. Hey, I, I remember, I remember, I remember when, I, I remember when, I remember when Quick Time here passed out in the, in the booth, this booth, and we did stuff to him that you do to ladies, and we, we promise we never tell you.
What? To the clown! Yo, you, what your hair looks stupid. All all the greatest, all the greatest moments of my life I spent right here in the, in this booth. Maggie's first word, Bart jumping that canyon, Mr. Plow, all the greatest moments of my life. Why is why is label guy trying to punch me? Punch you first, label guy. I gotta go pee. I don't. I wanna. Don't wanna get up. Joe, where's the, that thing? Where's the thing? Where's the catheter thing? No, it's mine. It's private. Hey, what happens if I blow in this end? No, it all explode. I'm gonna. You do it better than Bonnie. It takes a man to know what a man likes. Oh, hi, Bonnie. What's up? Hi, Lois. Um, I hate to bother you, but I'm going out of town for a few days to visit my father in the hospital. I was hoping that while I was gone, you could look in on Susie and Joe. And go have sex with Quagmire. Quagmire! Oh, shucks. You can't blame a guy for trying. Giggity, giggity, giggity! Hey, what's that in there? That's a sensory deprivation room that prepares our astronauts for the terrifying emptiness of space. Oh, cool. Hey, come on, Brian. Try it with me. Things got crazy so fast! You want to know what kind of person Glenn Quagmire is? You want to know what made me the person I am? Then put me on the stand! Lois, can I play Angry Birds on your phone? Okay, but only with the sound off. Fine, I'll just do it with my mouth. Oh, damn it! Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm deaf. Sorry, dude. Super deaf. You're done. So, what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a death dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. Sorry, but according to this map, you're not even part of these United States. Which would make you... A communist! Ah! Ah! Ow! Damn. Usually my malcontents are skinnier. Would you come back in a week when my fat malcontent trapdoor will be completed? I'm not coming back in a week or ever. I've had it with you, and I've had it with this whole damn government. Fine. I love this job more than I love taffy. And I'm a man who enjoys his taffy. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. 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 Hey, 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 what's up, party people? Ah, oh, what the hell are these things? Curtains or something? Boring! Holy smoke, it's crowded in here. Hey! There, ah, oh, that's terrific. That opens up the whole room. Peter, there you are. Where the hell have you been? I've been worried sick. Oh, so I had a few Red Bulls, drove to New York. What's a big deal? Hey, here's my little man. <laughs> hey, Meg, come here. Have a seat. Dad, what are you doing? Meg, I'm a redneck. Which means I am about to do something to you that you will not remember until you're 40. <coughs> Meg, come back here! I meant sex! Oh, hiya, Brian. All right, Peter, now I know your head is still a blank slate, but you gotta listen to me when I say... Wait, did you just call me Brian? Oh, yeah. You've got your memory back? Uh-huh. Happened yesterday on my way back from the grocery store. Hi, Peter. Hey! You just snubbed me in front of my own house. I thought we'd come to an understanding. Look, fella, I don't know who you are, and I don't want to. So why don't you just go back to your crabgrass? This happens to be fresh marathon sod. <coughs> oh, man, I just got my memory back. And as I recall, I don't really care for you. <coughs> Wait a minute, who are you? <coughs> hey, I know you. <coughs> What's your beef, stranger? <coughs> well, if it isn't my old nemesis. Previously on Family Guy. Dad's working for the Trump White House? Uh, hey, Stewie, can we do that again? Maybe a little more energy? Uh, no? I, I think we can use it. Oh, yay, that's awesome. Wow, Stewie, that was beautiful. Did you write that? No, but can you tell me who did? Log on now. All right, let's tally up those responses. Wow. You know who that is?
You know who Thornton Mellon... First of all, it was Henry David Thoreau. But do you know who Thornton Mellon is? That was Rodney Dangerfield's character in Back to School. You feel good about yourselves? Huh? This is why the other countries are beating us, you know. So, you know, you've got only yourself to blame next time you go to the vet and complain that that Indian doctor is too rough with your cat. Oh, which way the horse goes? Ah! Why is that guy laughing at me? And where is he? There was a time limit? Nobody told me that. Ah! Time for a good door, bad door. Wait, how bad is the bad door? Grandpa son, how bad was the bad door? Not too bad. But shortly afterwards, I was almost eaten alive by an escalator. The game is still going on? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you lose Jess! Ow, 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 ow. All right, Peter, it's time to master the game of chess. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. No, you will do it in the traditional Japanese way, on a wacky game show while a beautiful woman beats your scrotum with a reed. Ow! I don't know! We begin with a 100-meter dash for people afraid of yellow tape. It's anybody's race now, Tom. And it's Odai Mutombo of Kenya. All right, here's your Mike and Ikes with all the Ikes taken out. I hope you were careful, because I swear to God, if I find one Ike in there, I am going straight to Babs. It's fine, I double-checked. Here's your Mikes. What's next? Next, I want you to fly to France and tell French people that a good-looking, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. <clears throat> people of France! A good-looking, good depressed, depressed guy smoking a cigarette is not a movie. And your, your sirens, sirens sound like gay guys having a threesome. Well, this is where Meg was staying. Oh, I thought Paris would be a bit more picturesque. Instead, it's just traffic and some big guy using a jackhammer. But, monsieur, this is not a jackhammer. It is a Jacques hammer. Oh. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I have some death to defy. Wow, this is just like what happened with Matthew Broderick, except no one's dead. Hey, Joe. Good morning, Peter. I'm here to revoke your driver's license. What? Why? We got reckless driving, disturbing the peace, plus the driver of one of those other cars was a virgin whose hymen was busted by the airbag, so rape. Okay, well, I guess you can take my license. Of course, it's all the way up here. Peter, knock right it right off. Here, Give it to right me. Here. Give me the officer. damn license. Well, don't, don't you want it? This is yeah. in poor taste, yeah. Peter. You're starting yeah. to piss me well, off. You do You're is starting to piss right. me right. off! Ah! Some show. Lois, those men showed me the way to an identity I've been searching for my whole life. I am gonna do everything a redneck is supposed to do. Ugh, this is gonna be more painful to watch than when he ate half a fudgesicle in one bite. Oh boy, a fudgesicle! <laughs> what? Single-handedly? Officer Swanson, as thanks from a grateful city, please accept the Certificate of Merit. And with that, I hereby declare this hero cop open. Whoa, sweet bod. You lift, bro? I've heard all I need to hear to make a decision. If you ask me, neither of these beers is wholly original. They're both pale imitations of my favorite beer, Bud Rock. Oh! Ooh. But rendering a verdict is something I'm paid to ever, never do. Yeah. And I find in favor of Duff. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hello? Uh, hey, I'm, I'm in the wrong Springfield. Now, you guys don't know nothing about staying up late. I used to pull all-nighters when I worked for that lesbian carpet cleaning company. Lesbians have regular carpets, too, you pervs. When you're done with that, can you help me plug the hole in this dike? I'm kind of a jack of all trades. Hey, help me fix this gash. Somebody's been having scissor fights on this thing. Okay, all right, last one across the highway to Applebee's has to pay. You got across at the light! Shut up! What did you say? Oh, we doing this? 
We doing this? You're damn right we are. Watch out, I got guard on my side. I will f kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Epcot nailed Asia. <gasps> American Johnny. <laughs> Holy crap, Quagmire, you're famous here. It's American Johnny. American Johnny is back. I take a picture with the giant Samsung phone. Giant Samsung phone is also a tiny Kia car. <laughs> I got a story about a fat guy who's starving and bored. Look, Peter, if you're that hungry, go down to the dock and find Daddy and we'll get dinner started. You're not gonna get dinner started. She's gonna tell that sloppy old Spanish maid to do it. And she will, but only because she needs money to pay for medicine for her prematurely overweight son, Diabito. Mama, may I have cookie? No, Diabito. Roll back to kitchen. Oh. Pizza for Adam West. No! You gave me Canadian bacon instead of bacon? This misdeed cannot go unpunished. Pizza delivery man, prepare to meet your maker at the hands of my cat launcher. Hey, look! Somebody tried to break into the dirty movie store! Quick, grab as many as you can before someone sees us! Damn, I lost them! All right, cats, back in the bag. Come on, Fluffy. Come on, Mittens. Come on, Paul. What a ridiculous name for a cat! Paul! That's a person's name! A person's name! <laughs> oh, Paul. What's wrong with you? Why are you acting like such a bully? Because there are two kinds of people in this world, Chris. There are bullies and there are nerds. And there are hot Asian chicks. They'll do what you want. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You better believe it, buddy. They will do what you want. Because they know. They know what you want. Oh, 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 don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you. Me, big American man. My point being that I'm a bully, not a nerd. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Dad, get away from me! Uh -oh. Dad, Peter's fired, you're coming to get you! Peter's fired, you're coming to get you! Here comes Peter's fired, Peter's coming to get you! Oh, in the kitchen, Meg! All right, you guys like impressions? Here's that guy Bob from Bob's Burgers. Hi, I'm Bob from Bob's Burgers. How about that show, Archer? You watch that show, Archer? Here's that guy, Archer. Hi, I'm Archer from that show, Archer. Now, what if those guys met? Hey, Archer, it's Bob. Hey, Bob, it's Archer. Thank you. What is this? Oh, what was I worried about? Ah, 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 oh God! Ah, ah. He's bleeding, man! He's bleeding, and nobody's doing anything about it! I'll tell you what the news of the world is! We're in a lot of trouble! Well, I've still got to do a little work on it. What's it called? Susie. Wow, a song named after a girl. There aren't a million of those already. Name 20. Rosanna, Roxanne, Michelle, Allison, Sarah, Angie, Brandy, Mandy, Gloria, Cecilia, Maggie Mae, Jessica, Nancy, Barbara Ann, Billy Jean, Layla, Lola, Polly, Helena, Jenny from the Block. Name six more. Sherry, Laura, Wendy, Maria, Peggy Sue, Minnie the Moocher. Name five more. Tracy, Jean, Jane, Mary Ann, Eleanor Rigby. Go f*** yourself. Oh my god. I just drove. Dude, that was amazing. I can drive. Now I can do a slow cruise past my ex-girlfriend's apartment. 11.45 and the lights are on. Doing it with the lights on now, whore. Don't mind looking at his body. I love you so much. Killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew Mouse! Ha ha! 
Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. Under parody law, in order to use someone else's character in an unlicensed fashion, we have to provide something called commentary. The commentary here is that Mickey Mouse hates Jews. Now, let's see what else this new nanny has up her sleeve. Yeah, where's Peter? Oh, he went to get plastic surgery. He did? Yeah, Korea's the plastic surgery capital of the world. Nobody here thinks you look good unless you have big round eyes and a tiny little nose and chin. Hey, guys. Peter, are you all right? You know what? I feel good. I feel like I want to giggle behind my hand at a lot of things and hold but not eat a big ice cream cone. Oh, right, right, let's go. Oh, boy. Yep, there's the problem. Not drawn yet. Come on, guys. Really? Let's go. What the hell's going on up there? Come on, guys. This is trespassing, and it's against the law. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I tried that. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. Not overly affectionate. Everyone has fingernails and everyone wants cash. So send us all your fingernails and we'll send you some cash. Fingernails for cash.com. Fingernails for cash. Remember, it's just fingernails, so don't expect much cash. Fingernails for cash.com. Our service never fails. Just take the cash and don't ask why we want your fingernails. Because we might be building a fort with them. Fingernails for cash.com. You get the cash, we get to build a fort with your fingernails. Hey guys, how about a little TV? We can watch a baby thing together. Baby Einstein, Muppet Babies. Uh, what's CSI Babies? What's this? They can't solve this crime. They're just frightened babies. They don't even know it's a crime. They just know their parents aren't there. They're scared. Now I'm scared. Turn this off. Ah, that's not what I want. Ah, I'm going to go hide in my couch fort. Is CSI Babies over yet? Wow, Meg is going to the Olympics. Let's celebrate by burning our lips on vending machine hot chocolate. Ow. Ow. Mine has whipped cream, so I didn't get it on the first sip. Ow! Mr. Superman, no here. Uh, well, we're looking for a missing... I uh, no. Mi Mr. Superman, he, he no is here. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, can you just give him this flyer? I no. No. I have no money. Just take this flyer, and if you see this baby... No, no. Out of my way, Peter. Me and my new friends are gonna go surf gliding and try to somehow work a mountain bike in there. You've changed, Joe. Like I did when I went through puberty. Hey, you guys feel like playing some baseball? Excuse me, I'm gonna go masturbate. <laughs> all right, what better place to find God than the birthplace of all of Western civilization's great religions and one really mean one? I had a feeling this is what this place would be like. Oh, God, Why it's so hot out. Downtown. Who gets married I on a get off these bad feet? Ailments. Oh, look, Joe's feeding them pennies. Oh, oh? Somebody take a picture. I can't believe we didn't find God in Jerusalem. Well, we'll have to keep looking. Oh, here's our bus to the airport. <laughs> oh, wow, that was super loud. Hey, you know, we should drive up there and use that car to eat for free. That's a great idea. Let's go to Harvard. Oh, I don't know, you guys. We'll be as out of place there as a black guy in Sweden. Black and sipping. Yeah, black and sipping. Oh, oh, I want to do one. This is better than a spin class where the instructor is just two giant Swedish legs. Congratulations! 80% of success is just showing up. The other 20% is super loud five-year-old Coldplay songs. Yeah! Who's ready to puke at 5 a.m.? Yeah! Ah, this is great. Peter, where are you? I'm a spin class bicycle seat. <laughs> oh, no. 
the one middle-aged post-gastric bypass guy. He didn't clean these shorts from last class. Thanks for having us over. Yeah, it's a wonderful dinner. And on this beautiful new china, you guys have a lot of new stuff. Yeah, Lois has been splurging her ass off. Yeah, she has. You know, she bought me something yesterday, but uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I want you to guess. D just cl close your eyes. Oh! Oh! It's a soccer horn! I know what it is! Okay, you all remember the plan. We walk up wearing our Bill Cosby masks. Peter, that's President Obama. Oh, did I just do a racism? Well, I haven't seen Meg this happy since that bus broke down in front of our house. <gasps> Hi, can we use your phone? Holy crap, it's a children of the corn! All right, you guys like impressions? Here's that guy Bob from Bob's Burgers. Hi, I'm Bob from Bob's Burgers. How about that show Archer? You watch that show Archer? Here's that guy Archer. Hi, I'm Archer from that show Archer. Now, what if those guys met? Hey, Archer, it's Bob. Hey, Bob, it's Archer. Thank you. Oh, looks like somebody's hungry. All right. Dad? Are you gay? What? Are you gay, Dad? Oh, Glenn, I'm not gay. Just, just tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. Now calm down, you're ruining this ball. You know how much I love balls. All right, come on now, that's not helping. Son, you have my word, I am not gay. You promise? I promise. All right, I believe you. But I am a woman trapped in a man's body. And while I'm in Quahog, I plan to have a sex change operation. Oh, come on, just be gay. News and on the couch. Too late! Hey, careful, Quagmire. Don't, don't get too close to that thing. The hell, did I just get laid? Hey, if I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. <laughs> hey, you must be a parking ticket, because you got fine written all over you. <laughs> hey there, I don't want to come between you, or do I? <laughs> oh, that's awful. That's awful. This house. Yeah, you're overreacting, Lois. And you can't spell overreacting without ovary, because you're a girl. I'm not overreacting. Hey, uh, just an FYI, uh, really no reason to go into any greater detail than this. Uh, Stewie should probably never use this pacifier again. Okay, so I'll talk to him tomorrow? <laughs> Great to see you back in your element tonight, surrounded by semen. <laughs> semen. See, Quagmire, I told you he's gay. Shut up, Peter. Hey, you Dan's boy? That's right. Your dad was very brave back in Southeast Asia. He flew supplies in where others wouldn't dare to go. I can't tell you how many loads your dad took when I served with him. Huh? I choke myself every day, you bastard. I don't know, fellas. I think there's potential in this crowd. <laughs> hey, honey, why don't you turn around and show me the Lower East Side? <laughs> sure. Whoa, transvestite, back off. Wait a sec, pre-op or post-op? Pre-op. Whoa, transvestite, back off. To the drunken clam, boys, where they don't ask for proof of age and neither do I. Quagmire, you forgot to say, oh. Are you sure? Well, I, th I think I did. All right, well, just be safe. Oh! So, do you guys just not do the anal probe anymore? Is that... No, nah, that's more or less been retired. I see, I see. D do you still have the thing? Who else but Quagmire? He's Quagmire, Quagmire. You never really know what's on it next. He's Quagmire, Quagmire. Let's have sex. Let us forever remember this beautiful young woman, taken from us in the bloom of youth yet as unspoiled as when she was born. Oh, that was great. Thanks. I know you have a choice in airport sex, and I appreciate your choosing Quagmire. 
Please exercise caution when standing up, as the contents of your vagina may have shifted during coitus. All right, I got a plane to catch. Say, which gate is flight 209? 209? That flight left half an hour ago. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! That plane's going down! My friends are on that plane! They're all gonna die! What? Oh, no! And that's not the worst part. Here's the condom I said I put on. <gasps> Aren't I just the worst? Now that we've learned the basics, this may be kind of messed up, but am I the only one getting a boner right now? Is there anything that doesn't give you a boner, Glenn? People who use the word rubbish when they mean garbage. Really? Yep, not even a wiggle down there. Your shows will appear on my playlist. May I help you? Yes, 1950s doctor. Me and my friends are looking for... Your friends with a Negro and a cripple? This man is insane. Take him away. Ah! Now, wait a second. You can't do that to him. A Negro speaking up to a white person? This man is insane. <laughs> now, look, I don't think... All cripples are insane. Euthanize this man. <laughs> Something I can help you with? Yeah, you got any brain-dead women in there you let people have sex with for a few bucks? Sure, come on back. Are you ready to enjoy the full range of exciting DirecTV programming options? And remember, for answers to any questions you may have, you can consult the on-screen help menu, or 24-hour online assistance is available at www.directtv.com forward slash help. So sit back and enjoy DirecTV. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to the DirecTV help channel. Your destination for getting started with your new DirecTV system. Fuck, 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 fuck! Aha! Look, Brian! This trail of used tissues should lead us right to Mort. Or to Quagmire. <laughs> Ew, he's gross. Welcome to the inner vault. Penile identification required. Let me handle this. That's amazing! How the hell did you match it? Oh, I didn't match the shape. I just stuck it in there and broke it. Glenn, thank you so much for helping me tear up my carpet. Well, you know, Lois, I, I gotta confess, uh, when you called me, I sort of misunderstood what you were asking for. That's why I rushed over, but, uh, it's, well, well you know, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. I'm, I'm happy to help. What the hell is this? Peter, I've had it with all your shocking. Uh, since you won't get rid of those pajamas, I'm getting rid of the carpets. Hey, uh, Lois, you want me to leave a little strip in this thing? Maybe a lightning bolt, unicorn, something like that? No, I want it all gone, Glenn. All right, we're going Brazilian. He's clean. Well, looks like that's it, except for the flight crew. Hey, hey Brian, what's with the Johnny Law routine? Say hello to our newest narc. He's a natural. Oh, yeah? How, how good are you? You're back from Manila. You had lumpia for dinner. Then you made love to two Filipino women. And a man. You mean three Filipino women? No! Hey, guys. Well, it's been great to meet you all, and I'm looking forward to getting to know you while we're here. <sighs> Dude, put your pants on! Shut up! Glenn, I wouldn't miss this night for the world. Everyone here admires your dad. He'd walk into an army barracks and make every private there feel important. Yeah, he just knew how to stroke those privates. Oh, God. Your dad was cock of the walk, Glenn. Every day at rifle training, he'd help me clean my butt. Your dad once drank me under the table. If there was one man you wanted in your hole, it was your dad. Your dad had the best penis in the military. Okay, just stop! Stop! Everybody stop! Oh, wow, I can't even imagine what twisted deviant act you've thought of this time. I want you to have sex with your father. What? Yep, and I'm gonna watch. Hi, Glenn. Are you crazy? No! No way! Glenn, remember, the thing we love most about each other is that we push each other way beyond our normal boundaries. Did you enjoy your stay at the Marriott? No, I did not. Peter, what the hell? My car! We we buy 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 oh, damn it! Hey, hey, come back! Hey, go back! Hey, come 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 back! Hey, listen, I, I really want to thank you guys for taking me in in my time of need. Oh, forget it, Quagmire. It's the least we could do after what happened. H Hello? Oh, you must have a wrong number. There's no one here by the name of Long Rod Von Hugendong. Oh, sorry, Quagmire. How the hell am I supposed to get to the airport? I gotta fly a plane in 20 minutes. Oh, I can drive you. I got a pickup truck, see? Well, come on! <laughs> Quagmire, I am so sorry. Don't worry about it. We can go after them. Don't worry about it. They're tagged. They're tagged. Just get me to the airport. We're going too fast. 
Yes, we're gonna crash into that lake! Oh, no, we're not! Ah! Oh, yeah, right there. That's good. And now to discharge the plane's fire retardant. Giggity. Yeah, Brooke, what do you say we get you some more champagne? Sure. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, hey, <laughs> forgot about you guys. <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess your date's over. <laughs> Good night, Brooke. Thanks for a lovely evening. <sighs> Hi, Glenn. Uh, hey, will you sign a petition to overturn Mayor West's ban on gay marriage? Gay marriage? Ah, oh, come on. Two halves can't make a hole without a hole. Giggity, 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 giggity. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Glenn, would you feed Mittens? Mittens has food in his bowl. That's old food. Mittens, shut up. Mittens, shut up! Don't you talk to Mittens that way! Mittens is a member of this family! Mom, you want this three-way to happen, you're gonna have to change your tone. Now, Meg, in order to get you into fighting shape, I want you to drink this glass of raw eggs. I don't see any yolks. Just drink it. All right, Meg, remember what I taught you. Relax my throat and make eye contact? No, no, the fighting stuff. Package for Glenn Quagmire? Oh, uh, excuse me. Nice try, but I built up an immunity. Nice figure eight, Mom. <laughs> All right. Oh, hello. Ow! That feels great. There's a naked lady squatting over a cake in your kitchen. She'll wait. She she knows to wait. Would you just sit down and go to the bathroom already? Okay, kids, I know how you always wanted kittens, so guess what I brought home? This very pregnant, about-to-burst, distended nipple street cat. Peter, you can't bring home a feral cat. She doesn't want to be around people right now. She needs a quiet space to have her kittens. Yeah, so everyone gather around close. Her name is Sophie, and she's fully dilated. <coughs> Trish, she doesn't like that. But I understand the instinct. Now, we all need to do our part to help with the birth. Meg, boil some water. Brian, get some clean rags. Chris, blankets. Dewey, band-aids for me. Isn't it nice that we're spending this time together as a family? Let's go spend it in the ER. You and Dad were right. I'm not smart enough to be here. Can you come get me, please, Mom? Okay, honey, of course we will. Hang on, I got another call. Hello? Lois, I'm at the gym. I hate it here. I want to come home. Everybody's so mean, and there's this one guy who follows me around and calls me fat. Well, I suppose I... Hang on, honey, I'm getting another call. H hello Hey, is fat ass home yet? Put him on, I want to talk to him. You can't imagine how it feels to have your heart broken so many times. Aunt Carol, Mom says you'd make a great Florida whore. What does that mean? <laughs> Oh, well, oh, Chris, I, I said that about Kate Hudson. You know, I always thought I'd be a good Florida whore. Thanks to you, my hair stays like this when we stop. Look, Dad, this isn't going to be a cakewalk, all right? I'm your supervisor. Meg, Meg, I promise I'll do better at this job than I did on the SATs. Come on. Do math. Yeah, Lois is right. As bad as you look, the damage you've done to your heart and your lungs is no doubt exponentially worse. What? Well, try cutting to the outside of the house over some music. That usually works. I'll tell you what you should do with it. Absolutely nothing. That's the problem with this world. Too many people go overboard with what they believe. 
Like Quagmire when he thought he was the one getting the spinoff. See you later, bitches. Have fun with your stupid giant chicken jokes in your Conway Twitter. Hey, why is there a moving truck outside Cleveland's house? Okay, look, Dad is really easy. All you have to do is sit on his lap, give him a big kiss on the cheek, look him right in the eye, and he's butter. Uh, what the hell? Yeah, the scouts are no fun, and I Oh, wait a minute. Chris, I am going to stand up, walk out of this room, and we will never speak of this again. Oh. How would I even ask her? Oh, it's easy. You and I will just make a video about how sad you are and put it online. She's very interactive with all her fans. I guess it's worth a shot. Of course it is. If she says yes, you'll surprise everyone, just like you did on New Year's Eve. Three, two, one! Some animals give me boners! And now, ladies and gentlemen, Sumo Tonight, brought to you by Asian Tricks. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. You share. <laughs> Jeez, it's like he thinks I'm gonna shoot him. He's acting all crazy, like Quagmire when he drunk dials me. Hello. Hey, what what are you what are you doing? Quagmire, I'm sleeping. Yeah, I was just out with Joe. What what are you, what are you doing? I just told you. Oh, that's right. I just I I just asked that. I forgot. Hey, hey, this song ma made me think of you. So li wait, listen to this song. Isn't that awesome? You said you weren't going to call him. It's not him, you big bully. Joe, Joe told me not to call you. So, so what, so what are you doing? <sighs> All right, Chris, this is one of the oldest hobbies in existence. Drinking. Hey, hey, good times. Just walked in. Hey, oh, hey, he can't be in here. He's not 21. All right, just hang out here for a little bit, huh? All right, I'll see you later, gang. Gang, Chris, what are you doing here? This are supposed to be a camp. What am I paying for? God, I could have gone pro if it wasn't for my bum knee. Ugh, just what we need, another girl. You said it. Wow, I'd like to play doctor with her and, and remove her inflamed appendix before it bursts, causing sepsis. Giggity, giggity, giggity. All right, sir, sir, ma'am, I just need you to tell me clearly and calmly what happened, one at a time, please. This all gets a stubby little fingers into my wallet, that's larceny! No freaking way! Guys, I told you to wait in the car. Domestic abuse is a very delicate matter. Yo, this isn't domestic abuse. This is hilarious. And another thing, I'm tired of massaging your foot knuckles. You call that a massage with your baby carrot fingers? Go to hell! Come here! Get over here! Ah, get your face! Get your dicker! You out. keep him away from me! Oh, you ah, gotta get it down! Ah, you little bitch! Get him! 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 Get Oh, quick, Quagmire, give me your iPod. Got him. Oh, they got tuckered out. Of course they did. They ran like two miles for them. Hey, Chris, where's your father? He's still trying to get that rope away from Brian. Oh, he's got to give up that obsession. I don't like what it's doing to him. Precious. Once a precious rope. Peter, enough with the rope. Also, once ice cream. No, Peter, it's too close to dinner time. Get ice cream anyway. Don't you dare. <sighs> All right, but I'll be back in a moment. There's another movie thing. I am Johnny Five. Need input. Input is ice cream. I need ice cream. Did I say I'm Johnny Five yet? You didn't go to work today, did you? But from now on, I'm going to be a better father and grandfather. We're going to spend real time together. Really? Oh, that'd be wonderful. I haven't been this happy since I went on safari. Oh my god, this is so much faster than Firefox. <laughs> All right, let me go to Facebook. F A. It's auto-filling, fat butt rodeo. Peter!
you were supposed to stay on Firefox. You know what? I I'm, I'm going to invite a few of these fellas over for a party. See, Lois, I told you we had allies. Hey, Slobodan, you made it. I didn't know what to bring, so I made coleslaw. It's made out of people. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, is Momar here yet? Nice going, Joe. Well, it's great being back in the north, where people are civilized. Hey, what are you guys all on a date? Gay! People, please, first things first. Is there anyone here for the couch off of Craigslist? I am. Oh, good. Come on in. That is the picture from Craigslist. No way it is. It is. No way it is. All right, what do the rest of you want? We want the city government shut down. Yeah! Oh, I see. And all of you feel the same way? Yes! No! Yes! Well, I'm nothing if not a public servant. And the public has made its feelings known. I hereby declare Quahog City government disbanded. It has been my pleasure to serve you. And now, I take my leave. This column is mine. I brought it from home. All right, Peter, I'm leaving. Bonnie invited me to the shooting range. What? Yeah, Bonnie says she goes every week. <laughs> I think next time you should bring someone else. Peter, you joined the tea party? That's right, Brian. I finally got something better to do with my Saturdays than sit at the mall and watch Japanese girls laugh at normal conversation. So I drove to work this morning? <laughs> and I had to stop for coffee? <laughs> so there's a Starbucks near my house? <laughs> you people are a circus. No, Connie. Beating up that Jewish kid made me popular. Come on, girls, let's go upstairs and make out. <laughs> oh, no, Connie's been hurt. I guess I should lie on top of her to keep her warm. What are you looking at? It's a cartoon. What, am I expected to put myself to bed? Is no one taking care of me? Ugh, he's a worse dad than a rich New York City investment banker. Hi, Daddy. At school today, they picked one kid to... Millie, it's in here again. Me sorry, Mr. Sir. Get out the room, dim dear, you butter, your father. Him unhappy, him had you in the first place. Now, come on, I'll let you rub some lotion on me elbows. Oh, my muffins are ready. You made muffins? Well, it wasn't the muffin fairy. Oh, was it? <laughs> Go ahead, try it. Peter. Try it. Dad, I think Mom's right. Maybe you should go back to that doctor. Well, now, wait a minute, Meg. Let's not be too hasty. These are delicious. What's the secret ingredient? Spoojizicum. Oh, <coughs> Ew. What? Oh, oh, you, oh, you thought, no, 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 no. Spoojizicum. It's a sugar substitute from the Czech Republic. That's right, Spoojizicum. Drovost njožni. Oh my god, I can't believe I stole this. You know what? I don't feel bad. That woman's a nightmare. <gasps> Ooh, I should text this to my best friend. Sick brooch. Adam, are you done with that mayor homework yet? It's called a bill, Mom. Oh, I think we got to the root of the problem, didn't we, Lois? Absolutely. All right, let's dope her up good. Turn that mouth off. No, Peter, the problem is you. What? What the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be my friend. Dr. Brown, I just killed nine people. Ah, uh, I mean, I have ducks on my feet. Old crazy harmless mayor. Quack, quack. Apparently, the Greeks have a bunch of different gods. Athena is the goddess of wisdom. Poseidon is the god of the sea. And I am Kronos, the god of time. Oh, cool. What do you do? I tell the time and make gift baskets. So, are you also the god of gift baskets? I don't know. You tell me. Rosewood mango candle? Kronos! I know, I know. It's 4.30, by the way. The people of Troy's chocolate has gotten into our peanut butter. The people of Greece's peanut butter has gotten all over our chocolate. 
We could perhaps try the combined taste, or we could fight to the death! <gasps> Guys, stop! The Battle of the Greases Peanut Butter Cup has gone on too long. Let us agree to disagree! Huh. What a pleasantly de-escalating phrase that I'm just now hearing for the first time. Yes, we will agree to disagree. The war between the Greeks and the Trojans is over! Yeah! To Greece! Now, let's go call a bunch of jagged rocks a beach. <laughs> Bye, Patty. Bye, Esther. Bye, overzealous Asian kids lining up to be the first ones in school tomorrow. Ah, go away. No time to say bye. <laughs> I pass you because you lose focus. Damn, lost focus. Life over. <laughs> Lois, you know I love you like a brother, but I'm not doing that. I'd only get in an awkward campfire crackle argument with a counselor. Jesus has love for everyone. Uh, actually, what Jesus has is the might of Western civilization. Jesus has guns, germs, and steel. Sorry, the wood is very wet. Uh, actually, the wood is very dry. Wet wood hisses, dry wood crackles during uncomfortable silence. I like cutaways where I get to be smart. Yeah, and I served honorably as a UN interpreter. Okay, he's mad about something. He appears to be talking really fast. He spits whenever he makes the ch noise, which in this language happens a lot. I'm expected to entertain him and his wife tonight, so if anyone knows a good restaurant in the area, sushi or tapas, something where they're always bringing stuff to the table so you have something to talk about, you know? Hey, what's this? This looks good. That's it. War! Oh, war! War! That last sentence was about war! Jeez, that's all my life is lately. Just a bunch of chores. I'm sick of Lois always making me do stupid stuff. I know what you're saying, Peter. Bonnie's always making me do all these impossible household tasks. Joe, make sure you get all the tire tracks out of the carpet. Live with it, Bonnie! There are tracks! People make tracks! Screw off. I don't want anything to do with you or your damn laws. Oh, just take a look, will you? <sighs> You're banning straight to video Disney films? Absolutely! I mean, look at this Aladdin 4. Jafar may need glasses. Number one. Number two. Um. Number one. Number two. Um. About the same. Number one might be a tiny bit better. Number three. Number four. Number three. Five. And six. Uh. Five. And six. Uh. About the same? Yeah, they're pretty much... Can I see five one more time? Five. And six. Yeah, they're about the same. Okay, you all remember the plan. We walk up wearing our Bill Cosby masks. Peter, that's President Obama. Oh, did I just do a racism? Sorry, but according to this map, you're not even part of these United States. Which would make you... A communist! Ah! 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 Ow! Damn! Usually my malcontents are skinnier. Would you come back in a week when my fat malcontent trapdoor will be completed? I'm not coming back in a week or ever. I've had it with you, and I've had it with this whole damn government. Fine. I love this job more than I love taffy. And I'm a man who enjoys his taffy. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. 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 Peter, what the hell's the matter with you? Honey, you know, if there's something wrong, you can tell me. Hey, yeah, uh, sorry, man. Am I late? What'd I miss? Oh, thank God you're here. What do I do? Tell him to keep lying. He's in too deep. Uh, I don't know. Hey, where's the other guy? God, is it unbelievable? Apparently, the Greeks have a bunch of different gods. Athena's the goddess of wisdom. Poseidon is the god of the sea. And I am Kronos, the god of time. Oh, cool. What do you do? I tell the time and make gift baskets. 
So are you also the god of gift baskets? I don't know. You tell me. Rosewood mango candle chronos. I know, I know. It's 4.30, by the way. I am packing my bags and I'm out of here. You're getting divorced? No, I'm just leaving for a few days and ruining the Christmas. You're ruining Christmas by suing the city over holiday decorations? No, I'm just leaving my family for the holidays. You do eat deaf jokes? No, no one's doing deaf jokes. Well, I can't hear, so I don't know. See, not do eat them. What? I don't know. I think we... I think I think we are doing deaf jokes at this point. Oh, hey, Stewie. Hey, sometimes when daddies drive home drunk, they come from far away places, but it's okay because they didn't get arrested and they're still kind of drunk, so they, they think it's okay. You should know that Mom has emotionally let you go. It won't be long before she takes a lover. Oh, my head. She already has two cell phones. Oh, my God, I, I married a hooker? Married? All right, bachelor party. Come on, back to Boston. Oh, oh, damn it. I guess we're not going. Hey, Stewie, here's five bucks. Get naked. Chris, Stewie. Oh, my God. All right, don't freak out, Peter. Don't freak out like you did when your goldfish died. Here you go, Lieutenant Shiny Sides. It's okay. You don't have to eat it now. You're just sleeping. You'll eat it later. You'll eat it later, Lieutenant Shiny Sides. Ah! I got it. Ah, says Glenn Quagmire. But if you squint and imagine it says Peter Griffin, it says Peter Griffin. Peter, it's Quagmire's. Take it next door. Now, now, hold on, Lois. Now, this poses a very difficult ethical dilemma. Do I deliver the package to its rightful owner, or do I open it up and see if it contains He-Mans? Do not open that box. You know, Lois, physicists believe there are two alternate universes, one in which I don't open the box, and one in which I do. I'm not going to open the box. I'm going to open the box. Ah, oh, sweet, it's a whip! Peter, be careful with that thing. Remember, we're renting this house. That's depressing. Wow. I haven't felt this powerful since I got to decide which ant lives and which ant dies. You shall battle to the death, and the winner will be given his freedom. Why are you looking at me like that? Peter, would you like a glass of... Oh, my God! I told you not to play God with those ants! Well, I'm glad you get to go out in public again, Brian. Well, I'm glad you, Chris, and Meg are back from that Christian camp. Hey, where is Meg, anyway? Oh, she was so mad I dragged her to Christian camp, she ran away to live with a Japanese family. <laughs> Family Guy over on the Foxy. There you are. Peter, I caught Stewie smoking. That cigarette company is evil. We can't be a part of this anymore. Always, this is the best job I ever had. Hey, since I became president, profits have been higher than Alyssa Milano. <laughs> what kind of cheap shot, Joel? I'm suing, I'm suing, I'm on it, I'm on it. Di giorno. Di giorno. Gio paterno. Di giorno. Damn it, Peter. Being Susie's godfather doesn't mean you're in the mob. And you can't bring a cat to church. Why not? He's Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> he does a muttly laugh. You think you're up to it? Of course. I just have to apply myself. Like Chris when he worked at that casino. No more bets. The money that could have gone to your kids is gone. No more bets. The money you worked hard for is gone. Fools, fools, fools. Ooh, double zero. Nobody thinks about that one. And guy walks quickly away from table without a word replaced by an older white man with a much younger black woman. No more bets. No more bets. Remember those sweet, warm New England summers? Remember sipping lemonade underneath a shady tree? Remember when you hit that pedestrian with your car at the crosswalk and then just drove away? Pepperidge Farm remembers. But Pepperidge Farm ain't just going to keep it to Pepperidge Farm sell free of charge. Maybe you go out and buy yourself some of these distinctive Milano cookies. Maybe this whole thing just disappears. <sighs> what was going on in here? The windows are steamed up like when Subway's making the bread. Hey, what's going on in here? We're making the bread, sir. Good. Now get back to making sandwiches with the shiniest turkey on earth. Subway, have it your way, if your way is very wet. Brian's getting old. 
He's not the dog he used to be, and I'll have to get used to it, just like I got used to my acrylic nails. Scanyon, Weinstock, and Reisman. Hey, LaRonda. Now, I got four people on hold, but I can't talk. And this is a 74 Pinot Noir. Mmm, lovely. Carter, did you tell your son-in-law he's not supposed to swallow the wine? Hey, hey, where, where the hell is that Peter Griffin? He said he'd give me $100 if I took off all my clothes off. Come on, Brian, you ready to go home? Uh, no, Peter, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna meet Jenny's cats. What are you talking about? You hate cats. I'm going to meet her cats. Jeez, I'm right, okay, all right. You don't have to get all cat, hey, hey, cat dog, right? You're a cat dog. You cat dog, cat dog. Life when it's when it's not a cat dog. Hey, where's it? Where, you know, where's all the poop go? When a cat, when a, in a, in the cat dog, when the cat poops, do, what does it come out of the dog's mouth? And, and vice versa. Oh God. Oh, that's that's some kind of living hell. That's some that's some kind of living hell, Brian. Okay, I gotta go. Yeah, you have a good time with Jenny. Oh, yes, that's right. We were four pillows to the breeze, my friend. I don't know what the phrase is, but what, what, are, you, what are you reading? David Copperfield. Looks old. It's a first edition. That's why I keep it in my safety deposit box. It's by Charles Dickens. Ha! Giggity. Wagmire, what, what, what are you doing here? You don't have kids. <laughs> don't be so sure, Brian. I've slept with chicks all over the world. Who knows? I could have kids in their 20s. ¿Dónde demonios estabas? Es más de la una y media de la mañana. Eso no significa que no Giggity puede vivir. Maldita sea, Giggity. A veces me pones furiosa. No puedo hablar contigo, Giggity, cuando te pones así. Me voy a ver los toros, Giggity, Giggity, Giggity. And I'm still a young woman, Peter. 82 is the new 74. I'm putting my fine ass back on the market. Boy, this is really going to upset my evil brother Thaddeus. Yeah, this will surely affect my inheritance. Yeah. Peter, what are you doing? I'm running away. Why? Because you took away my brother. You ruined my life. Adam and I were going to be brothers forever, and now he's gone. All you got there is toys and cans of tuna fish. Well, I gotta eat, and I gotta have fun. Peter, you're just acting out. No, I'm not. I'm acting in. Okay, now you're just saying the opposite of what I say. No, I'm not. I'm saying the same as what you say. Peter! Lois! God. Allah. Lois, I was watching that. What you, what you looking at? The underpants. Lose them. A actually, I, I kind of, I sort of have a headache, kind of. See, you know, maybe tomorrow or... Uh... Take them off. Yeah, okay, okay honey. Hotel maid wanted. Ah, oh, sweet, I could do that. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Come back later, please. Housekeeping? Not now. Housekeeping? Go away. I come in anyway? No, go away. I come in anyway. Oh my god! I said no! Okay, I clean? No, get out of here! I clean now? No! I stay and watch? No! I get involved? What? I get involved with lady? What do you think? Turn around. I don't think so. Okay, you lend me money? No. You drive my grandmother to doctor's appointment? No, no, I'm not doing that. I stick finger in your mouth? Housekeeping? Okay. Okay. Peter, I want you to meet your family. Your... my family? That's right. These are your children. Dad, I'm Chris. I I'm your son. Never seen you before in my life. Wow, then I must be invisible! Hey, everybody, I'm invisible! Oh, no, you're not. Hot diggity. Ah, uh, crap, it's busted. And I bet it's completely traumatized. I wasn't traumatized, actually. It was planned. Part of the games we play. I've been a bad drone. Okay, Meg or Susie? Susie. Susie. Yeah, me too, Susie. You got a hot baby. Well, we all got anger, Chris. The important thing is finding a healthy way to channel it. For me, it's giving fiery halftime speeches at girls' field hockey games. Now, I don't know much about your sport, 
But I do know that when the first gross and stocky women picked up these flat sticks and started beating each other in the shins, they had a dream that was field hockey. Where's Coach Bradley? She drowned in another woman's vagina. It took courage for Brian to stand alone, and I respect that. I've often stood alone, in dark corners, or behind a dresser, or a box of toys. All right, you two, calm down before someone gets hurt. Too late! You all owe me money! Wow! You know, it's really cool to have another girl my age in the neighborhood! Shut up, Meg. She knows my name! Little heads up about the neighbor, Quagmire. That guy'll have sex with anything. So, you know, tape up your fish holes. Thanks for the tip. Do you pee in that water and then swim in it? Yeah. You're all right. If you had my boobs and I saw you from behind, I would think you were hot. Thanks. And now is when you say the same to me. Wait a minute. Francine? From the Depeche Mode Tour, 1984? Oh my god, Lois? You two know each other? <laughs> no, we don't know each other. You've ruined me for all men. Dad, why can't we all go? Well, Chris, in a twist of bad scheduling, today is the day I'm having 400 pounds of beef delivered to the house. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, they kill it in front of you. <laughs> there you go. Now, as my patient, you may experience romantic feelings toward me. I want to assure you that's normal. Go to hell, Peter! You messed up my legs! Jeez, what's going on at home, Quagmire? Okay, all right, good job. Now, why don't you choose a song to sing? <laughs> ah, Katy Perry. Cleveland? Sorry, Lois. Things have been tough since they moved us to 730. Safe! Safe? What the hell? He was out, you moron! Quagmire, calm down. It's just a game. Oh, yeah, no, 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 you're right. Just a game. Just a game, right? Who cares about our Saturday afternoons, right? Who cares that I leave work every Thursday at 4.30 so I can lug 17 bats to practice? Yeah, let's just make everyone safe. Let's make everyone safe. Hey. Wait, see what he just did there? That should be the sport, not baseball. Base throw. That's a really good idea. Hey, check out the gals over there showing their wrists. Now I know what I'm going to masturbate to next month when I take my small wooden bath. We interrupt this program for a Channel 5 breaking news report. Three local men have barricaded themselves in a Quahog bar and are currently in a standoff with authorities. We now go to exclusive footage caught by Channel 5's new unmanned drone. What the fuck? Well, that was $800,000. This is our bar. It's the cornerstone of our friendship. Dad, why are you watching me in the shower? Hey, Joe, uh, could you talk to someone about getting me back on the show? Hello, I'm Helen Dugan. I've brought a few items that my husband wished to be buried with. His prized bucket of squid. His favorite lit cigar. His favorite food, piping hot cheese fondue around his neck. Ow! And, of course, the live badgers he bred for hostility and jaw strength. Oh, how he tormented these beasts. Rest, Edgar. Rest for eternity. The cheese is subduing the badgers, and the cigar killed the squid. I'm okay! The TV's gone, and they took the stereo, and they broke the vase that Meg gave me. <gasps> oh, God, my big envelope full of ticket stubs of shows that I've been to. Well, that's just great. Have I been to Kenny Loggins? Yes. Can I prove it? No. Peter, this farm looks like it's in pretty bad shape. Nonsense, Lois. This is good ground. Good ground, Lois. Very good ground. God, yes, you are some good ground, aren't you? Yeah, you like that, don't you, you slut ground? Anyone else keep stepping on teeth? Are you suggesting we start dealing drugs? Look, this family's going broke. 
And besides, Malcolm in the Middle's dad sold a ton of meth, and they just keep giving him awards for it. We now return to buying shirts with the guys from the World Series of Poker. Excuse me, does this shirt go with anything? No, it does not. I'll take it. Oh, I, I thought you were going with that girl you've been dating. No, she actually turned me down. I am sorry, Brian. I am unavailable to travel to Las Vegas, Nevada. You should ask Stewie. He is great and has many muscles. Are you okay, Tina? You look different, and you're acting kind of strange. I am fine. We should take home some cheesecake to Stewie as a reward for bravery and handsomeness. He is not fat. I didn't realize how far that awful hotel is from the Strip. Me either. Hey, tonight can I get the bed without the Hispanic kid in it? He kicks and stabs all night. Ah, look! Duke just scored again! We might just win this. I see there's only one white player on each team. Is that the leader? Yeah! Yeah, Vegas, baby! Uh, would you shut up already? Yeah, we know where we are! Jeez, act like you've been here before, jackasses. Hey, Lois, have you seen Peter? Oh, he'll be home any minute. He was hired as a backup musician for the new Kesha album. How'd it go? Uh, not well. Not well, Lois. I sprayed diarrhea in her face. That's terrible! Yeah, and she liked it. She even took out a Tupperware and saved some for later. Oh my god, she's disgusting! Yeah, that tiny little duty-saving hitmaker sure is something else. I'll say. Also, this whole thing took place in the back of a U-Haul. Are you sure it was Kesha? That's the one thing I am sure of. Well, it wasn't all bad. At least they're flying us home first class. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where do you think you're going, Coachy? The eight of us get these two bathrooms. The two hundred of you hogs get that one. Them's the rules! Hey, Shelly. Yeah, we should be done here fairly soon. Brian, Brian, hang up your phone. Hang, hang on a sec. What? Hang up. Hang up the phone. It's rude. We're here together as a family. It doesn't happen a lot, so be here now. Hang up. Look, I'll, I'll have to call you later. Welcome back, Brian. Hey, everybody, Brian's back. We now return to Of Mice and Men 2, even larger and even more developmentally disabled. That man is 11 feet tall and incredibly disabled! Remember how dangerous the other guy was? This guy is even bigger and understands even less! Well, we might as well make the most of this. Are these lady arms fresh? Torn off this morning. Now that you know how it feels, maybe you want to give him an apology. I can't apologize myself. I'll have my wise black limo driver pick you up and explain a lot about me while he drives you around. You got to understand about Mr. Pewter Schmidt. He wasn't raised like you and me. He wasn't never allowed to be a kid. Always working. Mama up and died when he was nine. I was nine, I was roaming around the swamp, catching crawfish with my own two hands. His way ain't our way. Don't have to be our way. Apology accepted. And I think that guy sleeps in that limo. You know, I was so desperate there for a while, I even tried a Jewish club. It was strange. Every week there was some weird Jewish holiday. Carter, where's your Herachalach I, I, I don't, I, I didn't know. Never mind, just put a candle in your mouth and sit in the corner. This commemorates the boredom of Lechach. Ladies, this is your pilot speaking. I am in the full, upright, and locked position. Oh my. Oh my god, what are you guys doing here? Here's to the drunken clam, boys, where they don't ask for proof of age and neither do I. Quagmire, you forgot to say oh. Are you sure? Well, I, th I think I did. All right, well, just be safe. Oh! Yeah, that's what separates us from the monkeys. That and the armed guards at the zoo. Man, they got some sexy monkeys down there. Hey there, sweetie. How old are you? Sixteen. Eighteen? You're first. Mom! I like where this is going. Giggity, giggity, giggity. She's beautiful. <laughs> Isn't she, sweetheart? She sure is, Joe. It's hard to believe she's already 18. I wonder what happened to Cindy. <coughs> Dear Diary, jackpot. All right. No, no, not all right. Hey, 
Hey, everybody! Meg just had her first period! Peter! Shut up! It's three in the morning! What the hell's going on out there? Damn it, people are trying to sleep! I'm just saying, I'm proud of her! She's a woman! Yay! Yes, Peter, that's very hot, and I'll deal with it in the morning, but right now, I am exhausted! All right, virtual reality. Whoa, you guys gotta try this. Hey, look at me. I'm a pole in a strip club. Oh! It's showtime. Oh, 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 no! Oh, no! Oh, oh! Hey, stop! False alarm! Ah, ah! Looking for a date. Thelma, stop that. You have a right to be happy, and, and there's a lot of great people here. Why don't you mingle? Oh, my God, Lois, you single now? <laughs> no, Glenn, I'm here with Thelma. Who's Thelma? This is Thelma. Ew! Giggity. Giggity. Lois, oh my gosh, hi! Quagmire? Hey, you are. Nobody's seen you in days. Hey, Peter. I've just been, uh, checking out some of that internet porn. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just gonna go, go and check my mail over there. You been lifting weights? Uh, no. No, I don't, I don't think. It, no, I, 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 I'm I'm am sorry, Peter. I, I gotta I gotta get back. Hi, can I help you? Well, that depends. Do you know how to fix pieces of junk? Haven't been stumped yet. Oh, oh. Okay, I see what your problem is. I I tried to buy a, a sweater online, and I I think I got a virus. No. What do you say we hit another bar? Keep it going. I can't. There's a girl tied up in my basement who needs some food. That's funny. You funny, pointy man. Yeah, I, I joke around a lot. I've never seen so many chicks in one place. Hey, hey, check out those two hotties. <laughs> they're so lonely, they're practicing kissing each other. I don't think they're practicing. Oh. 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 So, you ladies ever been penetrated? <laughs> hey, Brian, what's with the Johnny Law routine? Say hello to our newest narc. He's a natural. Oh, yeah? How, how good are you? You're back from Manila. You had lumpia for dinner. Then you made love to two Filipino women. And a man. You mean three Filipino women? No! I don't know, fellas. I think there's potential in this crowd. <laughs> Hey, honey, why don't you turn around and show me the Lower East Side? <laughs> sure. Whoa, transvestite, back off. Wait a sec, pre-op or post-op? Pre-op. Whoa, transvestite, back off. Hey, baby, how'd you like to share a pair of skates? Sure. Ah, oh, never mind. Boy, you look a lot better from the back. You jerk. Oh, hey, baby, you want to go somewhere? Blah, 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 no, 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 wait, wait, Quagmire. Remember what's on the other side. That was strangely arousing. Ah! Mm. Mm. Hello, 911? It's Quagmire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's in a window this time. Welcome. We open today's bidding with this pair of panties confiscated from a prostitute. 50 bucks. She had nine STDs. 45 bucks. And when we caught her, she wet herself. 50 bucks. Hey, I'm sorry. Giggity. Gonna come up with 50 grand by tomorrow. Well, you could whore yourself out to a thousand fat chicks for 50 bucks a piece. Or, or, or 50 really fat chicks for a thousand bucks. What? Don't look at me like that. Fat chicks need love too. But they gotta pay. Now, one thing that makes us more cultured than our European counterparts is high school football. Then why are we standing here in the parking lot? Because sometimes your team loses and you have to beat up the ref. <laughs> <laughs> What part of Eatonville you from, huh? What part of Eatonville you from? Oh, West Eatonville. Oh, really? West Eatonville? Do you know Bob Hanley? I'm Bob Hanley. No kidding. Bob, it's me, Peter Griffin. Oh, my God. How the hell are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Well, hey, oh, listen, I was really sorry to hear about your dad. Oh, that means a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to the wake. I was out of town. It's okay. Thanks for the flowers. Oh, it's the least I could do. Hey, Chris, get over here. You gotta be my buddy, Bob Hanley. Hi, Mr. Hanley. I'm Chris. I heard a lot about... Hey, you guys noticed how many Asians there are at this school? 
I mean, how'd they all get so smart? I don't know. Guess that's just the way God made them. Gentlemen, I give you the Asian. Ooh. Compact, hairless, and fiercely intelligent. The penises, while tiny, are extremely efficient. We're projecting 10 billion within five years. Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. Do they eat just, like, regular food? <laughs> no, 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 the opposite. This is the best thing to happen to me since I became a wise-cracking, fourth-wall-breaking superhero. Call me Red Stool. The treatment didn't give me powers, but it did spread cancer to my anus. Just call me anus of the morning. Anus. Just touch my cheek before you leave me. Anus. This violence juxtaposed to music. Anus. Decapitation in the motion. Anus. That's... That's not possible. Ha <laughs> ha, Brian, stupid! I must alert the townsfolk. Yeah! Fly, Artemis, fly! Arc townsfolk, Brian, uh, he, oh, uh, damn, what was it, Brian? Brian goes to college? No. Brian gets another book published? Yeah, yeah, maybe that's it. Tell all that Brian's getting another book published. Oh, thank God. I thought it was going to be a mega episode all throughout. Hey, let's take a man-sized poop in his cat box so he thinks there's something really wrong with him. There it is. Rock and roll! Yeah, shaving time! All right, hand me the razor. Oh, my God! Peter, you killed it! Well, you guys relax. He's got eight more lives. Okay, seven more lives. Six. Five. Four. Three. Peter, stop doing what you're doing. Dad, can you help me with my math? Mr. Shackleford says if I don't learn it, I won't be able to function in the real world. Okay, now what you got to do is go down the road past the old Johnson place, and you're going to find two roads, one parallel and one perpendicular. Now keep going until you come to a highway that bisects it at a 45-degree angle. Solve for X. Let's see. I guess 185 pounds. Wrong. I'm 95% helium. Wow, I can use smoking to get out of anything. Finally, I'm above the law, like my 14th century ancestor, King of Denmark, Griffin. More wine! More women! More table! <laughs> I'm having a heart attack! Is anyone at the table a doctor? I am. Come here, hurry, run! But the very far away doctor couldn't make it in time. And that's why here in Denmark, we have very small tables. Another good postal tip is if you wait to deliver your mail at night, you can smell a lot of really nice dinners. Oh no, it's that Amazon drone. Try to ignore it. Hey, Cleveland, what are you doing? Taking a walk? No, I'm delivering mail. By foot? Yeah, that won't take too long. Well, gotta go. Gotta deliver these fat pants to your fat son. He was harsh, but not untruthful. We got a special order Cleveland Junior's pants from a company that manufactures grill covers. And now back to the Fox News Report with Rhonda Latimer. Oh, God, that new Fox News reporter is so freaking hot. Good evening. I'm Rhonda Latimer for Fox News. Here are tonight's top stories. Oh, she is just so smoking hot. God, I would do things to her that she would probably laugh at. You bitch! That'll be $16. $16? That's expensive. Yes, sir. Everything's very expensive because you're paying for it on an iPad. Now, if you'll just select a gratuity, options are 60%, 90%, and 200%. Uh... I guess 60%? Okay, great. And just sign by dragging your bare finger across this thing I use to masturbate. Uh, okay. Thank you. Please make sure to bang your head on that low-hanging thing. What are you- Ah! Oh, you spilled something. You want a napkin? Yes, please. All right, here's 40 blown by the wind. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I'm sending a selfie to Bonnie and Donna. Rose, bitches! Don't hit Sam! Please don't, please hit, please don't Sam. hit Sam! And send! Ooh. You son of a bitch. 
I told you. What did he do now? He don't listen to you. He don't listen to you. And remember you had an Irish coffee the day we went to see Philadelphia? <laughs> I got it. That's the guy from Big. Tom Hanks. That's it. Ah, oh, funny guy, Tom Hanks. Everything he says is a stitch. I have AIDS. <laughs> what? Single-handedly? Officer Swanson, as thanks from a grateful city, please accept the Certificate of Merit. And with that, I hereby declare this hero cop open. Whoa, sweet bod. You lift, bro? Hey, Lois, guess who made 15 baskets in a row at the county fair? Some kid we beat up. Oh, what a great day. Had enough yet? Yes. I don't know how you do it. Everything he does is exhausting. Even something as simple as going to the bank. Meg, you've probably wondered from time to time how on earth I pay for all my shenanigans. Well, I'm gonna show you. This is a robbery! Everybody get on the ground! If this bitch moves, shoot him in the eye! Dad, I don't want to do this! You have to! Next week, we're buying a zebra! There's no time to argue. We got 150 seconds before the police respond to the silent alarm. Now check those bags for dye packs. <laughs> Who's the manager here? I, I am. <laughs> what are you doing? You said if he moves, shoot him! He's the only one with a combination that is safe! It's blown! It's blown! This whole operation is blown! I'll get the car. Kill everyone else. So, is there anything we need to talk about? I don't know. Is there anything we need to talk about? I guess not. Well, I guess not, too. Thanks, RB. Back at you, RB. We just click together. Like all the pieces in Chris's first model set. Okay, lay out the pieces, find the cockpit, open the glue, take a sniff. And this will be my life now. Anyone can get mad, Chris. Even Shaquille O'Neal. Excuse me, my flapjacks was supposed to have a Superman S on them. Are you mad? I... I can't tell if you're mad. Very mad. This is unacceptable. What's the point of having millions of dollars if everything can't be Superman? Okay, well, we'll fix it right away. Is there anything else I can get you? Yes, a big ambulance. I am stuck in this booth. Don't forget, I was in that elevator with Jay-Z. Hey, could you have your guy hit two? I gotta get down to the business center to print out my boarding pass. <laughs> oh, hey, that's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> that's from a movie. So are you girls traveling with your dad here? Hey, don't kick him, muddy shoes. He's got a white suit on. Hey, look, I don't know if you guys are really staying here, but you can't get into the pool without a room key. Ugh, I should have known Peter had something to do with this. You're not the first person whose life he screwed up. Knock, knock. Nicole, Ronald, who's ready for Boggle? Oh, my God. No. Why? Why? My beautiful Nicole. My man Ronald, who did this? Oh man, they were so good together. We were just establishing our friendship. They were about to get engaged. Oh, he was going to ask me to be an usher. I mean, he already had enough groomsmen, so he made me an usher. But just to think I could be involved in the ceremony in any way. Um. All right, we're clear. I'm telling you, man, this shtick is getting so old. That chair smells, dude. Hey, Steve, surf's up. All right, see ya, bitch. Not special? Everyone's special, Peter. Rock drummer Tommy Lee! And if your wife ever tells you that you're not special, punch her really hard right in her hepatitis. Thanks, rock drummer Tommy Lee! Hey, you know what else is cool? Having sex with sunglasses on. I've got a lot of things to try now! Like when I went on that camp out with One Direction. So they checked into their hotel suite, but the minibar had no sparkling water, only still! <gasps> ah, stop! It's too scary. Oh, but that's not all. They looked in the wardrobe and discovered that the stylist had only brought non-skinny jeans. <gasps> Do you mean like a Levi's 513 skinny straight? No, just regular pants that fit normal. <gasps> that's not real, right? Those aren't real. Of course not, Louis. It's, it's just a story. Well, I guess that means these aren't real. <gasps> <gasps> yeah, they're going to die in the woods. Simon, are they tagged? They're tagged, right? Oh, they're tagged. Good. Simon, did I ever tell you the one about the loose-fitting T-shirt? No, 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 no! Just like I got kicked out of Coldplay. Guys, guys, I got an idea. How about we do a song that's not whiny bullcrap? Yeah, so you watch it, Fishman. 
We are gonna beat you so bad you'll think you gave Chris Brown an STD. Is that what happened? We now return to Joni Loves Chris Brown. Joni, Chris, welcome to the party. Can I offer you some punch? No, thanks. I had some in the car. Joni Loves Chris Brown was taped in front of a very uncomfortable studio audience. Hey, Chris Brown. I just wanted to say I'm a huge fan of your music. This is just gonna make me listen more. Oh, hey, Ray Rice. Would you mind pressing lobby? What do you got, potatoes in your ears? I said press lobby. Obviously the second happiest. Social drinker, not an alcoholic. Tuh, yeah, that's like saying rappers are really poets. I'm not saying she's a gold digger, but she's not messing with... Who isn't she messing with? All right, what could go wrong? <laughs> it worked out great for... <laughs> Listen, I want to throw you the wildest bachelor party of all time. It's going to be crazier than whatever Kanye West is doing at this particular moment. I'm giving this lasagna a massage while preparing to announce I'm joining ISIS. Thank you for your interest. Can you catch us up on all the important things that we've missed? So no way! Kylie Jenner and Tyga are no longer together? Splitsville, my friend. How did Robert Kardashian die? Guilt cancer. From what? Oh, boy. So people thought the dancing Judge Itos were funny? For a while, yes. Is Leno still doing it? No, he's not hosting anymore. Oh, so Conan got the Tonight Show? <sighs> oh, come on. Okay, I'll put the Kanye Canes in the stockings. You know, it's just like, you know, music and fashion, all that. You know, I can't be stopped. Whatever I do, you know, I just want to be the best because the best is never enough. Mark Zuckerberg promised he'd give me $50 million, fam, but then he welched and I'm penniless. Kanye is the greatest. Kanye drops the latest. There can be no debaters, and Kanye got the st You tweet things that aren't worth tweeting. Well, I'm sorry, but Kim Kardashian did get famous for making a sex tape. We all know that. That's not yours. What is that? It's my magic eight ball. This is the first black ball that Kim Kardashian hasn't played with. It's new streaming world. <laughs> no! No! <gasps> Kim, what's wrong? A black ball went to waste. Wow! It looks like Michael Jackson's coming right at me! When Michael Jackson needs a rush, he humps a guy like me! Stewie, did Mr. Jackson behave inappropriately toward you? Well, yes, but the worst part was he never called back. <laughs> <laughs> No, but uh, in all seriousness, yeah, he was actually pretty aggressive. Even more aggressive than Michael Jackson's treatment of his own groin on stage. Thank you. A bigger hit with the kids than Will Smith in his nice, clean rap. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! I respect women when I'm on a date. I take them to the park or maybe a museum, and I only try to kiss them if they're ready. Woohoo! What, what, what? What is it? What, what? Help out your mom and dad by getting a job so you can help pay for school supplies. Woohoo! Say ho! Wipe your shoes on the mat when you come in the house. Someone just clean that floor. Woohoo! Say what, what? Ha <laughs> ha! I've been in uncomfortable situations before, like whenever I meet famous people. Hey, what's up? I'm Snoop Dogg. Know what I'm saying? I do! But you don't, Peter. You don't. This is the Seth Rogen gene. It will give you the appearance of being funny even though you haven't actually done anything funny. Hey, Doc, are we going to be much longer? i got to get some beers with the fellows before I go out on this date. <laughs> How charming and chubby. I'm rooting for you. Wow, look at that HD picture. Yeah, it's so clear you can even see Ellen DeGeneres' breath. 
Well, my guest today is uh, Seth Rogen, who's got a new movie out. Now, now, Seth, this movie is hot. It's just hot, hot, hot. Uh, how does it feel to have the hottest film in Hollywood? What the f***? It's the coolest George Clooney there is. Hi, George Clooney, second worst Batman. Peter Griffin, second best Homer. You may have heard, I'm also known for my practical jokes on the set. One time, I nailed Nora Dunn in the head with an apple. <laughs> that, that's hilarious, because you're handsome. Otherwise, you're just some dick who hit a lady. It's more ridiculous than the theory of why Tom Cruise runs in all his movies. Wow, that cameraman has nice, strong arms. You can't catch me, gay thoughts. In a nightclub? God, you're more out of place than Prince was on The Price is Right. And what's your bid on the dining room set, Prince? 350. I'm sorry? 350. Can you speak up, please? 350. All right, and the actual retail price of the dining room set is $350. Yay. Oh, oh, we, we gotta get you to the hospital. Oh, oh, you're hideous. Who did this to you? Oh, oh, where are my keys? Where's my keys? Where are my keys? Peter, what about Babs? Forget about yourself for a second, Carter. Look what has happened to Jonathan Lipnicki. Oh, yeah. No, you're, you're, you're right. You should probably take care of Peter, the water's rising fast. We gotta get out of here. Hang on, Lois. There's a case of beer in the fridge. I can't leave that behind. Meg, you're a good swimmer. Go get it. What? But, Dad... And for God's sake, do not be afraid to make me a sandwich while you're in there. Peter, Meg's been in there a long time. Boy, you cannot wait to criticize her at every turn, can you? Go get her! Well, Lois, I am sorry for snapping at you earlier. You were right to criticize Meg. She could not even handle this simple task. She's in there right now, taking a nap underwater. Oh, my God. Somebody call 911! Damn it, Fox. That's not an invitation to ruin our moment to expand your media empire. <sighs> Son of Zorn. Ha! <laughs> now, everyone knows the best way to get the Christmas spirit is to drink a whole lot of thick, frothy eggnog. So get going. I don't like eggnog. Drink the nog, Carter. I, I don't... I don't wanna. Take it, Carter. Take all the nog. <laughs> no! Yeah, you like that nog. Don't spit the nog out. Now look at the camera for a POV shot. Say thank you with the nog in your mouth. Thank you. Louder! Thank you! Good. Now go down to the hotel lobby and check out with Nog all over your face. All right. You know, I still don't like Christmas, but I kind of like what we just did. Hey, so what's your afternoon like? I don't have plans. Maybe we could grab lunch and then see what happens. Ugh. This will not end well, like eating an artichoke. Good Lord! I ate nothing and I'm soaking wet for some reason. <laughs> We now return to Germany's favorite talk show, Das ist gut. Dad, what is this show? I don't know. It's just a German guy listing items and then declaring them good. Willkommen! Where are we? Das ist gut! Okay, sunsets. Das ist gut. Yeah. Sauerkraut. Das ist gut. Yeah. The Autobahn. Vroom vroom. Das ist gut. Yeah. Umpa music. Das ist gut. Yeah. Euthanasia for the mentally feeble. Das ist gut. Das ist gut is filmed before an audience of the mentally feeble. God, I wish I could get tickets to that show. You were laughing at Griffin's shoes. Why? What's wrong with them? I don't even know what those are. What's Teslik? Um, I'm not sure, but my mom says they're very popular with Latvian athletes. Running, throwing, lifting big things. Teslik. That's all right with me, man. Each shoe sold separate. Ah, oh, damn, which one's a Chinese one? That's probably it. You start make bing bong. Every bing bong, two sen. What you want? Uh, yeah, I'm here to pick up my cleaning. Well, it sounds to me like you're a regular Benedict Arnold Drummond. 
What, what's he expecting us to cut to? Uh, I think he wants maybe, I don't know, Gary Coleman and a Napoleon hat? But we don't have that. We, we gotta come up with something. Uh, well, we got, uh, we got the cowardly lion is Lindsay Lohan's gynecologist. Play it. Play it. But he didn't set it up. Play it! All right. I'm gonna check her for diseases. There's just one thing I want you to do. What's, what's that? that? Talk me out of it. No, 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 no. What the hell is going on up there? Today, we're here to honor Joe Swanson for pulling my poor one-eyed cat, Bootsy, out of the old stovepipe of my grandmother's cabin. Joe Swanson won the special People's Decathlon, and we're here to honor him. Welcome to Ireland. We'll be landing in five minutes. This is quite a country, Brian. You know, Ireland has more drunks per capita than people. Oh, that's a negative stereotype. I don't think the Irish drink as much as people say they do. Another good postal tip is if you wait to deliver your mail at night, you can smell a lot of really nice dinners. Oh no, it's that Amazon drone. Try to ignore it. Hey Cleveland, what are you doing? Taking a walk? No, I'm delivering mail. By foot? Yeah, that won't take too long. Well, gotta go. Gotta deliver these fat pants to your fat son. He was harsh, but not untruthful. We got a special order Cleveland Jr.'s pants from a company that manufactures grill covers. Hey, you can play over there in the sandbox, honey. Mommy's just gonna read her book. Okay, I'm just gonna walk 30 feet away and then panic because I can't see you. Can you fit me in at 10 tomorrow? It's getting a little long on the sides. Brian? What are you doing on a leash? And who's that? Shh, be cool. This is the guy whose wife I'm banging. Oh, what a romantic way to put it. Yeah, it's great. I just pretend to be their dog, and then when he leaves for work, I get to go to the pound, if you know what I mean. God, Brian, you are such a scumbag. I can't believe you. Mommy! Mommy! Where's my mommy? I have no one and nothing! I'm right here, honey. Oh, thank God. She's such a gross hog. Ah, and this is Peter and I at our wedding. Oh, you look beautiful. And he's a handsome fella, ain't he? Well, I am ready for my evening. Oh, my God, Peter, what the hell? Peter, what are you doing? Oh, surely, Jerome, you don't want to stay in the same house as a ghost who carries a torch around. Ooh, fire ghost. Oh, you scared yet? Didn't know this place was haunted, did you? Oh, jeez, how the hell am I going to break this to Lois? If she finds out I got fired for drinking, she's going to blame me. Lie to her. It's okay to lie to women. They're not people like us. Uh, I don't know. Hey, where's the other guy? Come on, you bastard! I'm late for work! Oh, 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 this is perfect. Mayor West, after working with you for some time now, I believe you are affecting your weird behaviors. You are doing deliberately odd things to mask dark, maybe even criminal activities. You are 100% aware of what you're doing. I think you're a dangerous sociopath. Cleveland, let me tell you something. You're absolutely right. Well, time to put on my spaghetti hat. According to the calculations on my Microsoft Surface, they have advanced cloaking technology. The Microsoft Surface confirms it. Microsoft Surface. My Samsung Gear S2 watch says the same thing. And, well, Prius Pumpkin from the county fair, that's why I'm naming you my chief of police. Mayor West, there's something you need to see. My God, my wife is seeing another mayor. I'm sorry, sir. Don't be, because I'm going to win her back. I trust you'll take care of things here in my absence. <laughs> Officer down! Ah, uh, crap, it's busted. And I bet it's completely traumatized. I wasn't traumatized, actually. It was planned. Part of the games we play. I've been a bad drone. Hey, you guys noticed how many Asians there are at this school? I mean, how'd they all get so smart? I don't know. Guess that's just the way God made them. Gentlemen, I give you the Asian. Ooh! Compact, hairless, and fiercely intelligent. The penises, while tiny, are extremely efficient. 
We're projecting 10 billion within five years. Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. Do they eat just, like, regular food? <laughs> no. Sup, man? Yeah, yeah, sup. Keep walking, you boondocks ripoff. I know you're gonna have fun and make lots of good friends. Yeah, and not fake friends, like guys whose wives are friends. <laughs> you have to get me that recipe. Oh my god, the cookbook? It's right in the kitchen. Sports? No. Movies? No. Hiking? No. Cars? No. Porn? porn? Yes! Gay porn? No. All right, everyone. Because today is Christmas Eve, not yet, Griffin. I thought it might be a nice treat. To... Griffin, thank you. To let everyone leave a little bit early. Christmas. Fine. Everybody have a nice holiday. Teach. Ah, I wouldn't worry, Lois. I never did very well in school either. I even failed homeroom. Peter Griffin? There. By Europe. Fuck you! Fuck the both of you! I didn't say anything. Oh, thanks, Brian. This is a bunch of shit! Okay, you know what, Mort? Shut up! All right, just shut the fuck up! I don't give a shit about you! You know, we can just leave you here! Yeah, right, just leave me here, that's great! We're in occupied Europe, and if you haven't noticed, I'm Jewish! Oh, I noticed. Helen Keller would notice. Ha <laughs> ha. Eat my ass, Brian! Don't you mean your ass neck? Shut up! That's a real thing! I'm... Don't you look pretty today. Thanks, Mom. She's going to ask you for something. So listen, I was wondering, do you think you could take Stewie to a birthday party today? The birthday boy was premature, so he looks like a 12-inch tall Rachel Dratch. Why can't you do it, Mom? Uh, I can't take another party with that trio of judgy sitcom moms. <laughs> oh, hi, Lois. Gosh, I just love how you always look so comfortable. I know. Are those pajamas? And I'm the black one for unrealistic diversity. Yeah, that was me. I was the one who threw up in a sink. Get back here! Damn it! God! <laughs> ah, dang it! Do you have any idea how fast you were going, sir? Peter? Hey, Cleveland, this is just so we can talk without getting spotted by Lois or Donna. I need you to step out of the car, sir. Peter, there's got to be a better way. He's got a knife! Ow, ow, ow. Sorry, Cleveland, it's got to be authentic. Stay down! Ow. Stay down! Ow. Cleveland, try to grab my gun. Oh, trying to grab my gun, are you? Ow. Ow. Hey, rookie, save some for me. Wow, the whole gang's back together. Just shut up! We don't need you in this town. Ow. Hey, Peter, my kid's selling Girl Scout cookies. And we're collecting for Janet's pregnancy. Softball sign up? Trick or treat for UNICEF? Oh, pitch in for Ed's retirement cake? Oh. Holiday party? Whoa. Company picnic? Oh. Secret set? Oh. Carpool info? Oh, finally! Now I can get myself to the. Uh oh! Everybody, I've come up with the perfect plan to catch the bet. I bought this remote-controlled toy helicopter to which I have attached this handgun. And I tell you, this thing is not easy to fly. Peter, that doesn't seem very... Here it goes. Now, I don't have anything to control the trigger with, so I put it on a timer. But I don't remember how long I set it. Ah, we're all gonna die! Okay, so now the bat has a gun and the knives I gave him. What? Why would you give him knives? I didn't think it would matter. I was counting on this helicopter thing working.
Hey, Lois, what's going on here? Oh, it's my book club, Peter. Come join us. Oh, okay. Lois, know you're here? No clue. I brought beer. I brought pot. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought pot. I brought acid. Oh, well, now I feel stupid. I brought crystal meth. I brought ten rounds of chemotherapy. I think we may have gone too far. Now I feel bad for laughing at my dad when he went through this. It's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back in and out a few times? I was born nine times that day. <laughs> you run like a girl. Run like a man, you get a suit. I haven't felt this bad since I drove by that speed sign. Word, I have found you! Yeah. Oh my god, Stewie, you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance! This could need stitches! We don't want this to leave a scar! No, there's no time for an ambulance! We gotta take him to the hospital right away! Guys, I'm alright. I think Meg... Oh my god, he's delirious! He's talking nonsense! Quick, everybody in the car! Come on, it's not that bad. Your life could be worse. You could be a black. A black. Go ahead. A blanket. Well, I'm glad everything's back to normal. Peter, your mother's dead. Yeah, but at least she's alive. What are you talking about, Peter? Well, you see, Lois, the key in life is to lie to yourself about reality. Smile through everything. All the bad things, well, you just pile them away in a place that will come back one day in the form of, I don't know, rage? But everything's fine. I'll see you in bed. Oh, here's me getting my first haircut. Here's me getting my 351st haircut. And here's when I couldn't take no more. I killed that barber. Oh, great. I'm gonna get killed by a cat. He'll never let me live this down in doggy heaven. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's that guy who got killed by a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. How'd you guys die? We bit kids! Woo! Biting kids! Yeah! Unpettable! I miss biting kids. All right, Jesus, these speed date nights are the best way to meet a lot of chicks fast. Now go get them. So where do you live? Everywhere. All places. Hopefully inside you. This is kind of embarrassing, but are you okay with someone who smokes? Oh, yeah. Are, are you okay with someone who wanders the desert lecturing people on how to act? So are you having a good Friday? Oh, is that supposed to be funny? Shut your mouth, bitch. How's the wine? It's terrific. That's my blood, you know. Where are you from? Israel. Oh my god, look you guys, it's death! Hey, has anyone got a cell phone I can borrow? God's been paging me for like 20 minutes. Wait, you still use a pager? Yeah, well, we thought once we got Steve Jobs in heaven we'd all get iPhones, but he never showed up. Wait a minute. You work with God? Oh, death, we've been looking all over for that guy. Will you take us to him? Sure, but don't you mean her? <laughs> Look at your faces. Of course it's the dude. Come on, let's go. Calm down, ma'am. It's all under control. I've got a whistle, a cloth helmet, a key to a coal box, a soft rubber truncheon, and a map of the city. Please, hurry! Oh, I don't much like your tone. That's a tiny pencil and pad citation for you. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker, and this is News... Oh, I thought you were going to sing with me, Joyce. Okay. Our top story tonight, the Rhode Island State Lottery has climbed to a record $150 million jackpot. That's right, Tom. Powerball fever has officially gripped Quahog. We sent Channel 5 News Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa around town to get the public reaction. Mayor West, what do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. And how about you, every Persian guy in the world? White BMW! Dad, I got bullied at school. They flipped up my lunch tray. Oh, that sucks. I wonder if that's the worst thing that ever happened to a guy. Whoa. Whoa! Billy, this guy in this book here, he's really getting the business. Yikes! Okay, I'm sorry, what happened? She has my vaporizer! You have to get it back! <laughs> That's your problem! You lost your vape pen, I didn't lose mine! Well, I guess you win. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Oh, it tastes so good, like skin berries. I'm alive with pleasure! It's possible we've taken this too far. I'll just go down and get yours back. I will never forget this day. Oh God, I can't kill Brian, even for Penelope. He's my dog, my friend. Well, wonder what words are gonna come out of this pen today. All right, I can do this. My kidding. I can't do this. Hey, I got a lot on my plate, man. I'm learning to use the toilet. I'm learning what shapes are. I spent half an hour laughing at my own feet yesterday. Yeah, you're, you're losing it, man. You're losing your edge. Well, I don't care for your tone, and I'd say you deserve a good kick of... <laughs> look, Brian, look at them. Now if I could just find someone to wear this hero hat. I think I found him. Well, I say, that was a pleasant surprise. You know, like when a woman in a Porsche Cayenne isn't a complete bitch. Huh. Well, I did not expect that. I wasn't telling you to go. I was trying to smell my own fart. Oh, that's perfect, Brian. We have to go down there this weekend and heckle her roundly. I'll humiliate her worse than Luke Skywalker did to that rebel pilot. The exhaust shaft is only two meters wide, so you'll have to use proton torpedoes. Well, that's impossible, even for a computer. It's not impossible. I used to bullseye womp rats in my T-16 back home. They're not much bigger than two meters. Hey, uh, can I, can I, can I talk to you privately for a second? Sure. That, 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 uh, that was, that was unnecessary. What's the problem? Well, you, you just kind of called me out in front of everybody back there. I, mean, I was what, what... just making a point. I know, I know, but you, like, just... Kind of sandbagged me oh, in front of everyone oh, I we know. you sandbagged you? In front of all of our friends. Yeah, you sandbagged I me. I sandbagged you. You sandbagged me, well, yes. Well, here I am trying to help you, you, you with know what, something you know that... What? You know what? I don't need your kind of help. All right? Have a great assault, jerk. That makes you Jewish, Lois. And your children, too. Oh, this kind of rocks my world. Even more than the time I went to that pediatrician. Whoa, Stewie, you're getting to be a big boy. I think somebody's going to be a football star. Oh, you. Oh, forgot your chart. Be right back. Whoa, Jason, you're getting to be a big boy. I think somebody's going to be a football star. I can't believe I fell for that line. I actually let myself believe I could be a doctor's wife. You're just fat, Stewie. Silly and fat. Lois. Peter. Zod? Hey, you're parked behind my trapezoid thing. Yeah, yeah, I'll move it in a sec. Glenn, all this nonsense has to stop now. The only reason this became an issue is because Peter heard something he wasn't supposed to hear. Guy from Superman lives here? She said yes. My God, I'm cooler than that cheetah from the commercials. <laughs> oh, 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 God, there is no drummer better than Neil Peart. It ain't easy being cheesy. Well, wait a minute, Peter. Maybe that's the answer. You just gotta get his mother to take him back. How the hell am I supposed to do that? She's an idiot redneck, Peter. Tricking her should be easier than escaping from Canadian Alcatraz. Can I go through here? Just be back by bedtime. Okay. Hey, you can play over there in the sandbox, honey. Mommy's just gonna read her book. Okay, I'm just gonna walk 30 feet away and then panic because I can't see you. Can you fit me in at 10 tomorrow? It's getting a little long on the sides. Brian? What are you doing on a leash? And who's that? Shh, be cool. This is the guy whose wife I'm banging. Oh, what a romantic way to put it. Yeah, it's great. I just pretend to be their dog, and then when he leaves for work, I get to go to the pound, if you know what I mean. God, Brian, you are such a scumbag. I can't believe you. Mommy! Mommy! Where's my mommy? I have no one and nothing!
I'm right here, honey. Oh, thank God. She's such a gross hog. Oh, my God, look at that. Wow, that looks pretty bad. Is the Chinese guy dead? Well, what's that supposed to mean? Face it, Peter, you're addicted to television. And you're not exactly Mr. Cold Turkey, either. Remember that time you tried to give up candy? I'll ask you one more time. Are you sure you didn't eat anything in my factory? No. I'm just asking... What, are you calling me a liar? No, I'm just saying... Hey, shut up, Wonka! Look, th this has gotten out of hand, I know. I, I, I don't want anyone to get hurt, but you can put an end to this right now by tearing up that gay marriage ban. You won't break me. Fifteen years ago, I swallowed everything I needed to escape from a hostage situation. <laughs> a wall! Well, no matter. I'm prepared for a lengthy captivity as well. <laughs> I swallowed this People magazine in 1989. All right, Paul Hogan, tell me about the real Crocodile Dundee. Okay, Peter, I'm off to my book club. You'll babysit Stewie? Only if I can have a popsicle. Only if you say it right. Popsicle. Good. And you better be responsible tonight. I don't want a repeat of the last time I left you alone with one of our children. <gasps> it's just so horrible. I'm sorry, Lois. I thought if I shook him enough, he'd stop crying. I was kind of right. You're kidding. I do that, too. But what are these formulas for? For these. <gasps> oh, my God. You've got a weapons room, too? And look at the size of it. It's amazing. Yes, although sometimes I think it's too big. It takes the cleaning woman forever to clean it. <laughs> oh, it's already broken. No drugs. She's good. He's clean. Well, looks like that's it, except for the flight crew. <laughs> hey, Brian, what's with the Johnny Law routine? Say hello to our newest narc. He's a natural. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How good are you? <laughs> You're back from Manila. You had lumpia for dinner. Then you made love to two Filipino women. And a man. You mean three Filipino women? No! Oh, I know you're tired, Stewie, but you can sleep all you want in the car. Ugh, 6 a.m. I shouldn't have stayed up all night listening to Persian radio. Hey, that was Roxette with You've Got the Look. It's 21 o'clock and still 27 centigrade out there. Ooh, that's hot. So, if you're cruising along the left side of the road at 120 kilometers per hour in the Shevi Desert, turn up the decibels, because it's Shaleb Mami with Zechech Malech on 103.2, the Hach. Mom, why do I have to take a bath with Stewie? Because, Meg, Estelle told me that someone in the family was in danger of drowning and that I should take some steps to prevent it. So from now on, everybody has a bath buddy. Hey, Meg, watch. <laughs> wow, I have so much clarity now. I know how I'm going to move on. I have to kill Chris and Rupert right away. I guess that means I'll miss that taping of Deepak Chopra Winfrey. Everyone, check your seats. You get diarrhea, and you get diarrhea, and you get diarrhea. Everyone's getting diarrhea. All right, Griffin, you're clearly a smoker. Enjoy your break. Wow, I can use smoking to get out of anything. Finally, I'm above the law, like my 14th century ancestor, King of Denmark, Griffin. More wine! More women! More table! <laughs> I'm having a heart attack! Is anyone at the table a doctor? I am! Come here! Hurry! Run! But the very far away doctor couldn't make it in time. And that's why here in Denmark, we have very small tables. Oh, I've got to do something. Jasper's always been there for me when I've needed him. I am going to make Mayor West change his mind. But, Brian, the Bible says gay marriage is an abomination. Oh, don't give me that young Republican crap, Chris. The Bible also says a senior citizen built an ark and rounded up two of every animal. 
Hey! Yeah? What the hell is this? Oh, you didn't really give any specific guidelines about mating. Did you name it? What? Did you name it? Uh, yeah, he's Paul. Yeah? Well, it's gonna be a hell of a lot harder for you now because he's going the f overboard. Hey, did you see those pictures of me doing duck lips by a pool? I don't know, some island. Shh. You rebel scum. <laughs> yeah, you're too young, you don't know. We now return to Superman. <laughs> Lois, what's wrong? Clark, we all have breast cancer. The doctor says it's as if our breasts have been x-rayed five hours a day, every day for the last three years. Oh my God, that's terrible. First every woman I've ever known, and now you guys. He's a little cranky from teething. Oh, I can fix that. No, oh, good God, man. One can only imagine what foul regions that finger has erstwhile probed. There you go. My mother used to use whiskey whenever I had a toothache. My tooth hurts. Mayor West, what do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. Look, Stewie, I can't talk about this now, all right? Jeez, what's your problem? I, I just... I, I did a bad thing, and I don't know what to do about it. I, I, f I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, that's how I felt at that Grateful Dead show. Does anybody want to buy my shirt? I'll trade you my shirt for a grilled cheese. Wow, those are the Russian people? I mean, granted, you do think of bears on unicycles when you think of the Russian people, but... They're all bears on unicycles? Bears on unicycles, everyone. So what do we do now? We're undercover U.S. agents in a hostile foreign territory. We just gotta make sure we don't do anything that makes us stick out. Hey! They're not bears on unicycles! You are under arrest! Oop, time to lose this costume. <laughs> Cause we're in Russia! You going fishing again? Yes, Lois, I love fishing. Remember fishing was my not-at-all memorable job for two years? No. You don't remember my fishing boat? You don't remember Santos and Pasquale? Not even a little. They were like male consuelas. It was a mistake making them Portuguese, though. People don't even know what a Portuguese is. That's what I thought a Portuguese was. Me and my brain, huh? And we're just getting started. Well, first let me thank you for answering the ad. Now, what do you feel qualifies you to be an effective babysitter for Stewie? A gente é ótima com os meninos. Uh, yeah, uh, we couldn't run an ad that said no Portuguese, but, um, no Portuguese. I'm sorry, Peter, but the government makes the rules. I just enforce them. I believe this, Joe. This is like living in Russia. I might as well just move there. You don't want to do that. It's dark, it's cold, and hooking up is just a crapshoot because of all the big coats. All right, drop the coats on three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah! What am I going to do? I'm going to be in so much trouble when they find out I wrecked Brian's car. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We now return to popular Russian cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. You bastard! I was having fun playing in the snow and now you've ruined it like a pizza place ruins a salad. Okay, four pizzas and a salad. Salad? How do you make a salad? First, you throw in the whole head of lettuce. Even the hard-to-eat white part at the bottom? That's what the people want. Now, what else? I got a can of whole black olives. Should I slice them up? What are you, crazy? No, you keep them whole. You're gonna want to know you've got an olive in your mouth. What about this tomato? Cut it into thirds. It should be big enough to pretend you've got red teeth. How about this carrot? Should I cut it up? Yes, but very thin lengthwise. The whole length of the carrot. One thin slice. Okay, what else do we got? Well, we got these hot peppers, but you can't really eat them. No problem. Dump them all in. Now, should we put it in a bowl? No, let's put it in a lasagna tray. Okay, great. I'll take it. Oh, and make sure to stick it right on top of the pizza so it stays nice and warm. Hello, every pizza place. Come on, you guys. I'm gonna buy us the most expensive meal we've ever had. Yeah, I'd like 6,000 chicken fajitas, please. I beg your pardon? Uh, 6,000 chicken fajitas. And a sausage McBiscuit, please.
We gather today to remember those brave Quahog men who were lost at sea. The Bible declares an eye for an eye. So let us now take our vengeance on this murderous ocean. <laughs> you won't be hurting anyone anymore. I'm going to be in so much trouble when they find out I wrecked Brian's car. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. This sucks. I hate it here. Shut up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. We now return to popular Russian cartoon Shoe and Shoeless. Shoe and Shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. Mom, can we go back to the vet and see the pretty vet assistant again? Well, I guess if Brian gets sick again... Oh, boy! Hey, Brian, look! <laughs> Brian's sick! Mom, get your keys! No offense, but you two just don't have that talent. Are you kidding? I can be very persuasive. That's how I used to lure wayward sailors to their deaths with my siren song. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm death. Sorry, dude. Super death. You're done. So, what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a death dies, he gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. Uh, I haven't been this... Uh, since I... Uh, I... I don't... I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, but... Oh, there's track star Wilma Rudolph. Obviously, she had something to do with the gag, but I didn't hear the setup, so I don't really know the, the context. Hey, I wonder what Peter's up to. Do you have any experience helping out people with special needs? Well, I did work for that old lady down the street. Meg, could you come here, please? What is it? Could you see if I'm getting a bed sore on my back? Sure. Looks fine to me, ma'am. Thank you, dear. I must have just slept on it wrong. <laughs> I stole Meg's cutaway. Here it is, guys. What do you think? I'm realizing I may have a cat allergy. I think it's great, Glenn. And people really seem to be enjoying themselves. Boy, if I could clean myself with my tongue, I'd never leave the house. <laughs> Right? <laughs> and it's like if I had nine lives, maybe I'd finally find a man. <laughs> You's joining me. Ugh, you shouldn't wear people's old dirty clothes. Well, I'm a dirty guy, Lois. Haven't you ever seen my naughty late-night party line commercials? Hey, are you lonely? Do you like to party with hot girls? What about horsing around with fat guys? Well, what are you waiting for? Give us a call. I'll be on the toilet wearing a t-shirt that's so long I have to hold it under my chin while I wipe. So I'm through listening to you. Fine. Think what you want, aging supermodel Carol Alt. Carol, come in here. They're saying your name on the family man. What? Huh? What? Huh? What? I forget. Oh, I wonder how your father's first day at work went. <laughs> Dad, what the hell are you doing? Uh, yeah, hey, buddy. Uh, I have a triple cheeseburger and a large fries, and do uh, you sell pants? Hey, Meg, what's with all the beer cans? Oh, my dad got a job at the brewery, and he gets lots of free beer. Actually, he's kind of been going overboard lately. Oh, my God. Hey, Meg, <laughs> you see my pants? <gasps> oh, Lois, by the way, we're out of toilet paper. Well, Lois, I gotta say, it's great to have you home from prison. Uh, it's great to be home. Hey, I gotta ask, are you gonna stay that jacked forever? I don't know. Do you like it? I, I, I do, and I don't, you know? It, 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 was, it was nice being held up against a wall, but when you made me suck the hairdryer, I, I, I enjoyed it. I did, but I, I, I don't 
want to do that specific thing again. Well, that's too bad, because I'm ready for round two. Just got to make sure the kids don't come in. <laughs> now no one can get in, and no one can get out. Hands on the headboard, Chief. Yes, ma'am. Huh. Guess I'm just going to have to take him by surprise. Shouldn't be too hard. After all, I used to be a Pete in the box. Just the weasel. Peter, you've got to stop living in your own stupid world. I'm sorry, but I can't be with someone who doesn't believe in Jesus. Hey, hey, heard my name. Wow, Jesus. Oh, you're dead now, Lois. Jesus is going to kill you. And then we're going to bury you in a yard next to Kathy Island. I, 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 I mean, I, I mean, nice weather we're having. Look, Peter, I thought it might interest you to know that I'm Jewish. What? He's Jewish, Peter. Jewish, like, full on? Like you practice Jewism? I am a Jew. Prove it. What's a 9% tip on a $200 bill? $18. Which is fair. Oh, my God, it's true. Just waiting for my breakfast. Lois! I know how to get her attention. Lois! I'm about to drink my first soda. Better come stop me. Mmm, that must be the sugar. Oh, God, that's good. Rupert, suddenly I want to run. Chase me! Oh, now I'm sad. We can't do that. Don't you know a lot of discarded electronics end up in the ocean and kill sea turtles? Well, then, let's cut out the middleman. I'm sorry, there's a new phone. I should warn you, I have a tiny bulletproof shield, the exact size of a bullet, somewhere on my body. And if you hit it, I'll be unharmed, and your plan will be foiled. You'll be the laughing stock of me. I don't want to shoot you, Mayor West. Good, because I'm incredibly crafty. Hey, what's that on the ceiling? Ha <laughs> ha! Now I'm over here. <laughs> Hey, uh, don't tell Mom that we don't use car seats with me. Unhand me! What do you think you're doing? Okay, Stewie, you're gonna help Daddy by holding his iPad while he watches season one of House of Cards. Where was the house? Where was the house of cards? All right, Stewie, time to go. Whoa, whoa, a little wobbly. Guess my legs fell asleep. Ah! Ah! Stewie, Daddy can't feel his legs. Go get help. I'm hanging from a door, you idiot. ...in Quahog, and it's made everything just so great. Okay, you, you can read the next one. <laughs> no, you can't. No, you. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's, let's read it both together. Okay. Ready? Okay. Here's, Here's Ollie, Ollie Williams, Williams with, with a black you weather, weather forecast. forecast. How's the weather look, Ollie? Not too bad. Right on. Holy crap, a hundred bucks! Hey, nice going, Chris! Wow, look how proud my dad is! Oh my god, a duck! It was a trap! <laughs> how do you think it works? I have no idea. Look, Lois told me I had to start using the toilet, and you're the one who's had potty training, so I'm counting on you to help me. All right, we're two intelligent guys, we can figure this out. What's that big back part? Maybe that's where the wizard lives who operates this thing. It would be wise not to anger him. I wonder what this thing is for. Brian, be careful with that. We don't know what it does. <sighs> All right, here goes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Careful, 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 careful. <laughs> and I got a job following fat people around with a tuba. Stop it! Cut it out! I have a glandular problem! That'll be $60. Hey, Brian, uh, another Scattergories question. The category is type of pet. Herbert put Cambodian. That's not right, right? Look, Stewie, I can't talk about this now, all right? Jeez, what's your problem? I, I just... I, I did a bad thing, and I don't know what to do about it. I, I, f I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, that's how I felt at that Grateful Dead show. Does anybody want to buy my shirt? I'll trade you my shirt for a grilled cheese. 
Peter, why are there so many bottles of milk in the refrigerator? Oh, thanks for reminding me. Everyone, some of the milk in the fridge is not milk. It's horse sperm. I'm a horse breeder now. Look, Chris, I'm sorry, but money's tight right now. Yeah, I even had to take a second job as a door-to-door -door vacuum salesman. This thing can pick up anything. Here's a little demonstration. I'll pour some wine, rub in some feces, and to top it off, some mustard mixed with feces. Tough stain, right? Oh, crap, I forgot the vacuum. I guess it could take Peter a long time to find a job in this economy. Well, it may not be that bad, Lois. I could see about getting back my old job as a police sketch artist. Now, did you get a look at the man who assaulted you? I did. Okay, can I get a description? Yeah, he was probably around 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Which is it, 5'9 or 5'10"? I'd say 5'10". Okay, we'll go 5'9 and a half. And now, how old was he? Late 30s, maybe 37. Uh, I don't know, anywhere between 35 and 40. Okay, well, let's say 37. How, how about ethnicity? Yeah, he was Asian American. Asian American. Are we talking Korean? Are we talking Thai? Are we talking Vietnamese? Maybe Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but but I, I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any any marks, piercings? He may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted you? You have a different view, Brian? Oh, I, I don't know. Are we, are we allowed to have a different view? Brian, AA is the only way out for these people. Millions are saved every year by the program. Hey, people got along just fine for thousands of years without AA. Just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? <laughs> oh, oh, well, I guess sometimes you're just right for the part. Like James Earl Jones playing Darth Vader. So, James, we just want you to do the voice. Here's your Star Wars kids meal. Which action figures did we get? I got Kylo Ren. I got the role during the two months I was a hot actor, and now they're stuck with me. I got Forrest Whitaker. Even as a toy, you can't tell where he's looking. I wish I had the poorly cast Kylo Ren. Here, Stewie. You can have mine. You're giving me the better one? Why would you do that? Because you're my friend. Yes. You're my friend. You're my best friend. Let's choke on these together. <laughs> that was fun. Let's switch. <laughs> hey, Lois. So, how was your first day of voiceover? It was nothing. Turns out I'm just doing very obscure European commercials. Uh, you know, I've got to get myself back out there, too. I haven't performed since I was in Stew Man Group. I don't get it! What is this? We don't know either. All right, Dad, you're on. Hey, PTV fans, welcome to Douchebags. We're out here on the I-95 overpass doing our first segment, I Dare You to Crap Off of That. Basically, we'll spend the day crapping off things that others have dared us to crap off. I dared him. All right, here we go. I say, are those two pigs vomiting up there? <laughs> Uh-oh. Now, Lois, before you start yelling, let me remind you that you were the one who recklessly drove into oncoming crap. It was inexcusable, Peter, and Stewie may never be able to ride in the car again. Turn off the windshield wipers. They don't work. They're just making it worse. Stewie promised he'd make healthy meals for us, but all he ever makes is frozen pizza. You said you loved pizza, especially when I make the ones with the crust made of wheat. He also does that. Oh, boy, I remember my first job. I was in a folk music trio. Hey, how about here's to you, Mrs. Fleckenstein? Yeah, you've been pitching that for an hour, but it's just not a very attractive name. Oh, oh, fine, fine. I, I, I suppose we're also not going with parsley, sage, rosemary, and Lowry's seasoning salt. <sighs> That's it, I'm going to numb. Stewie Griffin? Oh, right here. Peter, he needs a boost. Give him some of the acting soup. I want to say curse words! Okay, Stewie, you're just gonna drink this juice, then say, mmm, and rub your belly. Yeah, yeah, you got it. 
<laughs> yeah! Bye, Juice! That was amazing! I've got goosebumps. I want him sexually. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. Our top story, methamphetamine is flooding into Quahog in epidemic amounts and is believed to be originating from the nearby rural community of Farmton. Farmton, that's the name of the place we live. I forgot to mention that earlier. For more on the story, we now go live to Asian correspondent Trisha Takanawa. Oh, meth is fine. Everything's fine. Go back to your own business. Thanks, Trisha. She's doing fun things for me for money. Guys, I have an announcement. I'm going to run for mayor. That's a terrible idea. You idiot, Brian. Make fat on Brian. I can't. I don't have one in the chamber. And one time I give you a chance, you're not ready. Chris, tag in for Meg. <laughs> See that kid? He's a gamer. Great job, Chris. Now go hit the showers. Meg, you miss 100% of the farts you don't take. That kid's going places. He's going all the way. If only they knew. Yeah, it's my boy. Yeah, and I served honorably as a UN interpreter. Okay, he's mad about something. He appears to be talking really fast. He spits whenever he makes the ch noise, which in this language happens a lot. I'm expected to entertain him and his wife tonight, so if anyone knows a good restaurant in the area, sushi or tapas, something where they're always bringing stuff to the table so you have something to talk about. You know? Hey, what's this? This looks good. That's it. War! Oh, war! War! That last sentence was about war! I don't know, Joe. That's it. We're out of known diseases. Unless... All right, what this is has no name, so you can't have it. <laughs> we got him. Halloween is fun. Let's just enjoy the strippers. I guess. I just hate the way that one gets so into her work. You boys have been very naughty. I'm gonna have to assign you extra homework. Darn it, fractions are so hard. What'd you get for number four? She said don't share answers! Well, honey, I've extended our line of credit and exhausted all our savings. We should be good for another month. Oh, that's great, honey. Well, what are we going to do next month? Well, I'll tell you what we're not going to do. Shoot all of our children and then kill ourselves. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hold you to that. I don't think you'll have any control over it. We now return to the Awkward Stepdad Show. Man, your mom's a real groaner. Do you hear that in your room? Hey, what's with the stairs? Why do they look different? Oh, I'm trying to prove that Peter's the one cussing in the house, so I waxed the staircase for him to fall down. Hey, Lois, have you seen my Spider-Man socks? I can't see this. Ouch! Oh, heavens! Oh, goodness gracious! That smarts! Oh, my! He can't! Well, I'll be! Yikes! Peter, when did you become so polite? Oh, I've been hanging out with Caillou's beta dad. In fact, I'm meeting him at the park to eat unsalted saltines on the swings. I feel like you're wearing what Rachel Maddow would wear to a pumpkin patch. I'm so glad you patched things up with your friends. Have I told you that we're all friends again? Yes, Peter. We were just talking about it. You're going to take me to the zoo and roll me around. You know, we're all friends again. It's been three weeks and you haven't had a single job lead. Well, that's not true. I came really close with that job at the school. So what makes you want to be a crossing guard? I don't know, I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. Uh, you're gonna start dating soon. Probably good to get in the habit of chewing with your mouth closed. Doesn't bother me, I'm just, you know, one friend to another. What, you got a problem with me? You think I'm gross? <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, this is what you are, and this is what I am. Hi, Mr. Herbert. Oh, my God. Children, run. It's that pervert. Everybody into my safety basement. Oh, oh, that was a bad snap. I'm hurt, kids. Don't eat those popsicles till I get down there. You'll never have to wear a... Yeah, but your character can walk. Peter, I'm handicapped. I can't walk. Okay, Chris, roll film and action. 
Joe, get out of the damn chair. Chris, get the cattle prod. Ah! This is what rednecks watch, Brian. Peter, that's disgusting. Here, spit in this cup instead. Oh, there's my apple juice. Stewie, wait, don't... Where's my money? You gonna give me my money? Ah, uh, never mind. Name Striker Fox. Oh, Lois just texted. Burgers or meatballs for dinner? I'll text back for you. Same thing, bitch. Just different shapes. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, battery died. Yes, I'll take this teddy bear, this ruler, this piece of string, and this cardboard box. Mmm. Why are you walking so slowly? Turns out this costume is about 80% balls, and most of it's dragging behind me. Uh, uh, we got a tangle. Oh, what do I do? Stop walking. I'll go back, you go forward. Are you sure? It's counterintuitive. I don't know, that, that doesn't seem right to me. When you want to go left, you go right. I'm just going to pull forward. Don't pull, don't pull. I, I think just if you come this way and, and I go that way. Everybody freeze. Okay, let's just think about this. Hey, wait, wait, guys. Well, it's just me and my old nemesis. First step. <laughs> hey, Joe, what you doing? You out for a walk? I hate this block. Yeah, but Peter's so baked lately, he can hardly set up a cutaway. Man, this is even better than... Uh, th no, wait. No, this is worse than... This, uh, better... I don't know. Here's a list of celebrities I don't like. I need you to go to Chicago on Thursday. I can't. This week is the Death Games. Oh my god, this has been a 12 minute round. Why does every fight have to go to the death? Maybe I come around this side. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe I come around this no, side. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe I climb over top. No, 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 no. You need help building more fence? Okay, come on over. Should have taken the shot, fat ass. Well, that's it. Three days wasted looking through 200,000 lottery tickets. Those weren't the lottery tickets. That was a test. These are the lottery tickets. Is this another test? Yes. These aren't the real lottery tickets either. These are the real lottery tickets. So in addition to buying 200,000 lottery tickets, you had 400,000 fake ones printed up? I had to be sure. We now return to slightly too early comedy club audience member. Not like when Clinton was in the White House, huh? When Clinton was in the White House, all you needed to vote was a piece of duct tape and... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes! But things are different with the Republican majority. They're totally in the pocket of the oil companies. I mean, the President of the United States might as well be... <laughs> Amen! Why not? Why not, right? But I guess it could be worse. The other day, my wife asked me if her ass looked fat in her jeans. And I'm like, honey... Oh, no! <laughs> wow! I rode into town on an ass. Yo mama's ass. Comrade Mouskowitz, did you think you could run forever? Hiya, I think you've got the wrong mouse. I'm just regular old Frank Maxwell, and I'm very late for work. Good day, ma'am. Oh! 
You killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. Tough break, Jew mouse! Ha ha! God, this is such an East Coast pharmacy. How are we going to find gauze and bandages in the middle of all this crap? Uh, I think he keeps him next to the thousand-piece puzzle of a lobster trap. I don't see it. You mean next to the Kadima paddles or next to the basic black sweatshirt with no writing on it? No, I think they're over there between the rain ponchos and the cap guns and just below the balsa wood gliders and the net bag of flip-flops and a beach pail. Above the set of jacks? Yes, above the jacks and the bicentennial playing cards and across from the giant cage with the beach balls next to the wiffle ball bats and the spark spitting cars. I don't... Oh, next to the wax bottles of weird juice. Yes, behind the plastic bag of Mexican soldiers from the Alamo and the super elastic bubble plastic. Oh, 